evening to uh, all of you. We are live from the Victor Ground in Mount Avenue. We are going to the Challenge Trophy Invitation uh, T20 Championship uh, for the uh, 100-year celebrations of the Victor Grounds here. The third game of the tournament on the second day is between Royal College and Trinity College. Uh, yesterday, both uh, of them lost to the home team St. Thomas's. So it's a question of uh, who wins and uh, gets into the final. Brilliant side. It's not a warm and sunny morning. It's a school day at uh, the school by the sea at Mount Lavinia. And uh, this could be a very interesting game, certainly. A very good morning to Michael Adams. Good morning, Harith, and good morning to everyone. Yes, uh, like I said, uh, just uh, this game, winners uh, will go into the final against the home team St. Thomas's. It will be pretty interesting to see both the uh, teams are losing their first game. Uh, interesting what they plan to do. Yesterday we saw uh, St. Thomas's easily winning their second game against Trinity. Their main players getting two half centuries. Here we see the fixtures uh, and results. First match, uh, St. Thomas versus the Royal. St. Thomas was winning by four because that was a very close game, Harper. Yeah. Match dominated by runouts. Correct. <laughs> and uh, St. Thomas uh, scored heavily in that uh, second encounter, winning by 80 runs. In, in fact, uh, during the last uh, 10 overs, uh, two of their senior players uh, got together and uh, made it all possible. So today, there's uh, prize money in those. 1000 rupees for the winners, 50,000 for the runners up. The third team will get uh, 25,000 rupees. Never mind uh, the uh, monetary aspect. And that's uh, the um, Trinity College um, coaching staff um, doing uh, a decent job uh, with a side that is very young because. So there we see the points table. So Thomas has already through to the finals. One uh, red, two, one, two with four points. And Royal and Trinity still have nothing to add to their name. Well, it's very straightforward, Haritha. Whoever wins goes into the final. Yes. And um, winner takes it all situation. So it should be a good match. Uh, we expect uh, the teams to do well, uh, having come a long way from uh, the Hill Capital. Um, head coach Navin Ekanaka is with the senior team in Kandy preparing for that big game. So, Lalanka Abeguna Vodana and uh, Ruchira Chamara are handling the side here for Trinity. Um, Lalanka Abeguna Vodana, we know that uh, he came from uh, uh, Morotua, played for Prince of Wales. Should be a good uh, outing for them. Um, it will be interesting. Uh, anything over 150 is a good total uh, on this track. Um, it, I it is a situation where a very fast outfield will provide you with uh, uh, the scoreboard uh, safety or the pressure, whichever way you take it. So that is uh, one area where uh, both uh, coaches will be um, uh, looking at. Yeah, yesterday we saw both uh, teams so that uh, batted first, basically were in the driving seat. The first game, St. Thomas is managing to get over the line, but uh, when St. Thomas is batted first, it was just a cakewalk for them. So I think, uh, always like you said, runs on the board, a lot of pressure. Yeah, Royal is having a practice game against Anand today, so their full side is not available. But uh, for St. Thomas, uh, the entire team is available. So. Where we go from there onwards is another story. Um, what's uh, on store for the uh, strip uh, today? Uh, we join uh, Gamini Pereira out in the middle. Good morning to everyone. It's not the brightest morning you'll ever see. It's quite muggy. Sun is still trying to creep through the clouds. There's hardly any wind to speak of. It's surprising uh, here at the uh, school by the sea. 
surrounding conditions i'll tell you what you can take a picture and put it to a sports card it's looking immaculately nice right let's have a look at the pitch incidentally this was the same pitch that was used yesterday as you can see some bare patches have appeared that freshness has disappeared still it's pretty hard so what does that mean the spinners will be able to generate a little bit more turn than yesterday because of the hardness you will still ha have enough bounce and carry outfield like i said it's in good condition so you're going to get a lot of value for your shots as we saw yesterday sides who won the toss wanted to bat first at this level once you put the runs on board and you go, you get a substantial total it put a lot of pressure on the chasing side so i would say you bat first and you dictate term from that very positive sign always from garmini yeah i mean yeah, I, i think if uh, royal get uh, the uh, bigger say they would probably want to bat i wouldn't um, really vouch for that as far as trent is concerned but even that is uh, always uh, on the cards well i think uh, with their first match against the thomasers that we can just look at the pitch as well while we have a discussion here uh, i think even trinity might want to bat first uh, knowing that what happened to them they had the st thomasers at 5 54 in the 10 overs and ended up giving 172 see there is not much of uh, sunlight but that doesn't mean that uh, the medium paces will have uh, a bigger say because this is a flat track and it's a very hot and humid uh, almost uh, near cloudless sky so we should see the sun peeping in uh, pretty quickly um, yeah the thomian bowlers uh, just having uh, a net practice i'm sure the players won't mind it sun not coming out because it was really hot yesterday Yeah, this is good weather for uh, a game of this uh, intensity um, a lot of preparations has uh, gone into uh, stage in this match uh, a series of uh, functions uh, lined up uh, to celebrate the centenary of the big club grounds and this is the start of it um, crept in between uh, the three day game and uh, the one day game the romans are confident uh, some of them have had uh, a decent outing some of the senior players have not performed to uh, they are liking correct but there might be a couple of changes i think even the skipper might come in as what i was told they they actually want to win this harita uh, they organized it they want their full side there And more than that uh, i think they would uh, like to have uh, a little bit of uh, center practice um, uh, i think uh, st thomas will uh, line up a practice match against uh, isipatana tomorrow uh, Sipatana is a very strong side in the one-day format, not to mention the two-day format too. So they they want some quality uh, outing. They played a three-day game that uh, resulted in only three innings uh, being um, played, and that also not completed uh, all three. So you you look at uh, a situation where the boys are preparing for something very big in their lives, and uh, this comes in. This is a historic occasion. um a facility that is uh, on par with uh, any of the um school facilities and uh, by a lot of uh, people's assumptions uh, it's by far the best definitely i think uh, no, you you are trying to compare with school facilities if you look at that pavilion that's international standard i don't think any school in this country has that uh, a lot of lot of people have uh, contributed to that uh, and um it was mentioned by uh, the warden uh, and father mark willimore yesterday in the uh, opening ceremony how much of uh, individuals and uh, organizations that have come uh, on board some of them have uh, opted to stay anonymous which is one of the big things uh, some very distinguished uh, past pupils of st thomas college have uh, opted to stay anonymous and contributed uh, a lot of uh, money not only that i mean say director of sports uh, dinesh kumar singh it has been his passion right along uh, the um, facilities here for sports and it was mentioned five team sports will use uh, this uh, facility and uh, the uh, ground and uh, the um, upgraded uh, pavilion facilities uh, apart from that uh, the school boys will 
always enjoy this lush green in this very harsh uh, environmental conditions uh, it's a credit to the uh, ground staff and the administrative staff that uh, they put a lot of uh, effort into this on friday the senior athletic meet will be held here i'm sure some of these um, first level cricketers will be seen in action at this and ahli good and uh, mahit perera in particular i don't know whether they would take a chance because on the following day they play the uh, um, one day game but uh, see the house matters also matter a lot and uh, they are two exceptional uh, runners that i've seen over the last couple of years and um, yeah we we say uh, all the best to the uh, young tomian um, athletes yeah definitely so what's uh, going to happen uh, in this um, first game between uh, royal and trinity we join uh, luxis de silva out in the center with the two captains Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papre TV. We are all set for the all-important toss of this final encounter in the round-robin stage of the Andhra Nakhon Challenge Trophy. I have with me the two captains from Trinity College, Ocean Lokuge, and from Royal College, Yasindu Disanayaka. Yasindu from Royal will spin the coin. Heads is the call, and it is heads. Uh, Ocean, you have won the toss. What will you do? going to bat first uh, any particular reason uh, yesterday uh, you had to chase 173 uh, it didn't go that well so any uh, changes in your plans and uh, what's the reason to bat first uh, we have three changes in our team and we did some mistakes in the first game but we'll come back strongly in this game and give a good fight for the royals so uh, what do you think would be a good score to defend here uh, 140 plus score will be a good score so roshan uh, good luck for the all important final Yasindu, the toss didn't go your way. Now you have to bowl first. So, uh, what do you think would be a good total to chase here in the morning? One hundred and twenty. So, uh, any changes in the team? I mean, yesterday it was uh, Ryan who captain the side in that first game. So, uh, how many changes? Uh, any changes in your combinations for for this game? Only one change. Only one change. Yeah. Only one change. So, uh, good luck for the final game, Yasindu. So uh, the news from the middle in this uh, third and final game of the round robin stage in the Andhra Nakhon Challenge Trophy is that Trinity College they have won the toss and they have decided to bat first. That's not surprising too. Well done uh, Trinity being positive uh, with uh, what you've got as a favor. Yeah, we see the team cards uh, for today Royal College Hirun Mathesha Sachin Dumapa Chintu Sanitu kan 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 namge Sanitu Sanitu Mapa. You get uh, the, the the likes of Yasindu Disana, like Yenula Bandar. Like to see them play. Um, they have done well uh, for the uh, first team too. They have got uh, batting and bowling tightened up. Uh, Royal. On the other hand, uh, Ocean Lokuge got a chance to talk to the media at an early time. Uh, probably a couple of years later, we will be. Uh, looking at him talking about uh, the uh, first ever team uh, about their big match against uh, St Anthony's uh, a very young side uh, but uh, in patches they played well you've seen it uh, on the two matches yesterday uh, uh, they, they they get a good opportunity to show their skills and uh, make it all happen their opening bowling was uh, really good harita uh, it was uh, awesome started off well had the thomians uh, reading at 54 for 5 in the first 10 and then just lost the plot so this is uh, the 100 and again challenge trophy just about to begin like galaxy uh, said the third and final uh, round robin stage match and the winners of this will meet uh, st thomas's in the final so one of the most uh, technically correct uh, batters to produce uh, his skill from uh, the school by the sea anurudh enakon will be present here he was part of the uh, 1975 inaugural icc um limited overs uh, world cup and uh, when you say uh, the era that we remember michael tisera anurudh tennakon dulip mendis with uh, the domin colors yes uh, chamind hathur singh and hasika jay singh they were the umpires yesterday too walking out of the middle Chamin the Hathru Singer is the younger brother of Chandika Hathru Singer who played for Anand Sri Lanka and is a major coach 
with um, uh, Sydney State uh, team as an assistant coach with uh, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka and now with Bangladesh again. Yeah. Yeah. One more thing about Andra Tengaku that I would want to say, Ataro Gentleman. Yeah, Ataro Gentleman. I mean, he, he was good with uh, everybody. He was sometimes too good for the modern era cricket. Sorry. But he played in an era where the gentleman game, gentleman's game was uh, considered to be played and by gentlemen. Definitely. No offense to the present day cricketers, but it's just the way the, the, the game has evolved in such a manner that uh, it has been uh, a very competitive one. So Royal would want to um, keep uh, the Trinitians uh, to a total that is manageable 126 and over. Okay, yes, uh, the Trinity batters didn't uh, fare too well yesterday against uh, St. Thomas's in that um, second game. Of course, they would have been tired after running around. Uh, when the Tomian uh, last quarter absolutely took control. Yeah, definitely. Akash and last uh, quarter of the overs, I mean. Yeah, the, the, the basically not quarter. It was after the 10th over. Just uh, no, But at, at 95 for 5 after 13 overs, they were not going at that rate. Yeah, but I think Nathan and uh, yeah. Akash just took it away. They just blew it away. And to end up at uh, 172 for 5 was some betting. Well, today is a new day. Sehandu Surya Bandara will uh, start proceedings. Uh, is from uh, the uh, pavilion end. That's from where we are talking to you. The Talas end uh, in front of us. Talas uh, is that uh, building that's in front of uh, us, building. which uh, serves as the side screen with the red ball cricket is played. But excellent facilities here. You can just take a look at that. The picket fences, it's uh, unique for St. Thomas's. I mean, there are electronic scoreboards here and there with schools. Virul Guerrero is uh, ready to take strike first. Looking at those fences, it was a, a feeling that you're playing in England, well, like a county game. So the first delivery. Starts off with a wide wayward outside of stump. That's uh, an area they would want to uh, take control of. Very wayward. Well, I think they will want to just to forget about it. Don't need to bowl those extra deliveries. But to bowl 120 balls. Udanta Gagewata is uh, the wicketkeeper for Royal. Ah, just short of square cover. He was in the air for a while. Played it uh, well almost uh, from his uh, shoulder height. Well, lucky that it didn't go to hand. Maybe not corrected it properly because if he had corrected it, I'm sure it would have gone straight to that field at the covers. Mahindra Singer is one of the wicket keepers in the side. He's uh, in as opener at the non strikers end. Okay, trying to operate uh, with a decent line and length. Surya Bandara. The next two deliveries have been decent. Packed uh, offside field. They they troubled the Thomians yesterday uh, within the first ten overs. Play and miss. Oh, yo. Go on. Gange Vata in uh, position to take the catch. Virul Guerrero departs. He didn't open uh, the account. See how the Surya Banda has a strike. Yeah, there we see short ball trying to go for that cut and just getting a faint edge and has to walk back. Doesn't trouble the scorers. And 20 already one down, just one for one. In the first over, we were walking back. They were great, gone for naught or just three deliveries.
the board of governors will be pleased with um, how this tournament has been organized and uh, is being conducted the director of sports uh, dinesh kumar singh the co prefect of games arunachand samar singh and uh, dilshan gunawadana who had captained uh, st thomas's the latter and um, also the master in charge kapila de silva lakmal de souza who played cricket and rugby for st thomas's played in the centenary game too also helping out with a host of others uh, we must appreciate uh, the administrative staff and uh, the ground staff for preparing this facility for the occasion they have a lot of work to do before the uh, senior athletic championship to be worked off uh, on friday outside of stump played away from his body you know face a kids first delivery and who has been pretty decent apart from that first uh, delivery of wayward delivery the wide end new batter is dinal fernando virul grero he would have dearly loved to have batted for about a uh, couple of overs at least uh, to see the um, power play session off surya bandar maintaining a good line and length uh, that's what uh, he should be doing he's already had one success now he's bowling to a left hand as well so he has got it right uh, sometimes you struggle when you bowl to a right hand and then suddenly have to change he's doing it pretty decently we've come and he said uh, it's good for batting trinity has opted to bat so the batter should make full use first runs of the bat uh, dinal fernando is off the mark end of the first over A successful one for Sehandu Surya Bandara. Trinity elected to bat two for one. Saint Joseph's versus Saint Peter's. Fiftieth one day encounter. Sixth April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialog viewer and the Papare dot com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Strike, uh, strike in uh, the second over. Chani to Kanka Namge will operate uh, from the Talas end. Pulled a few uh, menacing overs against the Thomians yesterday when the ball was new. Starts off with a wide, like his opening part. So both the uh, opening bowlers uh, starting off with wides, and will they continue to get a wicket also in the first over? Hope, hope. Prakit Fernando is in charge of this team. He's being assisted by Kamidu Madar Singh. Uh. Second. Uh, Wide. We saw yesterday the three wides being bowled uh, in consecutive deliveries. This one was even further away. Keep ahead to bring out the dive. Good collection down leg side by Gangewata. Master in charge Anur Prashant for Royal. Prefect of Games Riaz Aluha. Principal Satila Kwatuheva. president of the sri lanka school cricket uh, association a third consecutive wide this time outside of stump so he's all over the place uh, well is bowling all over the place apart from bowling at the batsman yeah he'll have to try to concentrate and bowling uh, that was the first one there's a bit of move on for outside him. of stump on that occasion be getting a bit of movement as well
finally one legal delivery Let me see the first delivery the second even worth it. three okay. wides uh, one after the other they need to do well they need to work on uh, bowling a good line and length much better well done went quickly to uh, Ryan Sukhadasa he kept on the side yesterday the wicket they bowled uh, straight has been uh, dot ball just that uh, four wides has brought it up to five another wide it's going to be a long over 10 balls as it stands now really honestly there is not much uh, wind behind him so not he's actually it. making the mistake he's responsible in total for where he is bowling not express pace as well harita so just that he needs to get it right and this one right down the leg side lucky that the fine leg field got around that will be two wides to the total getting a bit of movement off the pitch but that's not going to help i can't give it a good reach it down leg side he's got a decent enough start with four balls remaining in the second over i hope they don't throw their wicket away for trinity head coach is navin ekanayaka he is not there lalanka abeguna vodana is in charge of the team ruchira chamara is assisting him the sports coordinator is dammika kulutunga the director of sports is gihan samarasekara for trinity oh no another white it's a 11 ball over right now master in charge brian sena ratna principal reverend father aralia jayasundara Ooh. You were talking about not throwing their wickets away. I don't, they, they are not uh, even getting their bats on the wall, uh, Harita. So, no chance of throwing the wicket away. Nine for one. Seven wides. I think the bowler is feeling a little bit of the pressure to just concentrate on bowling at the stumps. Another white. Over the wicket, round the wicket. Same. Can try bowling, holding that ball, maybe cross him. This is getting a bit of movement as well. I pity the bowler. He just must be waiting to finish his over. There we see, he just comes in and just took the pace off somebody would have said just bowl at the stumps never mind your pace trinity having lost the wicket in the first over got to 10 finally beats the batsman something for him to uh, just start concentrating it kept a little bit low outside of stump yeah, the authorities at uh, stump's college mount lavinia would want uh, this tournament to end successfully finally just running in and making sure that he bowls it straight Mind Rabia Singer is off the mark. Still in the second over. Take him out 11 for one. He has bowled 11 deliveries so far. 
Basically the bowling already bowled the uh, extra over. Finally that over comes to an end. So after two overs, 20, 11 for one. One, two, three outside of stump. Three, t three in a row. Then there was uh, a daughter, four, five, and six. He bowled uh, round the wicket too and considered something down leg side. So he bowled two, basically bowled two, two overs in one, one going. How, how would you say that? Uh, two, two, two overs in one, uh, in one over? This guy, Surya Rachi, is a different uh, commodity altogether. Not only he's picked up uh, a wicket, uh, breaking the opening partnership very early. He's bowled with uh, a decent amount of pace. Maintained a good line and length outside of stump. The authorities at uh, St. Thomas's College have had uh, a history of being very hospita hospitable towards the opposition. Cover provided on the offside. Only a single to uh, Dinal Fernando. Well, they have that uh, deep extra cover, so that will prevent uh, any further runs. Field running around because of the left hand right hand combination. Yeah, I was talking about uh, the hospitality shown by the authorities. We say a big thank you to them. So, uh, good fielding there, preventing the batsman from taking any single. need to find the gaps rotate the strike they yeah, do pretty decent bowling is second over so the one for three if you are only interested in just blocking that uh, is not uh, a good sign in 2020 cricket as a batting side that was pretty close yes given line with the stumps trying to work it uh, on the leg side i thought he shuffled and played across the line we'll wait and see yes he was not right on top Asika Jaisinga thought it was going to hit the stumps. And it's um, curtains for Dinal Fernando for two. Trinity are 12 for the loss of two wickets. Ninetieth Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC, live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Now, uh, repair work needed. Moving the Summer Singer is also a wicket keeper. So the two wicket keepers uh, in the squad are batting together. So 
two wicket keeper batsman in the top order. Surya Rachi has a double strike in a couple of overs. So he must be very confident now. The sun trying to peep through the cloud cover. Confident tap on the front uh, foot, but um, he's not uh, hitting the gaps. Uh, end of three overs. Another successful one for Surya Rachi. 12 for 2, Trinity. 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues. Trinity versus St. Anthony's. 15th, 16th March at Ascaria. Live on the Papa A, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Getting warmed up. It's good. It's um, an area where the uh, teams would uh, want to look. The Andro Tenakon Challenge Trophy, the TTNK Triangular Tournament celebrating the centenary of the big club grounds at Mount Lunia. So we see a new bowler, Ushita Ilay Peruma. So turning to spin. No, that was because of a 12 ball first over from that end earlier. Chani Dukankanam gave us all over the place. Harita, both of us are doing overtime that is. Promising start. I hope he'll uh, stay that way. That was like the first attacking stroke that we saw from the batsman. Looks pretty young uh, bowler. He's the man who bowled that first over, a 12 ball over. He's at uh, short third inside the 30 yard circle. This is the power play session. Ah, that's right, more like it. really wanted it to reach the boundary at long on it wasn't the case the bring your leg spin on in this power play mind Ravi Singha want a move on straight into the hands of uh, extra cover good bowling change and uh, Ile Peruma has struck. Oh, they're losing too many wickets. Soft dismissal, I would say. As he flight at not using his feet, just trying to drive from one place straight into the hands of the extra outfielder. And Rabe Singh walking back, gone for four. And Trinity are 14 for three in the fourth over. Sazindu Mapa was comfortable at cover, holding on to that catch. I wonder whether Ocean Lokuge is the new batter. They're hitting straight to the fielders. That's not going to happen properly. They were looking for a run, but I think the North striker said no. 
you you need to look at uh, working something out Arthur. you can't just depend on uh, the royal bowlers to keep bowling wides they've done well it's a successful first over for ushita ele peruma Trinity college uh, having won the toss selected to bat 14 for 3 after 4 190 lovers quarrel richmond versus mahinda 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialogue TV channel 127. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. delivery field up there let me off it's the single so the bowling he's third over that's two for four I think he'll be um, happy bowling to two left-handers Ocean and Lokuge yes a responsibility to uh, make sure that uh, there is uh, some sort of a recovery from the middle order. Not stopped in the gap, but uh, there is a field on the cover boundary. Smart way to start uh, scoring. Is uh, one thing that I've noticed is uh, is hit the ball with the middle of the bat. Ocean Lokuge. Royal have uh, taken control of the game. They've come back strongly. Yeah, getting that gap. Uh, to the extra cover field on the boundary. Just getting the single. Royal will be happy with that. Yeah, if you don't get the boundaries, the next best thing is to rotate the strike and uh, jot the singles. The thing is, with just two fielders outside the circle, Haritha, they should look to also try and push it on a bit, try and get a boundary, you know, make Royal think a bit more. And that's another wide. Not helping the cause. He wanted to do something different. He lost uh, control and lost line. Surya Bandara has usually bowled well, hitting the seam. Kind of foolish delivery. Full toss just driven straight to the field. They take a quick single. Missed the stumps, but uh, Hirun Matija was there for the cover up. Current run rate is 4.07. See another full toss. This time worked on the leg. That's good betting. Hitting that boundary, the much needed boundary for Trinity. That's the first uh, boundary of the innings. Not bad. They are trying to keep the rate of scoring at around 5. And that uh, full toss help, that was very well struck. Very well connected in the end by Movinda Samrathinga. It's a very well placed it on the leg. Making sure we got that gap. Oh, this is good cricket after the boundary just uh, playing it down and running the single 
And after five overs, yeah, 24 for three. 190 lovers quarrel. Richmond versus Mahinda. 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialogue TV channel 127. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Been a positive uh, start uh, for the Royalists, conceding just the 24 runs, getting uh, three scabs in this uh, opening uh, power play. One more to go. That's Ushita. All the good over and uh, well coming to the com box. Uh, good morning, Ricky. Uh, good morning, uh, Rajon. Good morning uh, to all of our viewers on the Papale.com Dialogue TV. Ushita in action, one for two of one over before this. And I just want to see if he was uh, the young kid, I think it is, who was helping us uh, the other day with the names at the big match. Uh, if you remember, Rajon, in the com box. To identify players, yes, uh, that was a, a young guy. I, I just uh, sort of uh, saw him from the back, and he's got another one. Oh, he's uh, landing his uh, leg spinners on the spot, no doubt about it. There is a lot of uh, talent there, a lot of energy, very enthusiastic. He was telling me the other day, yes, I'm a, a, a bowler. What that was off, isn't it? I thought the earlier delivery he bowled the leggy, but this time he. He bowled the finger spinner. Well, he's certainly mixing it up. He's uh, picked up another wicket. And uh, Trinity in lots of trouble as uh, Ocean Aloku get the pass for two. Martwe Unmadea. Sudanamda. Big match was on theatre. Pibarwari Visi Hatrada Sita, Saji Viva, The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialogue View Epsaha, The Papare.com, Sri Lanka, Ankai K. Krida Nalikawa. Trinity in deep trouble, 25 for 4. Four more balls in this power play. They haven't got a move on. Shita, the young uh, leg spinner and uh, the new man uh, to the middle Seth Mikaseni Viratna coming in it coming in at uh, number six for the school uh, from uh, the hill capital looks like uh, Ushita balls uh, the leggies uh, to the right handers and uh, wins the left hander he brings in that uh, finger spin so he has uh, some neatly uh, driven away for a couple of runs. Uh, Trinity will want to keep rotating that strike. Yes, uh, every run uh, matters now uh, for Trinity. But that's uh, a big one. He goes for the big one. Has he got enough on that one? Uh, still not enough. Hasn't time it, uh, Seth Mika. Young Trinity side getting the exposure. These young boys playing a lot of sec second level cricket. So is uh, some of these players from Royal giving them uh, the opportunity. Here, St. Thomas is mixing their players. Uh, a few of the senior players uh, along with the second eleven players but uh, young Ushita I'll tell you we are definitely going to see a lot of him uh, I feel uh, for Royal in the future I'll come back to that in the uh, next over so six overs uh, 29 for four Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
Well, Sean, I, I said we'll see a lot of Ushiti in the future because several years ago, probably uh, looking down maybe five, six years ago, you know, there was this young kid who used to come and help us in the combox. I think thi this is probably before you job joined the Papare as well, uh, way before COVID, uh, everything. You know, this young kid, he used to come uh, every year to the combox from morning to evening, he's there. So we share all our drinks, food uh, uh, with him, and then he used to say, uh, I can bat a bit and I bowl some uh, spin as well. And they came by the years and uh, he led Royal College uh, uh, to victory in the big match with a wonderful 100. You know whom I'm talking about, isn't it? That yes. bubbly, chubby fellow. Right? So Dasis Manchanayaka came a long way. You know, he, he was so enthusiastic. He, I, and I asked him, when are you going to play for Royal? Whenever they give me the chance, I will play. So he used to, he used to tell me that. And then uh, we saw him from second level. He gradually came into the side as a youngster, Chirati Stabula, and uh, he developed and, uh, you know, one of uh, the better leaders the Royal ever had, uh, leading him to that uh, big match uh, a victory coming in as underdog. So uh, this kid reminds me of him uh, when I saw him bowling today. He was similar size, similar age uh, when Dasis uh, came uh, to help us with the names uh, as he starts with the scoring. So I'm sure as the years progress, uh, we'll see a lot of... Uh, a lot about this kid as well. Yes, he has a lot of uh, talent uh, up his sleeves as well. Has a lot of variations and uh, just like Ricky said, not only for Royal College, maybe for Sri Lanka as well. Yes, uh, certainly there is uh, so much of talent in these uh, schools going around, how it's harnessed, how it's developed. I mean, each student, each uh, player, each boy is different to the other. And some have exceptional talent. You know, they don't need any coaching. That's why Chirat way outside the off stump, but they don't need any coaching as well. You know, they, 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 it comes natural. But some will need that bit, bit of extra attention, bit of guidance, uh, you know, how to develop their skills. And uh, that's where I think uh, a lot has to do with the coaches, how they not let these young players fall away, but uh, groom them uh, and get them to be uh, better. And uh, yes, we hope uh, that we'll see uh, these young players who are playing in this uh, tournament, most of them, even from Trinity. You know, so many of them are very young, 15, 16 year olds playing the second level. So in these uh, next two to three years, we'll see a lot of them uh, making it big uh, for Trinity College. It's going to be uh, quite interesting uh, to watch on for these youngsters. It's a good platform for them, good experience playing these tournaments. Runs haven't uh, been easy coming uh, for uh, the Trinitians. 33 for 4. And a dot ball uh, to end uh, the 7th. Trinity College uh, 33 for 4 in deep trouble. Royal versus St. Thomas's. 47th Mustangs Trophy. 16th March at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Young Ushita to continue for the Royalists. Indians going at a current run rate of 4.71. Single uh, to start off uh, the over. Skipper Disanaika will be happy. With we have uh, the way things have been going on for the Royalists. Targeting uh, the pads, bowling wicket to wicket has been the strength uh, for Shita Riki. And uh, he's not considered uh, much runs, but uh, he's added a couple of wickets to his wickets column as well.
quick single. Feel a good tuck. Grab it clearly. Three run over already. Radiance uh, will want to keep that scoreboard ticking. Get that out boundary. Put some pressure on the Royalists. The Royalists have been all over uh, the Radiance this morning. Once again, uh, quick single. Right hand, left hand uh, combination in the middle. Uh, good bowling has some uh, sort of variations was that uh, finger spin uh, to uh, the left handers and neatly done Once again good uh, feeling coming in uh, from uh, the royal camp as another dot ball uh, to end uh, the eighth uh, Trinity college 37 for 4. It's quite an atmosphere. Rugby's greatest championship. Ball to set. Oh, oh, Close call there, Ricky. Close indeed. So we're into the ninth over of play. That's a good hit. Has he got it into the gap? No. They, they played some good shots, but just uh, not enough for power uh, back in their shots as well. Uh, Still, uh, these uh, players are developing. We'll take a look at that one. Uh, very close, very close, very close. He was out by a long way, isn't it? A distance. But I, I thought that the umpire was not in position. You know, he was uh, looking at that on the move. He was uh, not set uh, to see that uh, decision clearly uh, from the angle he needed to. And. Uh, a split second though you can't blame the umpires you know they have a very minimum they don't have so many replays like us so he went in the favor of uh, the uh, batter but he's uh, lucky to get away with that one the Trinity College Seth McCann uh, moving the uh, try to uh, create a partnership here in the back foot Seth Mika 8 after facing 10 deliveries round is haven't uh, come uh, Easy for the Trinitians, but a couple of runs there in that occasion. Good run in between the wickets. Not the best of uh, throws coming in uh, from uh, the uh, deep mid wicket region. We don't uh, normally see T20 cricket in the school's uh, circuit, uh, Ricky. What do you think about uh, introducing maybe a T20 tournament as well? It was there in the past, but now it's just the 2 day and the 50 overs. It's another dot ball, a very steady Chirat. They're not letting the Trinitians get away. It's been a real struggle, 9 overs, 40 for 4. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. A 
after nine overs. Uh, skipper brings on uh, the senior bowler for the Royalist, uh, General Bandara. Featured in uh, the 145th Battle of the Blues. The left arm spin. Yenula Bandara replaces uh, Young Ushita. So it's good to see Yenula Bandara operating here. Getting bombed up for the 50 over, isn't he? He didn't have much success in the Royal Thomian. And uh, we didn't see him. Uh, I don't think he played yesterday's game versus St. Thomas's as well. But I, this is good thinking. I, I was wanting the same thing yesterday. The Royal had the, the opportunity to test a few players, give them the opportunity to play white ball cricket ahead of the Mustangs trophy. You know, get into that rhythm, see if their bowlers uh, come good. Uh, the, the batters give them some batting exposure because it's a 2020 format, but still much more similar to this 50 over format than playing the three day game. So uh, get used to that because they haven't played the white ball cricket for some time now. It has been all red ball cricket. So this uh, tournament was the uh, ideal platform uh, uh, for them. And uh, I'm very happy to see Yenula Bandara given the opportunity. Mr. Ricky, and uh, news came from, uh, from the Royal Camp that uh, the first 11 side, he's uh, playing a practice game against Anand College in Reed Avenue. 50 over game. Prepping uh, all up for that important uh, Mustangs game trophy. The holders, uh, Royal College uh, will want to keep it uh, with them. Royal Thomians uh, will go after it. Good running between the wickets uh, from these two. They have kept that uh, scoreboard ticking. They haven't found uh, those boundaries. That's the problem uh, they are facing right now. Not being able to find the boundaries. Current run rate of 4.53. Not uh, good enough for a T20 game. Into his uh, first over, Yanula Bandara. Giving it a bit of VR, not afraid to fly the ball. That's a good hit. Has he got the distance? No. This is what I was talking about earlier. They, play, they played some good shots, but they haven't got the timing or the power behind it. Uh, these young Trinitians. Uh, Seth Mika once again. The intention was good. You know, he, he wanted to get the big hit, get the boundaries. But unfortunately, uh, just could not uh, hit it uh, over that field. Uh, trying to take on the field. You know, that was risky. He should have looked to play it much straighter uh, because he doesn't have the power to go over the ropes. And uh, Trinity have lost their uh, fifth wicket as uh, Setmika caught by uh, Sasindu of Yenula the pass for 10. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papa Ray TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. Trinity College, half of uh, the team uh, back in the pavilion. Five down, just uh, 44 runs. Uh, a lot of cricket uh, coming your way. Uh, Ricky, today Sri Lanka will play uh, the first ODI against uh, Bangladesh. And, uh, we have uh, the Mustangs uh, trophy game on uh, Saturday, 16th of March. And Ricky, I'm the sure beautiful, these are uh, yes, uh, the buildings of St. Thomas's College, uh, the main entrance, you know, iconic uh, place uh, to be. Today I uh, had the opportunity of uh, walking through the main gate and uh, coming over and it has been a, I think a very long time going down so many years that during school hours that I managed to come through that uh, entrance. Yes, we have come at the during matches or other events as such, but not during the school hours and it was uh, 
uh, just wonderful you know it was so quiet you can just hear students find the classrooms and the, the bell ringing and uh, yes historic place historic location especially the big club grounds 100 years it has uh, given so much for school cricket for Thomians as well as uh, visiting schools over the, over the years uh, we have seen uh, many a brilliant innings uh, many a uh, brilliant bowling performance at this venue 10 overs completed at 45 for 5 Sri Lanka cricket can't I me Bangladesh Taraga Sanchari Teta Has Visi Hatara Ukakara T twenty Taraga Tunak Ekdina Taraga Tunak Saha Test Taranga Tekak Martu Hataravanada Sita April Tun Melitadakwa Dialogue Television The Papa Ray TV OC Sachi Viva Naraman Activate Kirim SMS O My Dialogue at Magin Dialogue Jatika Cricket Can't I me Nila Anugrahaka Trinity College after 10 overs in a spot of about 45 for 5 with uh, 10 more overs to go they want to make sure that uh, they bat the 20 overs first uh, they have only 5 more wickets remaining Shirat into his third over goes for a while swing Ranul not sure whether or that that's actually gone the 6 wicket down Ranul that was uh, not a good stroke at all. They have 10 more was remaining and just 5 more wickets to go. Ranul, he needed to stay there for more winder. But uh, he did exactly the opposite. Here's a replay. Good work from uh, the keeper. Brilliant piece of work to remove the uh, bills in quick time. So the 6 wicket down, Trinity College. 45 for 6 after 10.1 overs. Ronald Gunnar departs for 1. Thurston versus Isipatana. 44th Limited Overs Encounter. 17th March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Trinity College. 59 more deliveries to go, but just four wickets remaining. Seth Mika and Movin, they were trying to build up a partnership, but uh, Seth Mika departed in the last over and uh, Ranul in the last delivery got stumped. And uh, joining with me on commentary for the next five overs is uh, Garmini Vera. Good morning, Garmini. Trinity College in a lot of trouble. Yeah, good morning, Lakshisi. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, they can only blame themselves, really. I was a bit disappointed the way they approached their batting innings uh, last night uh, in that second game. When you had a free license going after 170 runs and you got to back yourself. Uh, but uh, the way they approached it was like they were saving themselves the next day. And um, today from the start, I, I, I'll tell you what, if Royal had bowled well, it's not only that 45 or 6 because Royal had bowled well. It, they're just, they, 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 they're one down dimensional. They, they just want to drop the ball in front and then uh, take a single. They don't like to force it, they don't like to wait. So, Royal have given how many wides by now? It's, it's, I think one fifth of is 46 are wides. On top of that, the extra uh, balls that they received. So, yeah, they they need obviously these are youngsters, Luxe like and uh, you know there's a there's a craft how you um, organize your innings when it comes to T20, and uh, yeah, you can see that they are still learning. Yes, indeed, Gamini. I mean, it's a new format for all of these boys. Uh, they have uh, not been accustomed to this format. They have uh, played the two-day game. They have played the 50-over tournament as well. But uh, the T20 format, it's uh, brand new for all of them. And Trinity College, they really are struggling uh, to get a hold of this uh, new challenge put in front of them. Now, this is good. Movinda goes down the ground using his feet, but uh, unable to... Uh, get a boundary they can only get a single yeah this wicket has slowed down a touch from yesterday but it still skids on so if you're willing to come down the track or go through the line you'll be a lot more effective than trying to play late now Trinity College 
Maliga with uh, some creativity there, trying to uh, get a boundary from behind the sums, but uh, unfortunately the outfield is uh, not that good in that part of the field. They will only get two runs from that. Now Maliga needs to make sure that he hangs in there and uh, supports more in the more in the he has scored uh, 17 of 22 deliveries. There are 54 more deliveries to go after this delivery. So they have time, they need to make sure that they bat the 20 overs out, try to get somewhere around 110 at least. Because yesterday, I mean, we saw that Royal College, they almost made a match out of 116. So Trinity College, they need to make sure that they bat the 20 overs without uh, being bundled out. So end of the 11th over, Trinity College, 49 for 6. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Current threat is 4.45. If they go at this for the next nine overs, they'll end up on 89. Flight at delivery. So 53 deliveries left. If they can get around 40 to 45 runs at this current rate, it's doable, certainly. Again, very good piece of fielding by Yanula. In this current lineup for all, Yanula is one of the senior statesmen, so he participated in that three day encounter, the Royal Thomian. So he must be priming with confidence right now with his career, having played in that ultimate pinnacle for the year, is that three day games for every Royal is and Thomian. So Yeah, it's certainly doable if they get to 90 between 100. It's, it, it'll be a challenge. And um, again, uh, well, flight to delivery. If they are to uh, get to that 100 run mark, Mowinda, he will have to stay there. He'll have to bat the 20 overs and make sure that uh, he keeps the others batting around him. 20 college, they need uh, someone to bat responsibly here. And uh, Mohinder is doing that so far. Let's see whether he can continue that. Uh, what's important is that he gets the support. Malika is on three of three. The left arm spinner. And Malika being adventurous once again. And this time uh, the keeper also misses it. So uh, they get two runs. One run only. So one extra one added uh, to the total. It's not the most easiest thing for a keeper. When the batter try looking to get inside the line of the ball and looking to scoop or paddle behind. You get unsighted. End of the over. 12 done. 50 for 6. Youth Dekar Set Ten, all at Kemati Dekar. Youth Plus. The Papare TV, the Papare TV HD. Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Sevi Sihayo Se. Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Krita Nalika Ve. Under 10 account, Challenge Trophy. We have come to the business end. Winner of this game will go on to play, uh, play against St. Thomas's in the afternoon for that coveted trophy, the inaugural T20 triangular tournament between the, these three schools. Chirat, once again, has bowled pretty well. He bowled a magnificent spell yesterday to put the screws on the much fancied Tomians into his last over. See, this is exactly what I'm telling you. 
the ball is keeping lower touch compared to yesterday. So, this thing is, is look to go straight through the line. This time goes for the cut once again, but uh, probably would have been a white uh, if he uh, left the ball alone. But uh, Malika went for the stroke anyway. Now going back to the game uh, last evening, uh, Garmini. Now as you mentioned, uh, they had to chase at a rate around eight and eight point six five, but uh, they were playing at a rate around four point five to five. So uh, that I believe was a huge missed opportunity, as you mentioned, because. Yes, uh, I mean, we can think that they wanted to give some batting practice. They wanted their batters to get some form. But even to do that, they mu they have to prepare for a T20 game today morning. So, uh, that approach, it was really, really questionable last evening. Yeah, that's exactly what I just mentioned only a few moments ago, uh, Laksi. See, when you have 170 on the board, Ball, 170 on the board. You know, it's, it's nothing to lose situation. It's, it's a free license, and uh, you know they could have had taken few risks and uh, got themselves comfortable coming into this game. They, they played exactly the same way that they did uh, last night. That that turned. G five top balls. As you said, they had free license. I mean, they knew that they had one, they have one more match remaining as well, so uh, they really should have gone after that target. Um, that was a huge missed opportunity, I believe. Uh, even to get accustomed to the format, they were playing 50 over cricket when it was a T20 game yesterday, and once again the same thing is happening. So end of the 13th over, Trinity College, 51 for six, and uh, that's a made no as well. Come on, everyone. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Agamini, I know that you uh, really like leg spinners a lot. How good was that youngster Ushita ball brilliantly? in the earlier stages of the Trinity College innings. Meanwhile, Movinda, and uh, that's a brilliant take. And the uh, settled batter for Trinity College also departs. Oh, it is inevitable the way they were, you know, last six or seven balls been top balls and suddenly so much of pressure to um, step on the gas, play right across it. Like I mentioned before, that's a good grab. I nearly thought for a minute that he overcooked it, and uh, but uh, he had the presence of mind to watch the ball. And Movin the Samara Singer, you know, in contrast, the batting performance we've seen so far, 18 of 28, is some sort of a contribution. But they're reeling at the moment, Trinity College, 51 for seven. First and exclusive. I've been here two days, and I've been almost murdered twice. That's one per day. What? is going on? I train you to become warriors, but you have never faced anything like this. If you can give me the location, I can get him out of the country. It's too dangerous. Where is everyone? We're gonna have to figure this out. Who the hell are they? I work for Dracula. What? You're like the guy that gets the villain's postmates. That's it. First and exclusive. All new on Saturdays. Say on the Surya Bandara, the catcher. Surya Arachi, actually, Surya Arachi, Arachi. I, I stay corrected. So Yenula picks up his second. You would expect that Yenula to bowl the full quarter of overs, the four overs. New veteran, Sajana, another left-hander. Very first ball. Just too full to sweep. That was an easy drive through extra cover if you have been watching the match there's not a lot of turns so there's no real risk in going against the turn as such i think he got an edge to that didn't he 
Uh, the second time that uh, we saw this happening uh, to the Royal College uh, keeper. Even boys. I was, I was just about to say that with his experience, he's going so far wide at the crease, looking to get that angle. New batter in without having two fielders behind the crease on the offside. Might as well get one into that catching position and try and get through these three wickets as soon as possible. Sajana gets off the mark with that single. And that's actually gone, I believe, uh, Trinity College. It's comedy of errors, really. <laughs> well, he was halfway down the track and the other batter was not looking. He was looking at the ball. He was not even responding. And I don't think neither the batter uh, did call, really. These are the coach killers. Now Trinity College looking completely out of sorts here. There's no communication, there's no intent. Nothing is working. Yeah. Now you got to expect few mistakes from these youngsters and they are still learning their craft, but uh, you know, you, you got to think you control the things that you can. Don't try to control the things that you can't control. It's out of your reach, but uh, Right now, Trinity, they've gone into a bit of a shell and they're look they are struggling to come out of it. You know, what I believe, Gami, is that it's a shell that they went into last evening. It's still there. They have failed to come out of it even today morning. That's how much of an impact uh, that the... Uh, intent that they had in that evening has had in this uh, tournament for them. Going for that little sweep once again, uh, Malika. Pulls out the tie this time, desperate dive. And uh, looks like that uh, Malika, he has hurt himself uh, while trying to uh, Go for that dive. It's a hard surface, the hard square. So if you don't get it right, you're going to end up getting a few bruises, particularly in that hips area. Well, he really didn't slide, did he? It's, it's also another art, uh, diving. Thank God he's okay and he's ready to face the ball again. Field has been adjusted. The deep square leg has come 15 yards inside. A lot finer now. That's why. Oh. Oh, we got keeper didn't pick that up, did he? Had he picked it up, it would have been curtains again. And Malika. Just took his eyes off the ball. Yeah, Malika, he had to dive once again uh, to save himself, Gamini. So Trinity College, they're 57 for 8 after 14 overs. Six more overs to go, but just two wickets remaining. Sundays in March, we bring you a wholesome lineup of wonderful family entertainment on Hits Movies. Let's go! Revisit the famous Stone Age people. Oh, all right. Have fun with talking ants and other lovable animals who are part of the family. Meet the first male fairy godmother who's doing his best. So sit with your family at a tub of popcorn every Sunday on Hits Movies. Now, Gamini, you gotta caution yourself. So, uh, if your team was in this uh, position, what would be your advice to the last three batters? It's only these two and the last man remaining. Six more was to go. Yeah, it's easier said than done from sitting here. 
you know, there are plenty of overs in the T20 concept. You six overs is a lot of overs. So I would tell them, yeah, the leg spinner. For the first time in this innings, Tarul. Um, I would just say to play down the line and see this mid off and mid on back on the fence. So that's a safe, safer option. And by doing that, then the opposition will have to do some something else. Again, another wide delivery. How many wides have they bowled in this innings? Because he's got a front-on action, Taru. 15, 12 wides. Yeah, they get two runs. Didn't connect that uh, Malika. And the uh, Royal College keeper lost track of the ball completely. Is yes, the replay? Yeah, for a, for a moment he thought he was in it. He was looking up. He thought it went up. The light heart, light-hearted moment for those who are watching. No, he's got it all wrong. He's got his run-up wrong. The approach is wrong. He's got his release wrong. And Tarul, the uh, second leg spinner into the attack. Uh, I want to talk to you about the uh, earlier leg spinner, Ushita Ileberuma. A youngster bowled really well uh, with the new ball as well. Yes, uh, Tarul Lampimorti. Lampimorti not getting his lines right here. Very similar to the over that, uh, who is that, uh, left arm opening bowler for Royal. Had a 12, bo 12 or 13 ball over. Yeah, so 20, 14 wide, so already there's 40, out of 63, technically they could have been 49. And not to forget the 14 extra deliveries they have bowled, so don't, don't know how many they have scored off those. This time Malika goes for the uh, big slug but uh, unable to uh, bisect the two fielders in the deep. Gets back for two once again and uh, he's drawn straight away. Malika, maybe a cramp. He, he was already in pain after the two dives earlier. Yeah, th these are hot and steamy conditions and uh, you know, any pundit around the country will know that there are a few warnings have gone around, particularly for the young boys, the school boys, to take precautions and uh, take plenty of liquids and what not these days. So playing a couple of T20s in two days, okay. full speed is not easy and uh, you know, sometimes it's a recovery and Obviously, it's a, it's a cramp. Hof hopefully, it's a cramp. There's nothing major uh, other than that. Here's a replay from the earlier delivery. This uh, from this over of uh, Taru Lampe Mohoti not getting his lines right. Yeah, he needs to try and use the front arm a little bit to get his improve his direction. So you can be a front arm bowler, but as long as your front arm finishes forward you'll get some power through it and uh, and he does collapse his front leg as well so it's not easy if you it's all about rhythm and at the moment he has got no rhythm on the Trinity College uh, batting card Virul didn't trouble the score is Mahendra 4 Dinal 2 Moinda who uh, got dismissed a uh, few deliveries ago got 18 Ocean the skipper 2 Seth Miga got 10 uh, Ronald scored 1 Malika at the moment is on 10 Sajana uh, dismissed for one and uh, Karnilka yet to get off the mark or oh, even face a single delivery and uh, the extras 14 wides and three buys so uh, 17 extra runs in total and uh, Garmini that's uh, even more than 25% of the uh, runs which uh, Trinity have scored so far 17 out of 65 yeah, it's a good bowling card if you're a royalist but I'll tell you if you had watched the match it's not the best performance the Trinity batters have contributed to this. Sanitu, like I said, bold. 
uh, over to forget the start but uh, Sehandu was very good again so was Yushita picked up a couple of wickets each and Yenula so far 2 for 10 and Chirat was exceptional uh, he, although he has picked up only one wicket um, bowled in great areas and great control and uh, we talked about that over to forget by Shanidu and even after giving away so many extras uh, Gamini he has only conceded just 9 runs in that over so that shows that Trinity College they were not proactive enough to put him under pressure although he bowled so many extras I think uh, that's the uh, issue that uh, Trinity College they have had in this tournament so far the intent it has not been there they have uh, not been up to the mark to play T20 cricket because uh, there are the dismissals because yeah. usually Gamini when we see a bowler struggling like that the batting team they take the measure to uh, put him under pressure but that didn't happen yeah, have you looked at those dismissals you know like I said draw were not on the coin by any means but there have been very few dismissals I mean plenty of them really out of the another helping shot premeditated lap towards point leg that was that last one the run out had absolutely no clue what is happening around no. Tarul he will be relieved that this is his last ball at the over not a wide this time <laughs> I'll tell you what his heart was in his mouth. After 15, TCK 66 for right. This March, Hollywood's leading men will take your screen by storm. Be they the good guys or the bad guys. Be awed by their action-packed performances. Catch these stars in all their glory. Every Saturday this March, only on Hits Movies. With the help of extras, Trinity College have got to 66. We have nothing else to really focus on. We'll focus on the hospitality of St. Thomas's. Yes, sir, certainly. Uh, they have been looked after over these uh, two days. A big thank you. Yeah, to I d DG Upali, who is the uh, main uh, curate of the venue, is also in charge of uh, providing us with all the hospitality stuff straight to the field. Oh, another loose dismissal. Yenula Bandara's third wicket. Trinity College uh, not making much of an impression. They are running between wickets have not been good, but this is another soft dismissal. Yes, uh, a lot of wickets uh, have uh, fallen that way. Yesterday too, we saw that uh, some of them they played some uh, good shots, but they, they just don't need have the, the power, the timing. And unfortunately, uh, they lost their way but it's a learning curve for these young players under 17 second 11 players Malika Vitanagi is out for 11 66 for 9 St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's 50th one day encounter 6th April at SSC live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel The most uh, senior groundsman uh, here at the big club grounds is uh, Arya Pala Fernando. I mean, it's no easy task, isn't it, Harita, to maintain this uh, facility, this ground. It's not only the turf or the square, but the outfield. It's a very big ground. 
and especially during this time of the year, this hot and humid weather conditions. I mean, to keep this grass green and as good as it, it is uh, today, I mean, it's uh, it's a lot of hard work uh, behind the scenes by all the ground staff uh, and for a wonderful job. Yeah, and uh, this is open to the school boys uh, for play during intervals and uh, just after school. And uh, for the five team sports, as Warden mentioned yesterday at the uh, opening ceremony speech, yeah, it's a recurring expense too. End of uh, 16 overs. Trinity elected to batter 66 for 9 against Royal. He's not just some observer, he's an assassin. I don't trust anybody outside of this room. You go rogue, he's been authorized to hunt you down and kill you. That's the job. Wait, Betty. Turn left. Go, 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 go. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window. Mission Impossible Fallout. Yeah, the recurring expense uh, for maintenance, it has been uh, readily made available by the authorities. The ground staff uh, have done a wonderful job and uh, the dedication and the watchful eyes of Dinesh Kumar Singha, the director of sports. It's not an easy task year round. And uh, the foreign teams that come here have been simply impressed by what they have uh, experienced. Going for another fancy uh, scoop, but it uh, doesn't make real good contact. They'll uh, run through for a single called Alec Bais. It's a certainly uh, foreign teams uh, who are visiting Sri Lanka for tours, whether it's school, universities, clubs. They always uh, look forward to like to come and play at these sort of uh, facilities, which uh, it feels like home to them as well, especially when you're coming from uh, countries like uh, England or New Zealand or Australia. The grounds, the settings, the layout, and now this added infrastructure with the uh, Great, uh, beautiful uh, dressing rooms to international standard. The indoor nets, not forgetting uh, the giant scoreboard, electronic scoreboard. All these add uh, to this uh, great facility at uh, Mount Lavinia. Uh, there is also a little bit of work to be uh, completed. The gymnasium will have to be completed. Then the practice nets outdoor, especially where the bowling run-ups uh, have to be upgraded. And there'll be a lot more funds needed, I'm sure, over the next couple of years, all that uh, will be realized. For Tomi and Zhang and Tomi and Zhou, for those uh, who have passed uh, away, it's been uh, something to cheer and cherish. 17 completed, 67 for 9. Hands up! Welcome to the R.I.P.D. Well, Bounty hunters for the rogue souls that escaped judgment. I got this. Our job is to find them and send them to where their ticket got punched. Hmm? Hell, Roy, oh. we send them to hell. Oh, that was unexpected. R.I.P.D. 2, Rise of the Damned. As part of the March Madness, uh, Royal and St. Thomas will play the Mustangs Trophy Encounter. And uh, the uh, following day at the Colombo Oval, Thurston and Sipatan play their 50 over encounter. Yes, uh, a lot of cricket to play be uh, uh, played. The following weekend, uh, the Joseph and Pete Wright, the Battle of the Saints. Yes, so this uh, weekend we have also the Richmond Mind uh, game, which is happening down at the Gaul International Stadium on Friday and Saturday. I wonder whether the uh, Battle of the Blues in the Hill Capital between uh, Trinity and St. Anthony's is also part of the March Madness? It is. Uh, it is. Uh, I think it's uh, going to be uh, live streamed on the popular.com. That's the final wicket to fall. Kanhilka again trying to be too fancy. He's tried that shot several times, but. Uh, he has uh, just not got bad on to it and um, I'm very surprised all he needed was he's come down the track, drive it too long on, long off and get that single. By playing this shot, all he's going to get is uh, only one run as well. 
because there is no no real pace in the delivery to get it down to the boundary and so uh, the it's a disaster the satisfaction uh, for tarul lampe mohti to pick up his first wicket and um, it's uh, under the uh, 72 they made against the thompsons yesterday trinity elected to bat bowled out for just uh, 67 runs with plenty of overs remaining yes uh, more than 2 overs to go 2.3 to be exact 67 all out in this first game royal will need just 68 for victory good performance by the young uh, royal side with the ball and uh, trinity yes they haven't uh, been at their very best but then uh, these are again young players who are learning uh, their stride learning uh, to play at uh, a higher level and it's great to see them uh, here not much to talk about uh, more in the mid 18 of 28 set make a 10 uh, malika 3 uh, malika 11 the others all uh, the single uh, digits uh, 18 extras 14 whites uh, for royal something they'll have to look at so minus that 18 uh, extras uh, the trinity have uh, not really got uh, anything at all uh, on this score but uh, but uh, 68 They have uh, something to uh, bowl at uh, when they come out uh, to field. Royal College, uh, Sehundu, two for thirteen of three uh, overs, two wickets for eleven of uh, for Ushita, and uh, three for ten of four overs. Yenula uh, Bandara didn't have a lot of success in that uh, Royal Domian. coming out to play it's good to see him play this game a uh, warm up of sorts for him for the final if, if they get through and uh, we want that he'll be part of that uh, mustang trophy outfit as well what do you mean if they get through royal should just walk uh, through to the never final. know harita never know uh, the, uh, uncertainty these are young players uh, they won the toss and they had no hesitation in it to bat uh, so trinity uh, expected uh, a decent start But first over, Surya Raj struck with uh, Gangewat uh, taking on. He was again successful, picked up two quick wickets, and uh, Trinity never really recovered from that point onwards. They were losing wickets at regular intervals, and uh, all of a sudden uh, things uh, didn't look uh, too very uh, promising for them. Uh, there were good bowling changes made, and there were very good uh, wickets taken uh, in the middle of the order too. Yes, uh, they held on to their catches. Royal uh, Trinity tried a few big shots, but uh, as I mentioned earlier in my commentary stint today, they didn't really have the power to clear the uh, fence, and uh, some of them very soft dismissals. That was a good catch. It was uh, going over his head. So they tried these uh, cheeky shots, uh, which has hasn't uh, really worked uh, for them. The running between the wickets has been a disaster, isn't it? Their calling has been uh, woeful, uh, uh, both yesterday and today. And look at that! And uh, sometimes, uh, when you see those shots played, you feel that some of them really have a lot of work to do in their batting, and uh, they're really uh, unable uh, to um, to to get on with the game. Uh, and uh, Royal certainly on top, 68 uh, to win. And uh, for the Anurag Tenakoon Challenger Trophy, who will it be? Royal or Trinity that will go on uh, to the finals? to play St Thomas as uh, later on in the uh, day. So we will be back in a short while for the Royal Ranches.
Joseph versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue viewer and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. श्रीलंका क्रिकेट इतिहास सुप्रसिद्ध नाम की ऑस्ट्रेलिया डेनिस लिली नवसिलांते रिचर्ड हैडली पाकिस्तानी इमरान खान बहु वेग पांडे वाला सिटी है मैं यहाँ तरीन अपने पढ़ा किरण द उबगे प्रियतम वेग पांडे वाला उन्हें का उद्देश्य रहता है मगे ना यहाँ तरह में प्रियतम वेग पांडे वाला दिलने की थी यहाँ तरह में रिचर्ड हैडली सा डेनिस लिली था मैं म एक ओलंगे एक्शन ने कहाई एक ओलंगे एरिया हु मांगी था ने माटोंगा कुड़ा काले बालांग इन्नो कोड़ा माटोंगा कासा अतिब्बा इतिंग एक ओलो तमाय मांगा रा रोल मॉडल या करियर टा वागे बालनो कोड़ा डेनिस लिली सा रिचर्ड हेडली तमाय माटा रोल मॉडल या करियर टा मामा बॉडी काली नंग बेली तेंग ओब Oh, mana mana kali paling ni kadul la Jeff Cook, dewan ni eka Graham Gooch, tu mungkin eka Trevor eh, hatra ni eka Ian Botham, mana mana kali hatra. Ian Botham kian ni, eda asal kerja dia berpatah kiri odik, asu eka Ash setara kau ni pas se, oh, kerang kerang ni supiri kerja ke kaki na. Mee kadul la hatra ina, buta imahat satu nak kena tu kadul aku mat. Mungkin dah ni paling ni kadul la, tapi mungkin dah mungkin dah ni. Paling ni test tarung ye kerja galah paling ni test pandu ya wala paling ni test wicket tu ala bagai ni mungkin dah ni mata, eka ima ini kan ni loko satu tak mungkin dah eka mungkin dah ni kata apa hukar ane bayar ni kan ni paling ni test tegi paling ni boleh dah paling ni kat tegan na mata wasana wak lebuna ya wasta, itu mungkin ya wasta yang projenya keraga na ini paling ni kadu ala bagai ni mata mungkin dah ni hukar ma Mata satu tu yang nak pulang, karen ya. Bagi yang mesti pun ni paling test tarung kita nak buat satu tu ada speed ni. Nah, terus mah api satu tu ingat muka dewi lah, api ni kang ganang ganan tipu ni kang underdogs lagi, lagi kan api bagi ganang ganat ini, ini kan api tu mungkin dah ni api sayang holding kerida kerat, api tu jati antara mata me ni kang itu ladu ladu ru tatkah kata mai, ini kalau hitam ni dia. Abai mangida ni api paling ni testa rangge tapi ita paling ni dawas tu nih ema api honda nama kerida agara api dah honda chance kat tiba mang lang lakulu tuunsi aku agi permainan aku kapit dewani ni me laba agan nanti tiba nang mangida ni api dangga pandu agan nang ikka api dah India aga me ame enggal ante api dah honda tarjane kita elakaran nanti tiba awasan aga api api hatre ni dawas udhi mangida ni kadulu hatak gya runs dahaya kiti ter. Oh, itu nama lakon pura mata kerana yang Sri Lanka ni memang lakon desi dah tak laba gan, apalagi ini ni, Inggeran tak kerana laba gan lakon desi yang visi tulai. Dewi ini ni, orang awam banyak laba gan, ikat si dah tu nanti ikat kadu lai, antime jawab kira apa itu ini se collapse no. Macam ni, adakim adu kah mereka itu naik laba itu mana? Mungkin dah ni, adakim itu tiada ni tengah dah, mungkin dah ni, 
වැදගත් මම දේ මම කියන දිනන එක ඒක හැබිට් එකක්. ඒ කියන්නේ ඒක දිනන්න ඒක ඒ ක්‍රමය ඒකත් මේ යම් කිසි දක්ෂතාවයක්. ඉතින් අපි හුඟක් වෙලාවට ඒ ඒ කාලේදී අපි හුඟක් ළඟට ඇවිල්ලා මැච් පර දිනවා. ඒ කියන්නේ මැච් එක දිනන්න පුළුවන් අවස්ථාවක් ඉඳන් අපි මැච් පර දිනවා. ඉතින් ඒ අර දිනන හැබිට් එකට අපි ඇවිල්ලා හිටියේ නැහැ. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ මම හිතන්නේ තුන්වෙනි දවසේ අපි 150 ගානකට විකට් තුනක් තිබ්බේ. ඉතින් ඇත්තටම තව අපි 150ක් ඒ ඉතුරු කට්ටිය ගත්තා නම් අපිට එංගලන්තේ ලොකු පීඩනයකට දාන්න තිබ්බා. හැබැයි මම හිතන්නේ ජෝන් එම්බියුරි සහ අන්ඩවුඩ් බෝලෙත් දඟ කැවුණා. ඉතින් අපි පොඩි ලකුණු ගානකට මම හිතන්නේ අන්තිමට ඒගොල්ලන්ට 160ක් ද 70ක් ද ගන්න තිබ්බේ. ඒ වගේම ශාන්ත මුල් කාලේ 80 දශකයේ ජාතික කණ්ඩායමේ ගොඩක් අය වැඩ කළේ මහාරාජා ආයතනයට ක්‍රීඩකින් සැමම මේ එකට ඉඳීම එකට සේවා කරන ආයතනයේ සිටීම සහ එකට පූර්ණ වීමට කිරීමට ලැබීම සහ මර්කන්ටයිල් තරංග එකට සමග ඒ බැඳ ගන්නා සමන්තියාව මේ දේවල් ඔබට කණ්ඩායමේ සාමූහිකත්වය රැක ගැනීමට උදව් උපකාර වුණා ඔව් අනිවාර්යයෙන් මොකද මම හිතන්නේ මේ මහාරාජයගේ මම හිතන්නේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට සෙල්ලම් කරපු කට්ටියගෙන් මම හිතන්නේ 175ක් විතර ඉදී මහාරාජා ආයතනය ඉතින් ඒ වගේම දුලිප් මෙන්ඩිස් අසූ අසූ තුනේ ඉඳන් එයා නායකත්වය දරුවා එයා හිටියා එතකොට සිදත් හිටියා මම හිටියා එතකොට හුඟක් රොමේෂ් වැඩ කරා රෝයි වැඩ කරා ඒ වගේ හුඟ දෙනෙක් වැඩ කරා රසල් ලහම හිටියා ඒ වගේ හුඟ දෙනෙක් මේ මහාරාජා ආයතනයේ හිටියා ඉතින් ඒ වෙලාවේ අපි ඔක්කොම එකට හිටීම මම හිතන්නේ අපිට අපේ සුහදතාවයට හුඟක් හොඳයි මොකද ඇත්තටම අපි එක එක කෙනාම හොඳට අඳුරනවා ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා අපිට ප්‍රැක්ටිස් ගියාම වුණත් මැච්චස් වලට ගියාම වුණත් අපි හුඟ දෙනෙක් අනිත් එක ඒ කාලේ ක්ලබ්ස් උත් තිබ්බේ හුඟක් අඩු වෙන්න එක සේ වගේම ඉතින් අපි හුඟක් වෙලාවට බ්ලූම් ෆීල්ඩ් එන්සීසී සීසීසී එස්එස්සී තමයි හුඟක් වැඩිපුර ඒ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට සෙල් ලංකාවට ප්ලේයර්ස්ලා හිටියේ ඉතින් ඒ ක්ලබ්ස් අතර අපේ හුඟ හොඳ සුහදතාවයක් තිබ්බා ඉතින් ඒක මහාරාජයගේ වැඩ කරපු එකත් මම හිතන්නේ ඒක ලොකු දෙයක් මොකද ඒ කාලේ ක්‍රිකටර්ස්ලා ඒගොල්ලෝ ගත්තේ මේ ජොබ්ස් වලට ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න තමයි මොකද මර්කන්ටයිල් එක ඒ කාලේ හරි ලොකු ටූර්නමන්ට් එකක් රුබෑකෝ මහාරාජාස් කියුවම ඒක නිකන් බ්ලඩ් මැච් එකක් එතකොට අශාන්ත ඔබගෙන් ඒ වගේ මහන්න කැමති අසූ දෙකේ ටෙස්ට් වරම් ලැබිලා මාස කීපයක් ගියාට පස්සේ කැරලිකාර සංචාරය තියෙනවා දකුණ අප්‍රිකාවට රිබෙල් ටූ එක යම් මේකෙන් ටෝනි ඕපාත ඔබට කතා කරාද මේ කැරලිකාර සංචාරයට සහභාගී වෙන්න කියලා ඔව් ඇත්තටම අසූ දෙකේ මම ගියා මේ ලැංගිෂයි ලීගේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න මේ පකිස්තාන් සංචාරයෙන් පස්සේ කියන ඉංගලන්තේ අපි සෙල්ලම් කළා අපි ගියා පකිස්තාන් වලට ටෙස්ට් මැච් තුනක් සෙල්ලම් කරා ඊට පස්සේ ඇවිල්ලා මම අප්‍රේල් මාසේ මම ගියා ලැංකිෂයි ලීගේ සෙල් ගණන් කරන්න රැම්ස් බොටම් කියලා කණ්ඩායමකට මට මතකයි එක මැච් එකක් ගහන වෙලාවේ මම දැක්කා ටෝනි ඕපාත ඇවිදගෙන එනවා මැච් එකට ඉතින් මං මං ඒ වෙලාවේ දැනගෙන හිටියේ නෑ මේ ටුවර් එකක් ගැන ඉතින් මැච් එක ඉවරලා ඇත්තටම ටෝනි මට කතා කරා කතා කරලා කිව්වා මේ මෙමයි අපි සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකාවට යන්න ටීම් එකක් අරන් යනවා ඔය එන්න කැමතිද කියලා ඉතින් මං ඒලා ටෝනියට කිව්වේ මම ඇත්තටම දැන් මම මගේ ටෙස්ට් මේ මැචස් පටන් අරන් විතරයි මට ඒ වෙලාවේ අවුරුදු විසි දෙකක් තමයි වයස මං කිව්වා ඉතින් මම ගියොත් මට ඊට පස්සේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ අනිත් එක ඇත්තටම අපි ඒ කාලේ සෙල්ලම් කරේ රෙක් සුඟක් රටට සෙල්ලම් කිරීමේ තිබ්බ ගෞරවයට කියන්නේ සල්ලි කියන එක අපි එච්චර ඒ කාලේ සල්ලි එච්චර තිබ්බේ නැහැ නේ හැබැයි ඒ සෙල්ලම් කරන රටට ගහන එකේ අර තොප්පිය ඇඳගෙන ෆීල්ඩ් එකට බහින එකේ තිබ්බ ගෞරවයට තමයි අපි හුඟක් සෙල්ලම් කරේ ඉතින් මං එයාට කිව්වා ඉතින් මමට මට නම් ඉන්න බෑ මොකද මම මේ මම ආවොත් මට ආපහු මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ශ්‍රී ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බෑ කියලා ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ එයා කිව්වා එහෙනම් කාර්යයක් නෑ බැයි ඒගොල්ලෝ ටීම් එකක් අරන් යනවා කියලා ඉතින් මං කිව්වා ඒගොල්ලන්ට සුබ පතලා මං කිව්වා මට නම් එන්න බෑ කියලා කොක්ම මුදල් ප්‍රමාණයක් කතා වුණාද මට නම් මතක නෑ ඒ කාලේ මම හිතන්නේ ලොකු මුදල් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි බලනකොට ඒ කාලේ මුදල් ප්‍රමාණය ලොකු මුදල් ප්‍රමාණය ඒ කියලා කිව්වා අවුරුදු දෙයකට තමයි යන්නේ ඉතින් අවුරුදු දෙයකට රුපියල් වලින් බලනකොට ඒ කාලේ ලොකු මුදලක් හැබැයි ඉතින් මට තේරුණේ මම ඒ ගියා නම් මට එතනින් මගේ ක්‍රිකට් ජීවිතය ඉවරයි 
ඉන්න මම මුදල ගැන බැලුවේ නැහැ මම ඇත්තටම කිව්වා මට යන්න බෑ මොකද මම මට ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ක්‍රිකට් සල්ලං කරන්න ඕනෙන්ද කියලා. ඒ වගේම සුවිශේෂ දෙයක් තමයි මහරාජායතනට සේවය කරපු කිසිම ක්‍රීඩකෙක් වගේ ගියේ නැහැ ඒ රෙබල් ටූර් එකට. එහෙමත් වික්‍රම රත්න ඇරෙනකොට මොකක් හරි ඒකට විශේෂ හේතුවක් තිබුණාද? මම හිතන්නේ එකක් ඇවිල්ලා අපේ බොස් මිස් රාජ මහේන්ද්‍ර Senaviratna he's got a bit of an X factor about him if St Thomas uh, if uh, Trinity College going to defend this total he will have to um, come to the party Senaviratna This ball is in line Well, I've decided to open the batting with the two promising left-handers. Yasin Desanayaka, who is captain of the team today, he did not participate yesterday. And Hirun Mathisha. So yesterday as opener, Anik Farendo, I told that he has been asked to come to play the practice game, uh, the, f- the first one practice game against Isi Patanga today. Very well bowled. Yeah, I think all three sides have been shopping and changing, haven't they? You know, a lot of guys have um, all three teams, too, for that matter. Trinity have their main two-day encounter up in Candy this coming weekend, and obviously Royal and St. Thomas's will be fighting out at the SSC for the Mustangs Trophy. So, um, as far as Royal and Thomians are concerned, they are, they are looking to um, find the correct level. Oh, brilliantly bold. A bit of swing, shaping towards, shaping in towards the left-hander's pad. Hirun will have to be very careful that he doesn't get his front pad across. And as a result, the head will fall across and you'll end up having to play around your front pad. Well, the problem is if it's out there, the awesome guy, he'll have to bring that leg at least to cover the stunt and play in line. Or else he's going to get bold because that ball is swinging a bit and uh, comes into the left hand. He yeah. is covering the line. Very similar yesterday when he, when Senegal Ratna got uh, Suiza out from St. Thomas's. Played on. 
There are a lot of boxes uh, you can tick when it comes to set picker Sandy Varadna. Have a look at his run up. Short steps, accelerating, smooth, rhythmic. Arms moving on either side of the body. Tilting forward and coming up at the right time. Have a look at this one on side on angle. See his arms. Beautiful approach. I don't know why he wants to come around the wicket after doing so well over the wicket, creating that angle, the difficult angle, and suddenly you come around the wicket. And he don't get off the mark. To drive at that. Not fully in control, but over where Gali would have been. And boundary has come. So Royal off the mark, uh, Hirun off the mark. And Seth Mika also conceding runs. Well, that uh, required run rate is not going to be a, a bother for Royal unless they just lose a few wickets in heap. Shortish delivery. Correct thing to do. Got the boundary. And then just a single. Five runs and first over completed. And Royal of five for no loss. I believe the right house is like a soulmate. When the right one comes along, it's magic. Welcome home, Susan. <gasps> There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell. And we make it go away. Run as fast as you can. Anything else that I need to know? Surreal Estate, Season 2. Real estate is exciting, isn't it? On Rock Entertainment. So, basically, this is a semi final. Not Ravichandra and Ashwin. But he is also an off spinner. Yeah, Ravichandra and Ashwin is what they call he's one of the engineers in the game of cricket. He's got a brain and a half. He, he has modified his actions over the years suit his style shot on the back foot there is protection down there so six feelers on the offside slip slip in place on the on side, there are three inside the circle, mid on, mid wicket, and a square leg. Jashindu, like I mentioned, he did not participate yesterday, so he's facing his first delivery in this competition. There's a bit of hesitation. All That's these players, uh, you know, I mean, everyone is taller than me, but they, they, these both these players are pretty tall, aren't they? So they, they need to. Uh, they only take four or five steps to the other side. Hirun is only 15 years old. Yasinju is 15 plus, 16. So They have a long way to go, uh, pretty young, good experience here. That's how it's up in the air, over the mid-on fielder. So, not judging it properly, they've turned back, covered the ball, but uh, he was trying to backpedal. Another two runs.
very easily when you chase these small totals, uh, Michael. We'll come back to that. Two, two of us gone. Royal College chasing 68 to win 10 for no loss. Young and carefree. Four unlikely friends spend their time aimlessly. Hello! Until a getaway sets them on a whole new course. Hello! Together, they embark on a cross-border adventure. One that will change their lives in the most unimagined ways. Easy Living on Cinema World. Quiet start. 10 for two, uh, 10 for none in two overs. Going on nicely. Carl 20 hopes will depend on this boy, Shatmika, to can get the breakthrough. See again the ball coming in. He don't uh, trying to make room, but couldn't do anything because the ball came in played close to his body yeah, from the field that I've been set just like a fly slip point cover extra cover mid off and there's two on the boundary line long leg and deep square leg so you could expect him to dig one shot he will go for that conventional length maybe two or three balls I'd probably give him the slow one as well in between and then try and see whether you can get him to go across. It's obviously that short ball is going to come at some moment. It's a little more easier for the left-handed when the bowler comes uh, around the wicket, especially when he's bringing it in. Yeah, it does. Uh, you know, if you're smart enough, you'll probably bat a bit outside the crease and try and get the front pad out. And even if you get struck, it'll be outside the line at, uh, at the impact. But then again, it's you, know, you can't be one-dimensional. This is a good battle. He's, he's coming back. So now he's coming over the wicket, uh, Gami. I think that's much better. Because then the batsman has to adjust a bit more. Maybe with his stance or you know, he has to look over his shoulder. Then maybe just outside of some bring it in. That LBW also comes into play. It all come down, comes down to the skill and the will. And uh, I think both Setmika and Hirun, they're pretty smart cricketers from what I've seen so far. They've got the skills to go with it. Again, very good delivery. Yeah, we see Lucky got that edge under the pads. like a thinking cricketer trying both angles and Trinity um, Trinity have been up and there and thereabouts haven't they in the last few years in schools cricket whichever the format they played in yeah they've been in quite a lot of finals This year, I, mean, I think they are pretty decent side. Two under 19 players in the team. Yes, and uh, after three overs, Royal 11 for Norris. Another Tenna Challenge Trophy. 
We are into the second day, the final day. St. Thomas's College got over the line against both these um, sides yesterday. Played Royal College in the morning and then um, Trinity in the afternoon. In the Royal game was very much, very close for their liking. So, uh, like you said, that may, may have fallen about 20 runs short. We're getting a decent start. And then against Trinity. Just change the complexion after the second, after the first 10 overs. So, there's a change in the field. Deep cover co has come into the circle. Midown has dropped back. They need is a uh, couple of wickets, uh, Garmin, because a uh, few dot balls here and there is not going to do a lot of damage. That's up in the air. That, that is oh, very lucky. Robert the Green going towards here on this time around. Looking to heave it towards that cow corner. Brilliantly bowled. Beaten for flight. Leading edge. Four fielders converging on it, plus the bowler, which was five people going for that ball at one time, but then right in the middle of everyone. There you see, let's see three new pitcher. Ball had given up. That last o yeah, last one was pretty good from uh, Seth Mika, and uh, Ashwin needs to follow that up with another good over, and then that's how we are going to put pressure from both sides that's a chance and gone so a few dot balls here and then that's the pressure that you see tried to hit out and Yasindu this time to pay the price yeah we see that again nicely flighted inviting him to come over the top just ended up uh, skying it to the point fielder Again, a very poor option taken by uh, Yasindu. Looking to go against the turn. He's got the ability to present the full face of the bat. Probably over the bowler said would have been the correct option, but it's all finished now. Five balls for one run. Royal losing their first wicket. 3.4 over 12 for one. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC, live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So the first we got down for Royal in the fourth over. Shane, the new batsman. Shane, Shane Abiratna. This is the new facility. It is as good as you can get. It's an absolute brilliant facility. International standard, I would say, Gamma. You couldn't imagine that uh, a school is having this kind of uh, building, the facility. This, see this, these, um, those. Uh, Dressing rooms reminds me of one of those Premier League dressing rooms uh, in England. Uh, you have your number on it, and uh, yeah. such just a lot of space. And uh, you know, I think SSC dressing rooms are pretty um, big. I think this is even bigger. These ones, and uh, you know, credit should go to the warden and the man who drove this whole thing, Dinesh Kumar Singh, uh, um, with a lot of help from the um, old boys and the staff. And you know, I can. I can mention names till the cows come home, but very first ball right across the line. So the intentions are clear from uh, Shane. Wants to get on with it. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, just international standard. Well, I think uh, not only the Premier League, but uh, look at uh, some of the international rugby pavilions uh, also look a bit similar and 
international cricket venues also you get similar run is driven uh, it's the short extra cover fielder and after four was rahul 13 for one Thirteen for one. Royal really haven't got away with things. Trinity, some Trinity, uh, some of the bowlers, particularly the spinners, uh, along with uh, Seth Mikas, showed some good skills yesterday. Although Akash Fernando and uh, Caldera took the game away from them in that last ten overs, but uh, there's a bit of pressure on the Royalists to, um, even though the total is not a huge one. This will be a good test. Shane Abiratna versus Seth Pickett. Has they got a slip? Yeah, they've got a third slip. Solitary slip. Wow, wow, wow. Not the start he wanted. He was looking for the glory ball. His stock ball goes away from the right-hander's outside edge, but he was looking to swing it from leg stump. As a result, the release went all wrong. And the ball held on its line. And never reached with the wicketkeeper when the ball comes along the ground. Even here, on a such a nice outfield, uh, Michael, this is like a golfing green. This outfield, I'll feel this on any day. Yeah, you'd love to field on this ground. Luck that didn't hit the the helmet on its way. Either way, the result was five runs. So penalty also would have been five runs. Stayed on the back foot. Didn't really bounce that much, but it's got quick hands, uh, Shane. Got enough bat on it. But I think with a smallish target, even for Sathmika, you know, the tips may be down. You can't just come in and bowl your heart out. Just doesn't look himself. Yesterday he was much better. Yeah, to be a good puller of the cricket ball, Michael, you need to be a natural thinker. If you premeditate it, you can get into all kinds of positions. All sorts of prob problems will come. And the key to uh, Shane's pull shot was that he kept his head forward, and it was still, and his base was right. So, you know, it's not easy in these subcontinent uh, uh, tracks, uh, particularly in this part of the uh, world, to be a good puller of the ball because at times the ball will. Uh, Uh, will be it will be two pairs and it won't come to you and you can easily you know give a top pitch but like i said those are the attributes if you you going to be a natural thinker you keep your head forward generally it would keep a bit low i don't think it's going to come up a lot so like you said head still and eyes on the ball might make it much more easier so like shane has brought some life into this side to this batting lineup you want to 10 off uh, just four deliveries just what you need chasing a small total don't need to get bogged down too much it's already a few dot balls and what created that first wicket That's picked up nicely. Most of the left-handers are very good on the legs. Hiron is no exception. You know, they are pretty good on that drop kick shot. You need to have loose hands to access to play a shot like that. 
particularly on the leg side you need to unlock your hip and have a look at this one that's it a terrific shot it's set up nicely for him he right. just had to guide it it's a bad speed the wrist like like i said a lot of left-handers love that shot off the pads of the legs Behind to trying to rethink the strategy. With the breeze, the ball will carry onto that side. It's a nice play into the covers, but no run. Today, the first ODI between the Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Um, you can watch it live on the Papare TV, Michael. Channel TV numbers. channel number uh, 63. Dialogue TV, the Papare combination, providing with you, providing you with a lot of options. This weather, they've asked us to stay in indoors, so you stay indoors and get your refreshments and watch some cricket. 29 for one after five. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Within the corner challenge trophy game three all college uh, cruising in this run chase 29 for one Royal College they need just 68 runs to uh, win this uh, third game and uh, Advance through to the uh, finals of the Within the corner challenge trophy against uh, St. Thomas's College which will uh, take place Later today, Trinity College, of course, uh, almost a return catch there to Ashwin. And Trinity College, of course, uh, they failed to read this uh, format completely in the two games, uh, which won uh, even yesterday. Yeah, we talked a lot about this, uh, they had to chase. They were really good in the first 10 overs while bowling, but uh, then things just uh, started to fall apart uh, because of that partnership between Nakash and Nathan. Meanwhile, uh, Shane. He scores another boundary. Shane Abiratna, he he's in a hurry to uh, finish things off uh, quickly and get some good uh, rest before the of all important final against St. Thomas's College. Now, yesterday, Royal College uh, they pushed uh, St. Thomas's College to the absolute limit. Uh, Rishwan, if uh, it was not for Kevin Dudas' uh, blazing, not blazing cameo just at the end, they almost defended 117. So uh, Royal College they certainly feel that they have a good chance uh, of uh, challenging St. Thomas's College in the finals you know, going back to Trinity College as I mentioned um, so many times they really failed to uh, read the format correctly this is a brand new challenge to them and even while chasing yesterday they were very one dimensional didn't go after the bowling whatsoever and uh, even in this uh, game they batted first and uh, they were not up to the mark Yes, uh, nevertheless, it's good experience uh, for these uh, youngsters. They will have uh, a lot of uh, experience out of these two games, a uh, couple of games. A loud appeal by uh, the man behind the stumps and Ashwin, but uh, nothing from the umpire. Now, uh, Tommy talked about this. The uh, ODI series between Sri Lanka and Bangladesh will begin today and you can catch the action live on Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papri TV. It will be an intense uh, series. Uh, there's a lot of incidents that happened during the T20 series where Sri Lanka managed to emerge victorious 2-1.
So uh, we will uh, talk about that further in the next row at Royal College 34 for 1. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Plenty of uh, cricket coming your way. Not to see, as you mentioned. Uh, series uh, opener in that ODI series and uh, what do you think uh, will happen Laksasi? It's going to be very close uh, Sri Lanka they have a point to prove uh, they lost to Bangladesh in that uh, World Cup last year for the first time in a global event Sri Lanka lost to Bangladesh so Sri Lanka they certainly have a point to prove and Bangladesh they have been very good in the ODI format when it comes to playing at home so uh, a lot at stake for both the sides so uh, it will definitely be a very, very close 50 over series between the two teams. And also on the Papa TV, you can catch the live action from the Women's Premier League as well. Uh, we have the last three teams already decided. And uh, in the weekend, we have the Mustangs Trophy encounter. The one day encounter between St. Thomas's College and Royal College. And then on Sunday, we have Isipatna College versus Thurston College. One day encounter happening. So a lot of cricket coming your way on Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papri TV. So uh, make sure to stay tuned uh, to Papri TV because uh, this is the home for sports in Sri Lanka. So uh, plenty of cricket uh, happening around the world and uh, in uh, Sri Lanka as well. March Madness really happening uh, thick and fast here. Royal College uh, playing uh, with a lot of youngsters and none of uh, the players who featured in that 140 with the Battle of the Blues uh, haven't uh, turned out uh, for the Royalists so it's a point to prove for them uh, if uh, they get to that uh, final and I believe the senior royal team is actually playing a practice game today against Zan the college uh, as a preparation for the uh, 50 over encounter which will take place uh, in three days time and also for Trinity College uh, their main first eleven squad is not here as well they are preparing for their big match encounter against St. Anthony's College so uh, serious kudos to both the teams, all the teams to be honest to uh, finding uh, the time to uh, make sure this tournament takes place uh, for the two days. A lot of credit should go out to St. Thomas's College as well for organizing this uh, right in between the uh, three day encounter and the one day encounter, it's uh, never easy. Good delivery by Kanilka, the left arm spinner. He will be more comfortable uh, bowling at uh, Shane than Hirun. Oh, Giving uh, no room there. Kanilka. The uh, ball is over fairly well. Searching for that glory delivery. Cut away by uh, Hirun. Doesn't have the legs to uh, run away from the field at uh, short third man. He will cut it out as uh, the two batters. They will uh, take two runs from that. So the last 18 deliveries. Three fours and a six. They have certainly upped the run rate in the last three overs Royal College. And what a delivery that was from Kanilka. Right in between the uh, gap of uh, Hirun Matisha. There was a huge gap uh, between the bat and the pad of Hirun. And Kanilka found purchase from the uh, pitch and uh, managed to sneak through the gap and uh, disturb the woodwork of Hirun. 
What a delivery. Brilliant uh, over from uh, Kanilka. Gets his man in that last delivery. Roll is uh, two down for 39 as uh, Hirun. Matisha walks back to the pavilion after a good 20 of 24. Royal College 39 for 2 after 7. March Madness is back. Are you ready for the big match madness? March Madness, live on the Parade, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Batsman to the middle, Sasindu. Walks out after this uh, brilliant delivery from Kanilka to top it off. Uh, good over. Classical uh, left arm as we cut there. Super delivery. Get the second wicket for Trinity. Decent over coming in uh, from Kanilka. Just uh, the five runs in it and a wicket. Let's keep it. Ocean and Lokuge. Let's introduce himself into the attack and Sasi Duma by the new badger for Royal College. Just 29 runs away, Royal College, from the uh, finals of the Unruthin Nagon Challenge Trophy. The T20 Triangular Series between St. Thomas's College, Royal College, and uh, Trinity College. Oh, in fact, they have uh, changed the bowling uh, last minute from Motion to uh, Malika. Malika, I believe, is a leg spinner. Trying to mix things up a bit, they bowl their left arm spinner, their off spinner, and uh, trying to uh, use their leg spinner now. Skip a motion and local gate. Hint of turn there by uh, Malka, but uh, no harm done to the batter. Shane Abiratna made the 25 odd last year, yesterday as well. That game against St. Thomas's College goes inside out, Shayna Beradna, but uh, there is protection there. Good looking shot uh, coming in uh, from Abiratna. Good all round cricket as well. Protection in uh, the deep uh, for Freddy College. Cut away by uh, Sasindu and uh, well fielded. Good effort. Scoreboards been ticking uh, for the Royalists. Trinitians on the other hand uh, cannot uh, contain uh, the run scoring here. That's up in the air and that has been taken. Third we get down. The leg spinner removes uh, the new batter Sasindu. The bowling change uh, working straight away for a Trinity skipper, Ocean and Lokuge. Royal College, three down for 42. Here's the replay. Tried to go inside out uh, just like uh, Shane Abiratna, but uh, didn't uh, find any timing whatsoever. Sasinumapa's uh, brief uh, stay comes to an end as he walks off uh, to one. And uh, Royal College, three down for 42. Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
back to back uh, wickets uh, for uh, the two Indians. It's not a big score for them to defend. Royal is still not a B under a lot of pressure. Slide inside edge uh, isn't there. Lux to see. Not the best of uh, shots coming in uh, from Mapa. Easy, easy catch. So we got the uh, keeper, batsman uh, Udanta Gangewat uh, walks to the middle. In at number five, we will have a uh, responsibility to finish this game off. At first glance, uh, that dismissal it looked like he was going for inside out, but uh, when you look at the replay, he was actually trying to uh, play down the on side. Not the uh, correct uh, call from uh, the batsman Sasindu. Trying to play on the on side against the leg spinner is always a risk. And uh, the outside edge was found uh, quite easily. So the end of a successful low for uh, Trinity College, Royal 44 for 3. Royal vs St. Thomas's 47th Mustang Trophy 16th March at SSE Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Kanilka to continue after that uh we get over. Royal College need uh, just another 24 runs in uh, 12 overs. Quite rounded of just uh, two runs per over, so it's an uh, easy task uh, for the Royalists. Trinitians will have to uh, do something special if they are to win this game. And Royal College, they'll have to play very poorly. The uh, current state of the game um, tends to finish uh, in favour of Trinity College. So just 24 more runs uh, in 70 deliveries. You won't get any easy equations than that uh, rest run uh, Royal College. That kept low. It came in with the arm. Almost managed to uh, sneak past the bat off uh, Shane. Now Kanilka. He'll be hoping that he can repeat what he did in that last over. That was a picture perfect delivery against a uh, left, uh, left hand batter. But uh, Udanta, he saw what happened and uh, he's making sure that there's no gap uh, between his uh, bat and the pad for Kanilka to sneak through. That way to the leg side, uh, he will uh, begin his account with that single Udanta. List uh, can deal in uh, singles and get home. Trinitians, on the other hand, uh, they need another seven wickets. That's a mammoth task. They were now once again beautifully crossover for another single as uh, the ninth over comes to an end. Uh, St. Thomas, uh, 47 for 3, chasing uh, 68. Youth is set, right? Youth Plus. The Papare TV. The Papare TV HD. Dialogue Television, Nalika Anka Hatta Tunasaha, Eka Siyavisi Hayo Se. Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kweda Nalika Ve. Royal College need another 21 runs. 
in 66 deliveries to feature in that final in this Anur Thendakon Challenge Trophy against uh, St. Thomas College uh, Mount Lavinia happening uh, later today Malika the leg spinner he will continue uh, took the wicket uh, of uh, Sassin with that previous over Shane once again he certainly likes to go inside out uh, doesn't he Shane Abiradna who uh, looks like a very good batter an organized batter knows uh, what he is doing and uh, Ashwan went to Indy College will go back and reflect on this tournament uh, they'll be disappointed about their batting effort uh, a lot because their bowling it was really good even against St. Thomas's College for the majority of the 20 overs they were really good I think it was in the last 6 or 7 overs that Akash and Nathan managed to take the game away from them but uh, other than that they were really really good they were disciplined in their bowling I uh, was really impressed uh, with the likes of Seth Mika in that first game, uh, especially how he bowled with the new ball. But uh, to uh, back that bowling effort, they didn't have uh, the intent in their batting that has been their problem in this uh, tri series. When yesterday we talked a lot about this, uh, how they took the uh, chase yesterday. Not having their regulars as well, which is not helping uh, the cause for them as well. They are playing uh, the Hill Capital Battle of the Blues uh, this uh, Friday, Saturday, 15th and 16th. Mm, that's true, they don't have the regulars restaurant, but uh, I don't think that's an excuse uh, for the way that they battered in this uh, two games uh, yesterday. Uh, that was really disappointing how they battered out just the 20 overs without uh, even. Um, trying to chase that total down there is uh, no intent whatsoever to win that game See, it was a mammoth total to chase down and uh, I think they had already given up uh, without even trying Shane once again goes for the inside out so uh, the number that they require it's uh, below 20 now just 18 needed from 61 deliveries plenty of time left for Royal College uh, to uh, just stick off these 18 runs another decent over coming in uh, from uh, Malika As you said, uh, Laksisi, the bowling have been quite impressive for Trinity College. Can take uh, some positives out of it, out of this uh, couple of games. Goes for the quicker delivery, and uh, that's a no ball as well. Did this happened yesterday too in the evening game when he tried to go for that quicker delivery while uh, bowling. He overstepped and uh, made the same mistake again, probably uh, while trying to uh, put that extra effort in. He's uh, unable to uh, make sure that his stepping is in the right place. Malika. So a free hit. An opportunity for Shane Abiratna to uh, get his team even closer to that target. Oh, he'll be uh, targeting a boundary from this delivery. After that, they'll need only 11 more runs to win. 12 more runs to win if he can uh, get a 4 here. Here's a free hit. Malika to Shane. Unable to uh, get the connection he was desiring. desiring. So, uh, end of the 10th over, Royal College. Just uh, 15 runs away from registering their place in the final of the Andhra Thinnagon Challenge Trophy. All like a company, all like a club, all like a school, youth, the Papa TV King, the Papa TV King, the Papa TV King, the Papa TV the Papa TV King, the Papa TV King, the Papa TV King, the Papa TV the Papa TV
53 for 3 after 10, chasing 68 to win Royal. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. I spent a lot of time hurting myself, trying to hurt my father. I never picked up a basketball again. We need a new coach, Jack. You're the first person I thought of. The team any good? No. <laughs> In fact, the last time they made the playoffs, back when you were playing. I got a feeling this team is not as bad as its record. We have to trust each other. We have to have faith. The Way Back. Fantastic uh, facility, this uh, Gamini. Oh, I had the privilege of um, having a look at it before it was opened, and uh, I mentioned in my last, and it's it's an international standard. When I see those uh, dressing rooms, uh, Arthur, I mentioned last time, it looks like one of those the, um, in England, uh, the Premier League club dressing rooms. You got your own number, you got your own shell, and you got your T-shirt hanging up on the top, and uh, four nets. Uh, used to be two here, um, but they have refurbished uh, and it's looking in a magnificent condition. And uh, you know, it, it's, yeah, it's when the when the gymnasium and uh, everything else comes with it, it'll be a totally uh, fantastic package for the future generations. Definitely, and uh, kudos to whoever have uh, contributed this. There's a huge uh, board up there with the names on it and um, there are a few names that we know uh, in Sri Lanka and there's Sri Lanka cricket as well and uh, matters in hand Trinity College won the, won the toss um, and decided to bat first yeah just yeah. yeah, 67 runs that was not enough uh, many run outs uh, one one area where the youngsters would uh, probably want to know yesterday Royal were guilty of uh, something like four run outs I think they will uh, rectify that problem and uh, they are well on course to meeting St. Thomas's in the final this afternoon. Just uh, 15 runs away from uh, victory. This is another guy that I've been uh, very impressed with, Shane Abiratna. Yeah, he's uh, scored well in the uh, mini battle too. And the way he uh, takes his options, the way he, he plays the ball, the way it comes, but he does have shots right around the ground. He, he doesn't mind playing over extra cover inside out. He's not a premeditated type of a player. He's he uh, can drive, he can get on the back foot. Takes a single. Just That's well run. Very good running between wickets. I was impressed with uh, Hirun Matisha too. Both matches he scored over 20. Or rather got into the 20s when the first game he got into the 30s. Brilliant ball that dislodged him though. And uh, talk about Trinity team. I was impressed to be uh, Karnil Kabul yesterday against some quality uh, St. Thomas's batters and he has continued to uh, ball well. This um, competition, two overs, 2.2 overs, one for 10. Again, not afraid to flight the ball. They've not, they haven't got a lot of runs to play with, just 12 required. But just get through front leg and see how his back leg comes forward in front of the line. So, there's a lot of talent and promise on display. from all three schools for that matter. We would like to wish um, Trinity and uh, indeed uh, St. Anthony's uh, for their big match coming up this weekend. That's why their first team is not here. 
But most of the first team is not here. But we must um, congratulate uh, the authorities for sending a side in for this historic occasion. They've not been uh, up to the mark that uh, the opposition probably wanted, but uh, moments of glory for them. You must. Uh, Appreciate uh, the humid conditions. 11 completed. 57 for 3 Royal in reply. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue viewer and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Yeah, you mentioned about appreciating the uh, Royal and, and the Trinitians for uh, participating in this tournament. But a hectic schedule, you've got to understand that, don't you? But I'll tell you, you know, these three schools, they've, they've had relationships of over 100 years. Uh, once, one of my mentors, late Mr. Garvin Salgado, uh, he told me, uh, I used to meet him all the time when I was uh, in the coaching staff for Royal and uh, he used to inquire about a lot of things um, from me. He told me in 1942 when he captained Royal team, uh, just before the Royal told me and they, they went to play Trinity and then uh, there were no phones back then and uh, so the letter was sent to Garmin Salgado by St. Thomas's captain saying good luck, try and beat the Trinitians. So they went and played the Trinitians and when they came back the following week it was the um, Royal Thomian. Trinity captain sent a letter wishing good luck to Garvin Salga to play against St. Thomas's. So I can tell stories till the cows come home but uh, like I said these three schools have had years of uh, good camaraderie and uh, what not. Um, that's why you know, it's, it yeah, it's funny. The Royal Trinity, it's the Bradby, the two-legged Bradby, and the Royal Thomian is uh, the cricket big match, the mother of all uh, cricket big matches. Just tell me, what's the best memory of you uh, having against uh, Trinity as uh, a Royal cricketer? Scoring two ducks in the centenary match. How can it be so different to scoring 140 and saving uh, Royal from certain defeat uh, against St. Thomas's? That was the following week. <laughs> ah. I saw that 114 full because I was commentating Gavini, you know that. That's funny, I scored two ducks the week before in the centenary match. Uh, you yeah. would only hear something like that uh, in uh, the Papare commentary, I'll tell you. Oh, apart from the two ducks, how was uh, your bowling and uh, whom do you remember? as uh, a Trinity cricketer who created more problems for you, uh, Royalists? Oh, there were, there were plenty. Uh, in 90s, Trinity College, uh, Samantha Dudangwala used to bowl boomerangs uh, those <laughs> days. And I was happy because I was a left-hander, it was going across him. But if you're a right-hander, you need to have a chest guard on, around your stomach area. It was coming straight at your stomach. Uh, now, there were some brilliant cricketers, like Ekan uh, Balales, uh, that's terrifically struck. Nailed that one. Lot of tricks about that one. Out of the top draw from uh, Shane Abiratna. It was like a Kevin Peterson shot, like a Flamingo shot. Just, just planted his front leg. Wasn't really close to the uh, ball because he was, he was, he was a bit too upright. But his hands. Have a look at his hands. There you are. One leg. That's why he call a Flamingo shot. Yeah, good. He's, he's got good skills, yeah, doesn't I, he? I know you're a huge bird watcher, Gamini. That much I know. Yeah, I like the two-legged ones. You like the two-legged ones on one leg, huh? That's what you like.
Beaten for speed. Comes back for the second. So just one hit away for the Royal is to um, make it to the afternoon final. Have you had any contact with uh, Anurad Tennakon at any stage? Oh, I'm in touch with him all the time. And uh, where, um, where I coach uh, privately, uh, the Sri Lanka Career Foundation, he's in the uh, Governor's Board or the Director's Board. So I, I go to him all the time for advice. And I go um, and meet him at times uh, in front of that. Uh, what do you call that? That uh, Valley Park. You know, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, so he's that's close uh, to my place. Yeah, I, I actually met him two weeks ago as well when he came for that board meeting. And uh, yeah, uh, every given opportunity, if you can speak, even too much of a gentleman. Even oh yes, you know he's a very level-headed bloke, and uh, you only wish if you if you can make them like that anymore. Abhay Ratna has batted well. We will hear and see a lot about him. Uh, but this tournament has brought him out uh, quicker than uh, what was expected. 12 completed. Royal in reply. Three short of a victory with uh, only three wickets down. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papa Ray TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. The first uh, one-day international starts uh, less than two hours uh, in Bangladesh. Dennis Davis, uh, who is based in Bangladesh, is watching the cricket. I asked him what. He said, uh, don't be mistaken, full crowds, extremely talented and competitive series against a bunch of cricketers who are doing very well for Bangladesh these days. Yeah, the, the bit of rivalry between the two countries, uh, Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. I was there on radio commentary when it all started in the three nation tournament with uh, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka eventually won it. And that's where it all started. We, was, we saw that whole episode then. And it has uh, continued for a good uh, three, four years over three, four tours. Most of the present team would have been spectators then for Bangladesh. Sachana. Peter Sekera with his right arm leg spin. Delicately played. I like the way he has progressed, uh, this Shane Abhayaratna. He's a, a level-headed uh, cricketer. That's that's the best thing I, I can see of him. Doesn't try to play fancy, but uh, certainly wouldn't let the opposition get on top of him. For what we have seen in the two innings that we have uh, been uh, fortunate to see about Shane Abhayaratna. Bishima, successful school cricket career and beyond. The Royal well on their way to meeting St. Thomas's in the final later this uh, afternoon. They're dealing in singles at the moment and that's all they want right now in this situation. She's one to win. Scores tied at the moment. Well played, Royal. Big thank you to Trinity. Back to back matches, but on two days. Royal today will play back to back matches. And Thomas has played back to back matches on the first day. Yeah, that's, that's a nice way to draw it, really. Uh St. Thomas has played twice yesterday, so whoever wins today will play twice. So it's down on one knee. And that will reach the boundary now. 
So one was required. They finished with the boundary and um, well deserved victory for the Royalists. Their bowlers. I'm not sure whether they were at their best, but I don't think Trinity were uh, at their best with the bat in hand. They made some very poor uh, decisions, and um, but you can only play as well as your op opponent lets you, uh, Harita. So Rod will be happy to emerge victorious uh, from this encounter and um, have a go at that final prize this afternoon. The pleasantries, yes, nice for the Royal Batters to stay on and meet uh, the Trinity fielders. It's not an easy task. It's played in the best of spirits. It's for a worthy cause. It's a one-off tournament, by the way. Yasindu Disanayaka brought into the side uh, to captain the side and uh, do well. They've done well. Although he failed, he was the first to be dismissed. But that's uh, no problem. It's been a spirited royal reply. The chasing a modest total of 67. Lost to get very early, their skipper Yasindu. But uh, Hirun again showed a lot of promise. 20 or 24. Shane was the mainstay, 38. And. Uh, because of his performance, Royal White convincingly reached the target they required to get to the final. Twenty College. Well, when you when you defend a total like 67, there is not a lot of margin for error. Sethwick again looks impressive, although he didn't pick up a wicket. As you know, for the bowling, bowl economically as well as picked up a wicket, so did Karnilka. Malika picked up a wicket, but they needed a lot more than that if, we, uh, if they had to be uh, win and get across to that final. But um, one area they could be happy with, in contrast to Royal, is that uh, they were pretty disciplined with their line. Just four uh, extras, it's just a solitary wide and a no ball. Royal had uh, a modest target of uh, 68 to get. First to be dismissed was the skipper Yasindu Desanayaka. Ashwin here at the counter for him, and then there was a decent partnership. Mirun Matisha was uh, batting well for the second time in the tournament. Shane Averatna was a different uh, commodity right from the start. This was a brilliant delivery. It dismissed uh, first uh, Irun Matisha and then the rest of the batting just uh, provided uh, the impetus. With uh, Abhiratna really in charge in partnership with uh, Gigan Gay. So the summary, Trinity College, who won the toss this morning, decided to bat first. Uh, never had uh, things going in their way and made some very poor decisions. And uh, 67 all out. Moving the 18 was the highest score. And the extras were 18. So the end of the 3 for 10. You should then say on the 2 for Royal. 71 for 3 with plenty of time to spare. Shane, 38 of 34. Royal won by 7 wickets. So, so Thomas is unbeaten with uh, four points. Uh, Royal, uh, by virtue of this victory, have qualified over Trinity, who didn't record uh, a victory, to meet uh, St. Thomas's in uh, an anticipated uh, final later this uh, afternoon. We will be live from uh, the Big Club grounds to celebrate uh, a centenary and this tournament uh, in uh, celebration of uh, that landmark here at Mount Lavinia. matches uh, 
relatively comfortable victories over the last two games. The first one was a much closer affair. So that uh, will take you to that uh, last game against the same two teams. And the traditional rivalry will uh, also create uh, a little bit of hype and more people should come and actually watch the cricket when uh, the final is scheduled for 2 o'clock this afternoon. There it is, the Andrew Tenacoin Challenge Trophy final between uh, St. Thomas's and uh, Royal at the big club grounds. Scheduled for 2 p.m. We'll be live from uh, Mount Lovinia. Thank you for your company. Expect uh, to see you in numbers when the Papare comes you with the action in the final. We'll take a break and we'll be expecting you to be as with us when we come for the final. Joseph versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue viewer and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues. Trinity versus St. Anthony's. 15th, 16th March at Askeria. Live on the Papa Ray, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. March Madness is back. Are you ready for the big match madness? March Madness, live on the Papa Ray. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Selectors lady, I'm job be a gun no good. Make up me credit a gun a gun a gun navy. So, we thought the Anagati Kali on the Kali regular cricket. My like you, my mileage on the respect can know. Mileage on the Ayagatino players, fine tune Karaka, put on the players like Visia Karaki. Make a hurry balance a Kadal. Legends Vedasthan Tulin, Sri Lanka Cricket Tia, say Suprasid Nam Kipiak, Apoba Alin Data, Pogit Vaginava. Adina Apamut Paminene Sri Lanka Cricket Tia, say Testarang, Inimakudi, Kadlu Paha Klavagat, Palavana Rikpan Diavana. Oh, Ashanta Dibama. I born Ashanta. I born X. Ashanta Asuadas Gagan Katakara, the Vega Pandiavan Nangi Par, the Siakula Tibune, but in the Kodukanda, I'm got to Tema. Uh, Joel Garner, Malcolm Marshall, Michael Holding, Australia, uh, Dennis Lilly, Navasilante, uh, Richard Hadley, Pakistani Imran Khan, Buhu, uh, Vega Pandiwana, Sitia. May I tell you that the Ubagi, Priyatama Vega Pandiwana, Uneka Udagira? Magi and I tell you that Priyatama Vega Pandiwana did naked. Richard Hadley saw. Uh, Dennis Lilly, Tamai, Magi, Mukada, Mangi Golonga, Tamai, Unga Kelata. Model Karan Hedu, Moka Egolonge action Negai, Egolonge Iriau, Mangitane, Matonga, 
कुड़ा काले बालांग इन्नो कोड़ा मटोंगा कासा वातिब्बा इतिंग ये गोलो तमाय मंगारा रोल मॉडल या कैरियर टाइप आगे बालनो कोड़ा डेनिस लिली सा रिचर्ड हेडली तमाय मटे रोल मॉडल या कैरियर टाइप मामा कुड़ी काली नंग बेली देंग ओबे मंगले टेस्टारंगे पालमोन फांदू एवाने ओबे ओबे ये तारंगे पालवेनी निमे काटलू तुम में नेका टेवर है हाथरे में नेका यन बहुत हैं मतलब तो क्या हाथरा यन बहुत हम क्या नहीं इधर वास्तव में क्रिकेट डाबे पता है कि वो देख आसुए के ऐसे इस तरह का वाली इम्पासे वो करंगेरों ने सुपरी क्रिकेट के कैटियन है मैं कार्डलो आता रहें ना बट इमाहत सातुरा के नाम दोनों कार्डलो कुमार माइन Paling ini test wicket tu ala bagai ni, mungkin dah ni mata, eka ima ini kan ni loko satu tak, muka dah eka mungkin dah ni kata apa hukar ni lebih ni, kan ni paling ini test tegi paling ini boleh dah le paling ini kat tegi ni, mata wasan awak lebu na yawasta, itu mungkin yawasta yang provision yang kerja ni, ini paling ini kadul ala bagai ni, mungkin dah ni mungkin dah ni hukar ni mata satu tu ni pulang karan ni. Bagi yang mesti pun ini paling ini test tarang ni kan boleh satu tak pilih ni. Nah, entar mah api satu ringgit, muka dewi lah api api ni kang galang galang tipu ni kang underdogs lagi, lagi kan api wedia galang galat ini, ini kan api itu mungkin dah ni api sayang hunting greeda kerat, api jahat yang entar mat teme ni kang ni dah ladu ladu ru tatkah kata mai, ini kalau hitam ni dia, abai mungkin dah ni api paling ni testa ringgit, tapi ita paling ni dawas tu ni mana, api honda mana greeda kerat, api honda chance kat tipu. Mungkin lang laku lu tuh sih aku agak permainan aku kapit dewan ini meh la bagan itu ibu nang, mungkin dah nape dangga pandu yang nang ikka apit India apa me ame enggalan tu apit honda tarjan ini kita segala cara nadi ibu, awasan awat api hati reni dawas udhi mungkin dah nape kadulu hatak gya runs dahaya kiti ter. Oh, itu nama laku lu pura matak kerana nang ema Sri Lanka ni memang lakukan desi dah tak laba gan, apa lagi ni memang Inggris antara ni memang laba gan lakukan desi yang visi tulai. Dewi ni ni memang orang awam banyak laba gan, ekor si dah tu nanti ikat kardu lai, antara ni juga kira apa itu ini se collapse na. Macam mana? Adakim adu kama mereka itu naik laba itu mana? Mungkin dah ni adakim itu tiada ni tengah dah. Mungkin dah ni rex semua benda kat mana dia mungkin ni dina ni ke? Ikan habit ni ke? Ikan ni ke dina ni? एक एक क्रम में एकात में याम किसी दक्षता आ गया कि आप ही होंगा के लाओ टे ये दा ये काले दी आप ही होंगा के लंगर टाइमिले मैच पार दिनो एक ऐने मैच चेक दिनान ना पुलवांगा अवस्था आए दांग आप ही मैच पार दिनो तीन ये यार दिनान ना हैबिट टेकर टे आप ही अविले ही टी है ना इतने माइंडन मांगे दांग तुम्हें Apit deh, enggalan deh, loko pilih ni kerja dahana deh, bye bye. Mungkin dah John Embury saya anda pun boleh dangga ke? Oh na, I think api bodi laku nu gana kerja, mungkin dah ni antimat deh, kalau dekasi hatat deh, hatya kerja dahana deh. Ini bagi macam tu, mul khal ya, suh dasya ke jati kan dah, mungkin gudak kal, pada kali maharaja ayat ni ter. Kira kini semua me, ikat ini ma, ikat. Sewa kerana ayat ini city masa ha, ikat punuhi mana kiri mana lebi masa makan tarik tarang ikat sama ke benda ganja saman tiap. Mei dewal obat kanda ini samu ikat rakyat ini mana udah upacara mana? Oh, ani baru. Mungkin tu mai dana ni Maharaja ke mai dana ni Sri Lanka abet selanggarpu katiya ke mai dana si ada hatta bahag kita ni dia Maharaja ayat ini. Tapi ni bagi mana dulipendis asu Asuh tu ni indang ya naik kat tu ya deru ya, ya hitia, itu kau tu sidat hitia, mama hitia, itu kau tu unga kromesh bedegara, roy bedegara, ini bagi unga dinek bedegara, rasul lah mama hitia, ini bagi unga dinek me maharaja ayatan hitia, ini ting evila we api okko me ikat hiti me mangitan ni api tu api suah tu tawe tu unga kondo, makau tu atter me api ikat ikat nama hondra anduran. Ini inda api dia practice gya monat matches solte gya monat api hunga dene anita ka ekali club suit tipe hunga kaduin ni rek seva game api ting api hunga kelar dia Bloomfield NCC CCC SSC tamai hunga wedi pura Sri Lanka orang Sri Lanka orang players lah hiti. 
ඉතින් මේ ක්ලබ් සතර අපේ හොඳ සුහදතාවයක් තිබ්බා. ඉතින් මේක මහරාජයගේ වැඩ කරපු එකත් මම හිතන්නේ ඒක ලොකු දෙයක්. මොකද ඒ කාලේ ක්‍රිකට්ස්ලා මේගොල්ලෝ ගත්තේ මේ ජොබ්ස් වලට ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න තමයි මොකද මර්කන්ටයිල් එක ඒ කාලේ හරි ලොකු ටූර්නමන්ට් එකක්. ටුබැකෝ මහරාජාස් කියවම ඒක නිකන් බ්ලඩ් මැච් එකක්. එතකොට අශාන්ත ඔබගෙන් ඒ වගේ මහන්න කැමති 82 ටෙස්ට් වරම් ලැබිලා මාස කීපයක් ගියාට පස්සේ කැරලිකාර සංචාරය තියෙනවා දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවට රිබෙල් 2 එක යම් මේකින් ටෝනි ඕපාත ඔබට කතා කරාද මේ කැරලිකාර සංචාරයට සහභාගී වෙන්න කියලා ඔව් ඇත්තටම 82 මම ගියා මේ ලැංගිෂයි ලීගේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න මේ පාකිස්තාන් සංචාරයෙන් පස්සේ කියන ඉංගලන්තේ අපි සෙල්ලම් කරලා අපි ගියා පාකිස්තාන් වලට ටෙස්ට් මැච් තුනක් සෙල්ලම් කරා ඊට පස්සේ ඇවිල්ලා මම අප්‍රේල් මාසේ මම ගියා ලැංකිෂයි ලීගේ සෙල් ගන්න කරන්න රැම්ස් බොටම් කියලා කණ්ඩායමකට මට මතකයි එක මැච් එකක් ගහන වෙලාවේ මම දැක්ක ටෝනි ඕපාත ඇවිදගෙන එනවා මැච් එකට ඉතින් මම මම ඒ වෙලාවෙ දැනගෙන හිටියේ නෑ මේ ටුවර් එකක් ගැන ඉතින් මැච් එක ඉවරලා ඇත්තටම ටෝනි මට කතා කර කතා කරලා කිව්වා මේ මෙමයි අපි සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකාවට යන්න ටීම් එකක් අරන් යනවා ඔය එන්න කැමතිද කියලා ඉතින් මං ඒලා ටෝනියට කිව්වේ මම ඇත්තටම දැන් මම මගේ ටෙස්ට් මේ මැචස් පටන් අරන් විතරයි මට ඒ වෙලාවේ අවුරුදු විසි දෙකක් තමයි වයස මං කිව්වා ඉතින් මම ගියොත් මට ඊට පස්සේ සෙල්ලම් කරන්න හම්බෙන්නේ නැහැ අනිත් එක ඇත්තටම අපි ඒ කාලේ සෙල්ලම් කරේ රෙක් සුඟක් රටට සෙල්ලම් කිරීමේ තිබ්බ ගෞරවය කියන්නේ සල්ලි කියන එක අපි එච්චර ඒ කාලේ සල්ලි එච්චර තිබ්බේ නැහැ නේ හැබැයි ඒ සෙල්ලම් කරන රටට ගහන එක අර තොප්පිය ඇඳගෙන ෆීල්ඩ් එකට බහින එකේ තිබ්බ ගෞරවයට තමයි අපි හුඟක් සෙල්ලම් කරේ ඉතින් මං එයාට කිව්වා ඉතින් මම මට නම් ඉන්න බෑ මොකද මම මේ මම ආවොත් මට ආපහු මේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බෑ කියලා ඉතින් ඊට පස්සේ එයා කිව්වා එහෙනම් කාර්යක් නෑ බැයි ඒගොල්ලෝ ටීම් එකක් අරන් යනවා කියලා ඉතින් මං කිව්වා ඒගොල්ලන්ට සුබ පතලා මං කිව්වා මට නම් එන්න බෑ කියලා කොපමණ මුදල් ප්‍රමාණයක් කතා වුණාද මට නම් මතක නෑ ඒ කාලේ මම ඉඳන් ලොකු මුදල් ඒ කියන්නේ අපි බලනකොට ඒ කාලේ මුදල් ප්‍රමාණය ලොකු මුදල් ප්‍රමාණය ඒ ගුලු කිව්වා අවුරුදු දෙකකට තමයි යන්නේ ඉතින් අවුරුදු දෙකකට රුපියල් වලින් බලනකොට ඒ කාලේ ලොකු මුදලක් හැබැයි ඉතින් මට තේරුණේ මම ඒ ගියානම් මට එතනින් මගේ ක්‍රිකට් ජීවිතය ඉවරයි ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා මම මුදල ගැන බැලුවේ නෑ මම ඇත්තටම කිව්වා මට යන්න බෑ මොකද මම මට ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න ඕනෙන්ද කියලා එවගේම සුවිශේෂ දෙයක් තමයි මහරාජායතනට සේවය කරපු කිසිම ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් වගේ ගියේ නෑ ඒ රිබල් ටූර් එකට හේමන්ත වික්‍රමරත්න ඇරෙනකොට මොකක් හරි ඒකට විශේෂ හේතුවක් තිබුණාද මම හිතන්නේ එකක් ඇවිල්ලා අපේ බොස් මිස් රාජමහේන්ද්‍රනුත් ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට මහරාජයගේ අපිට හොඳ ක්‍රිකටර්ස් ලට හොඳට සැලකුවා ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ බොස් 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 ටත් ඕනලා හිටියේ අපේ මහරාජ ක්‍රිකට් සෙල්ලම් කරන කට්ටිය පුළුවන් තරමක් ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට අනිත් එක අපි යනවා නම් ඒ වගේ ටුවර් එකට අනිවාර්යෙන් අපි බොස් එක කියන්න වෙනවා ඉතින් මං හිතන්නේ නැහැ ඒ වෙලාවේ අපේ බොස් අපිට කියයි කියලා යන්න කියලා එයා හුඟක් වෙලාවට කියයි යන්න එපා කියලා මොකද එයා දන්නවා අපි ගියොත් අපිට මර්කන්ටයිල් ගහන්නත් බෑ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට ගහන්නත් බෑ ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා මං හිතන්නේ ඒ තිය ඒ බොස් එක තිබ්බ එච්චර උනන්දුවක් තිබ්බ ඒ කාලේ ක්‍රිකට් වලට මං හිතන්නේ ප්ලේයර්ස් ලටත් වැඩිය බොස් එක තිබ්බ උනන්දුවක් මොකද මට මතකයි ප්‍රැක්ටිස් වලට යනකොට පීටි තියෙන උදේට උදේ හයට බොස් එනවා බොනි රොබර්ට්ස් එක්ක ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකට අපි හරියට ෆිට්නස් කරනවා ද කියලා එච්චරට මේ උනන්දුවක් තිබ්බ ක්‍රිකට් වලට මට මතකයි මගේ ජොබ් ඉන්ටර්වියු එකට මං ගියලා මට කිව්වා මේ වැඩට ආවෙනත් අට ප්‍රශ්නයක් නෑ ප්‍රැක්ටිස් නම් එන්න නැතුව ඉන්න බෑ කියලා ඒ එච්චරට ඒ කියන්නේ ක්‍රිකට් වෙනුවෙන් මං හිතන්නේ ඒ රාජමහේන්ද්‍රන් කරපු සේවය මං හිතන්නේ ඒ ලොකු සේවයක් කරා මොකද අපිව මේ කියන්නේ ටෙස්ට් එකට සර ගන්න මිස ගාමින් සනායක එක්ක වැඩ කරලා ලොකු කාර්යභාරයක් කරා මම දන්නේ එයාට ලොකු ගෞරවයක් යන්න ඕනේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා ක්‍රිකට් වෙනුවෙන් ශාන්ත ඒ වගේම එක් දසම සිය අසූ තුන වර්ෂයේ වෙනකොට ක්‍රිකට් පාලක මණ්ඩලයේ සභාපති ගාමින් සනායක මහතා උප සභාපති රාජ මහේන්ද්‍රන් මහතා ඔවුන් එකතු වෙලා ස ගැරි සෝබස් වගේ ඉන්නවා කණ්ඩායම පූර්ණකරුව හැටියට එක් දසම සිය අසූ තුනේ ලෝක කුසලානට දැන් අපි දන්නවා ස ඩොන් බ්‍රැඩ්මන් කියන විදිහට ස ගැරි සෝබස් තමයි ඔහු දැකපු ඔන්නම ක්‍රිකට් ක්‍රීඩකයා දැන් ස ගැරි සෝබස් එක්ක ඔබට 
එකතු වෙලා වැඩ කටයුතු කරන්න ලැබීම ඔබ කොයි තරම් භාග්‍යයක් ඇයිද සල කරන්නද මොනවද ඔබ ඔහුගෙන් ඉගෙන ගන්නේ මම හිතන්නේ ඒක ලොකු අයියක් මොකද අපිට ලංකාවට මොකද ඇත්තටම ලංකාව මේ කියන්නේ ජාත්‍යන්තරව වැඩිය පිළිගැනීමක් තිබ්බේ නැහැ නේ ඉතින් ගැරි සෝබස් අපේ කෝච් හැටියට ගියාම අර සර් ගැරි කිව්වම අපිට ලංකාවටත් සෑහෙන ගෞරවයක් ආව මේ සර් ගැරි හින්ද අනිත් එක මම හිතන්නේ සර් ගැරි කෝචිං පැත්තෙන් ගත්තම හුඟක් මේ 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 ෆයින පොයින්ට්ස් තමයි එයාගෙන් ගන්න පුළුවන් ඒ කියන්නේ මේ ඩේ ඩේ ටු ඩේ කෝචිං නෙවෙයි මට මතකයි එක මැච් එකක් අපි වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එකට ගිහිල්ලා සයිඩ් මැච් එකක් ගැහුවා ඒ මැච් එකේ වැහැලා විකට් එක පොඩ්ඩක් තෙත තෙත ගතියක් තිබ්බා ඉතින් අපි කතා කරලා කිව්වේ දැන් මේක පොඩ්ඩක් තෙතයි විකට් එක අපි පොඩ්ඩක් බෝල් කරමු මොකද මේ විකට් එක ටිකක් බෝලිං වලට සුදුසුයි කියලා ඉතින් මට මතකයි සර් ගැරි ඇවිල්ලා පිච් එක දිය බල්ලා කිව්වා නෑ නෑ ඔයා බැට් කරන්න මේක කියලා ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා මේ මේක ටිකක් වැරදි තීරණයක් මොකද මේ වගේ විකට් එක කවුරුත් බැට් කරන්නේ නැහැ ඒක නෑ නෑ මම කියන හින්ද ඕගොල්ලෝ බැට් කරන්න කියලා මට මතක අපි බැට් කරා ටිකක් අමාරුවෙන් බැට් කරලා කියන්නේ බෝලේ එහාට මෑට යනවා ටිකක් අමාරුවේ බැටිං වලට හැබැයි දෙවෙනි ඉනි මේ විකට් අන්ප්ලේබල් විකට් එකක් වුණා මොකද බැට් කරන්නම් බැරි වුණා ඒ කියන්නේ එයාට පිච් එකක් හරියට හොඳට රීඩ් කරන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වගේම පොඩි පොඩි ෆයින පොයින්ට්ස් ඒ කියන්නේ මේ මට මතකයි පොඩි පොඩි දේවල් ඒගොල්ලෝ බැට් බැට්ස් බැ බැට්ස්මන් රටයි බෝලස් රටයි මොනවා හරි දැනගන්න ඕන නම් එයාට ඒක කියලා දෙන්න පුළුවන් මොකද එයාට එයා දන්නවා එයත් ඒක කරලා තියෙන හින්ද මොකද ෆාස්ට් බෝලිංග් ගත්තොත් එයා ෆාස්ට් බෝල් කරලා තියෙනවා ස්පින් කරොත් එයා ස්පින් බෝල් කරලා තියෙනවා බැටිංග් එයා ඔ හැමදේම දන්නවා මට මතකයි මං ගැරි සෝබස්ගෙන් එක පාරක් කැවුවා සර් ගැරි හවු මෙනි ටයිම්ස් එයු ගත් ස්ටම්ප් කියලා ස්ටම්ප්ට් මම එක පාරක් ස්ටම්ප් වෙලා නැහැ කිව්වා මං ඒ දී කොහොමද කියලා ඒ කියන මට අඩි දෙයක් ඉස්සරහට පනින්න පුළුවන් නම් මට අඩියක් පල්ලියට ගිහිල්ලා හයක් ගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා ඉතින් ඒ වගේ එයා කියන ඒවා ඇත්ත මොකද එයා ක්‍රීස් එක හුඟක් පාවිච්චි කරා බැට් කරනවා මං ඇත්තටම බැලුවා මේ එයාගේ ෆුටේජස් ළඟදී මොකද මේ මැචස් වගයක් මේ 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 කෝවිඩ් කාලේ මට බැරි හින්දා මං බැලුවා සර් ගැරි එයා ගහපු හයවා බැලුවොත් රෙක්ස් රෙක්ස් තත් බලන්න පුළුවන් ඉස්සරහට බලලා ගහන්නේ නැහැ හයවා ක්‍රීස් එක හින්දා නැත්තම් බැක් ෆුට් එකේ ගහන්නේ හයවා ඒ කියන්නේ අද අර ඩවුන් ද විකට් ඇවිල්ලා ඉස්සරහින් මිඩ් ඕෆ් මිඩ් ඕඩ් රින් ගහන එවා එයා ගැහුවේ නැහැ එයා ගැන ඒ ලෙන්ත් එක රීඩ් කරා එයා ගැන එයා කිව්වේ එක ඇත්ත අඩි දෙකක් ඉස්සරහට එන්න ඕන නම් ඒක කොට බෝලයක්නේ ඉතින් එයා අඩියක් පසර ගත්තොත් මං හිතන්නේ අර හයේව හයක් ගැහුවේ ග්ලමෝ කරනවා ඒකත් බැලුවොත් පේනේ එයා එකක්වත් එළියට පැන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් ඒ වගේ එයා ලොකු ලොකු ඒ කියන්නේ පොඩි පොඩි ෆයින පොයින්ට්ස් මට මටකයි එයා අර්ජුන ගැන එයා කිව්වා අර්ජුන එයාට මතක් වෙනවා කියලා එයා වගේ කියලා මොකද අර්ජුනට මේ හුඟක් වෙලාවට පැන්ස් වලට බෝල් කරාම එයා හරි හොඳයි හුඟ දෙනෙක් කරන්නේ පැන්ස් වලට බෝල් කරාම පොඩ්ඩක් ඇතුලට යනවා ඒතර බෝලි මිස් වෙනවා අර්ජුන කරන්නේ මේ මේ ඇතුලට යන්න එයා පොඩ්ඩක් මේ ද දකුණු වකුල අරිනවා ඉතින් මෙහෙම කරලා ලෙග් සයිඩ් එකේ රන්ස් වෙනවා ඉතින් එයා කිව්වා එයාට හුඟක් වෙලාවට මතක් වෙනවා කියලා අර්ජුන එයා එයා ගහන කාලේ පොඩි කාලේ අර්ජුනව ටිකක් එයා වගේ කියලා ඉතින් එයාට සෑහෙන මේ මේකත් තිබ්බ අර්ජුන වෙනුවෙන් ඒ කියන්නේ එයා පොඩි කාලේ ඉඳන්ම එයා ඐඩෙන්ටිෆයි කරා එයා එයාගේ එයා හොඳ ක්‍රිකට් කෙනෙක් වෙයි කියලා ඉතින් ඒ වගේම ඉතින් එයා හොඳ ක්‍රිකට් කෙනෙක් වෙලා ලෝක කුසලානේ ලංකාවට දිනලා දුන්නා මං ඒ ගැන පස්සේ අහන්න අශාන්ත දැන් මට දැන් කියන්න පුළුවන්ද අපි දැන් දකිනවා නොයෙකුත් වේග පන්දියවන්නන්ගේ වේගය සමාරු 90 miles per hour දානවා සමාරු 95 miles per hour දානවා ඔබට හිතන්න පුළුවන්ද ඔබගේ කාලේ ඒ ටෙක්නොලොජි එක තිබුණේ ඔබ කොච්චර අයින් වගේ බෝල් කරන්න ඇත්ද බලන්න මට නම් ඒ කාලේ අපිට ස්පීඩ් ගන්ස් තිබ්බේ නැහැ මං හිතන්නේ එකසිය හතලිහයි එකසිය හතලිස් පහයි අතර වගේ කිලෝමීටර් ඔව් ඒ වගේ වේග එකට මොකද මට මතකයි මං හිතන්නේ අපි පකිස්තාන් වල ගැහුවා අසු පහේ ටෙස්ට් මැච් සීරීස් එකක් එතකොට වසීම් වසීමු ඉම්රානු තමයි පකිස්තාන් ඕපනින් බෝලස් ලැයිඩි රුමේෂුයි මමයි රවි තමයි ශ්‍රී ලංකා වේග පන්දු යවන්න හැටියට සෙල්ලම් කරේ මට මතකයි ඒ පකිස්තාන් බැට්ස්මන්ලා අපේ කට්ටියට කිව්වා අපේ බෝලර්ස්ලා ඒගොල්ලෝගේ බෝලර්ස්ලාට වැඩි හයියෙන් බෝල් කරනවා කියලා මොකද ඒ මට මතකයි ඒ ඒක තමයි මම හිතන්නේ අපේ රුමේෂ් රුමේෂ් වී මමයි හොඳට බෝල් කර
ස්පීඩ් එක හොඳයි රෙක්ස් හැබැයි ෆාස්ට් බෝලර් කෙනෙක් හැටියට ඉගෙන ගන්න ඕනේ විකට් ගන්න හැටි. මොකද වැදගත් දේ කොච්චර බෝල බෝල් කරලාද විකට් එකක් ගන්නේ කියලා. ඉතින් අපිට ඒ කාලේ අනිවා ආවාසනාවන්තර අපිට මුරලි වගේ බෝල කෙනෙක් හිටියේ නැහැ. ඉතින් අපිට අපේ වර්ක් ලෝඩ්ස් ටිකක් වැඩි වුණා. මොකද අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් දවසකට ඕවර් 20 කට වැඩිය බෝල් කරන්න ඕනේ. මොකද ස්පිනර් කෙනෙක් අපිට හොඳ ස්පිනර් කෙනෙක් හිටියේ නැති හින්දා. අනිත් එක ස්පිනර් කෙනෙක් හිටියා නම් විකට් ගන්න අපිට ඩව ටිකක් කඩුලු ගන්න හැකියාවක් ලැබෙනවා. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ මම ස්පීඩ් ගැන වැඩිය වෙලේ නැහැ. මම හිතන විදිහට 100 මම දැන් දකින්න විදිහට 140යි අතලිස් පායි වගේ අතර වේගයක් තමයි මම හිතන්නේ. ඔව් ක්‍රීඩාල වලින්ට දැක බලා ගන්න ඕන නම් අශාන්ත දිමල් කොච්චර වේගෙන් පන්දු යවද කියලා YouTube එකට ගිහිල්ලා ටයිප් කරන්න අශාන්ත දිමල් හිටින් රිචි රිචඩ්සන් කියලා. ඔබට ඒ ක්ලිප් එක බලා ගන්න පුළුවන්. අශාන්ත අපි සාමාන්‍යයෙන් දන්නේ බටරේ ඉන්දියෝ කොද වේග පන්දු යවන නම් අනිත් කණ්ඩායම් වල ක්‍රීඩකයන්ට ආබාධාතිකරණ ගැන අපි ආලා තියෙන දැකලා තියෙනේ. නමුත් ඔබයි එම තරගයේම රුමේෂ් විදෙන්නම පන්දුවට කීපයක වෙනස ඇතුළත ලැරි ගෝමස් සහ රිචි රිචඩ්සන්ට බරවතල ආබාධා ඇති කරනවා. ඇයි මේ තරම් කුරිරු වෙන්නේ? නෑ මම හිතන්නේ ඒ දා මට මතකයි ඒ විකට් එක අපි මෙල්බන් වල අපි ගහනකොට අපිත් බැට් කරනකොට ඇත්තටම අපි ඕවර් 45 කටද කොහෙද 130 ගන්න ඇහෙවි. යන්නේ හරි අමාරු ඒක බැට් කරන බෝලේ අනිවන් බවුන්ස් එකක් තිබ්බා ඒක. ටිකක් සමාරක් බෝල නවතිනවා සමාරක් බෝල ස්කිල් වල එනවා අයියේ. මට මතකයි මම පළවෙනි පාරට තමයි මැල්කම් මාෂල් ලෙදන ෆේස් කරේ. ඇත්තටම ඊට ඉස්සල මැචස් වල මට බැට් කරන්න හම්බුන්නේ. ඉතින් මැල්කම් මාෂල් මම ෆේස් කරනකොට මට තේරුණා එච්චර අයියෙන් එන්නේ නැහැ බෝලේ. මට වෙලා තිබ්බ ගහන්න. හැබැයි එක බෝලයක් මම බැට් එක උසන් ඉස්සල මගේ උළුවේදිලා ගියා. ඉතින් මට තේරුණා ඉතින් මේගොල්ලෝ බෝල් කරනකොටත් ඒගොල්ලෝගේ බෝලර්ස්ලා හැම බෝලෙම අයියෙන් බෝල් කරන්න නැහැ. ඒගොල්ලෝ නිකන් නිකන් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් ඇවරේජ් බෝල් කරලා බෝල දෙක තුනක් ඕවර් එකට තමයි ටිකක් වැඩිපුර වේගෙන් දාන්නේ. එතකොට ඒ විකට් එකේ ටිකක් අර තිබ්බ අනිවන් බවුන්ස් එක. ඉතින් ඒක ඒගොල්ලෝ බැට් කරන්න එනකොට ඒගොල්ලෝ හිතු වෙන අපිට හයියෙන් දාන්න පුළුවන් කියලා. ඒක තමයි හෙල්මට් එකක් නැතුව ඒගොල්ලෝ බැට් කරන්න ආවේ. මට මතකයි ඒ දෙන්නට වැදුනාට පස්සේ ක්ලයිව් ලොයිඩ් ආවා. ක්ලයිව් ක්ලයිව් ලොයිඩ්ට බෝල් කරා මේ රුමේෂ් ඔළුවට මම හිතන මස් කැල්ලක් ගැලවිලා ගියා මෙයාගේ ඔළුවේ. ඔළුවට වැදුණා. හැබැයි එයා එලියට ගිහින් ඉච්ච නෑ. හැබැයි මම හිතන්නේ මේ මැච් එකේ තුන් දෙනෙක්ට මේ ඔළුවට වැදුණා ඒගොල්ලෝගේ. මොකද බෝලේ ඒගොල්ලෝ හිතුවේ නෑ අපේ ශ්‍රී ලංකා කට්ටියට හයියෙන් දාන්න පුළුවන් කියලා. මේ බෝලේ හයියෙන් එනවා ඒ විකට් එකේ. ඉතින් ඒක තමයි ඇත්තටම ඒකේ වුණේ. ඒ වගේම ශාන්ත ඔබගේ ජීවිතේ සුවිශේෂී ටෙස්ට් තරගයක් තමයි 1982 දෙකේ මැඩ්‍රාස් ටෙස්ට් තරගය ඔබ ලංකාවේ මුල් වතාවට වේග පන්දු යවන්නේ කඩලු පහක් ලබා ගන්නේ එම තරගයේ ඒ තරගය අතර දිනන්න තිබුණාද ඔබට කඩලු අතක් දැවි යනවා ඉන්දියාවේ දෙවෙනි ඉනිමේ ඔව් ඇත්තටම ඒ ඒක හරිම මේ කියන්නේ මට හොඳට මතකයි ඒ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එක මොකද අපි ඉස්සෙල්ලා බැට් කරලා මම හිතන්නේ අපි 300 ගානක් ගැව්වා ඒකේ මට මතකයි ඩුලිප් ද්විත්ව සාසක දෙකක් ගත්තා 105 105 දෙකක් ඉන්නවා එතකොට ඒගොල්ලෝ සෙකන්ඩ් ඉනිංග්ස් ෆස්ට් ඉනිංග්ස් ඉන්දියා බැට් කරලා 500 ගානක් ගැහුවා මට මතකයි ඒ මැච් එකේ තාම මට මතකයි මම බෝල් කරලා ෆස්ට් ඉනිංග්ස් මේ සන්දීප් පටිල්ගේ මං හෙල්මට් එක දෙකට කැඩුවා මොකද එයා මට මතකයි එයා මාට මේ ළඟදී මේ මේ අවුරුදු ගානකට ඉස්සෙල්ලා හම්බ වෙනකොට එයා මාගේ පුතාට එයා ඉන්ට්‍රොඩියුස් කරා මාව මාව ඉන්ට්‍රොඩියුස් කරනකොට කිව්වා මේ 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 අංකල් තමයි මගේ ඔළුවට දාලා මගේ හෙල්මට් එක කැඩුවේ කියලා. ඒ විකට් එකේ පොඩ්ඩක් තිබ්බා. මෙල් මැඩ්‍රාස් ඒ කාලේ පොඩි ඒ කියන්නේ පොඩි බවුන්ස් එකක් තිබ්බා. ඉතින් අපි දෙවනි ඉනිමේ 300 ගානක් ගහලා ඒකලෝ 200 ගානක් තමයි ගහන්න තිබ්බේ මැච් එක දිනන්න. හැබැයි ඒ විකට් එකේ පොඩ්ඩක් මම කිව්වා වගේ තිබ්බා ෆාස්ට් බෝලර්ස් ලාට. ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ මම 5 ෆෝ 60 ද කොහෙද අරගෙන ඒකලෝ 132 දෙකට හතයි. අපිට දිනන්න අවස්ථාව තිබ්බා. ඉතින් ඒ වුණාට ඉතින් අපිට දිනා ගන්න බෑ මම හිතන්නේ ගවස්ක අල්ලගෙන හිටියේ එක පැත්තකින්. ඉතින් ඒ ඒ ටෙස්ට් මැච් එක අපි ඩ්‍රෝ කරා. හැබැයි ඊට පස්සේ 85 ඊට පස්සේ අපි ඒගොල්ලෝත් එක්ක සෙල්ලම් කරනකොට අපි ඒගොල්ලෝ මම හිතන්නේ ඕවල් එකේ පරද්දලා SSC එකේ පරද්දන්න තිබ්බා අපිට. පොඩි වැස්සක් ඇවිල්ලා අපිට මේ ඕවර් පොඩි ගානයි තිබ්බේ රන්ස් 40ක්ද 50ක්ද ගහන්න
लेविच्चेको माइटा ने लोगों मट मगे क्रिकेट दीवी है मट लोगों में का वाके मार्शल तब सुशेषी टेस्ट आरंगे तब मैं अब कालिनो प्रयास हुआ एक दस नंबर से आसू पाए कराची टेस्ट आरंगे अब ये उन दिनों फिगर्स वार्ता आवे नहीं अब खाड़ लुआया क्लब आगान ना इन्हीं में का पाकिस्तान का ना भी ना प्रोपर ग्रेड की नो बल दावा गान ना जावेद बी एंड डर साली मलिक पुदासना वही तो नहीं इमरान ने क्या मटर ऐतरह में मांग या तो क्या उन्हें लोग सुवाद हो एक ना सूद देखे मटर मतलब क्या ही लाहौल टेस्ट मैच चकड़ा ये गोल आर केरी पैक कर वाली ना गांव पालेवी ने टेस्ट मैच देखे ये गोल हिट ही है ना लाहौल टेस्ट मैच चकड़ा था मैं उक्को में काटी आ भी मटर मतलब क्या इमरान � Tapi mata mata kali mata ini villa bodi rana pe ke perdi pasnya tiba mage no ball sak. Mata mata kali ya mata villa udah ugara me practice kerana kod produk ke villa. Ia pasi Lanka ada nama dasu payah ya Lanka ada awa. Ia pasi mata ke hunga k ikan yalu na. Tetapi me par me Sri Lanka Pakistan orang tu ke villa awe. Me Zahir Khan sama mata ke selanggar eh kali. Ma ya tu Imran uti dia. मान जाहिर कांड की हुआ मरना इमरान ना हम भी ना मांग क्या मती मगर तो मामा सहेन काले का डर देखा ला नहीं किया देंगो आगे में थी वो देंगो हो आगे में थी ने पाकिस्तान ने थी एविलावे या एविलावे में कॉल ले दूँ ना इमरान इमरान को देंग एंड नहीं किया तो आप यो ऐतरम यहाँ युवा यहाँ की सिक्योरिटी उ लोन्स देने हैं मेंग ऐसे लेटे वर्ल्ड बैंक के किंग एक आठ टिया एक आठ टिया डिसेल आप इधर ना आ गया था अरे गन आप इक्या ना क्रिया आप इंग आला को मतलब केला आप इ आधिकार क्रिकेट के ना कथा के अल्ला ये वा मुगा केला वा कथा कर गई थी अंतिम डे गोलों टाइल किया नो ना मिये देंग अरा मुगा केला Ini yang kami dah ni loko dia, muka dia cricket tu la, cricket ni, waktu orang pas itu ini, itu ina friendships sama itu ini, ini yang kami dah ni secara kali, muka tiba, dah kami dah ni dia adu ye, muka dia kalau socialise kerana ni ready, secara api muka kape opponents la tek dinner sori dia, nama, ini kalau tek, ni ni hotel ni sama orang kita hambe no hande, apa tu, kata agarn, no, ini lagi ini api tengah selang ker muka kat dia, api tahu ni alu. Mangi tanya, ikat ikat deng, ikat ke kardu, ikat gelam atau pelayan, aku tu hongak kelar da, katia, wediya, socialize keran naya, opponent selat dekat. Asalnya awal tu pahak test cricket perida kerana, oba sabag win ni test tarang dah, tengkar pamanai, oba awal tu bisia tu, ni, itu mat tarun tu, yedi perida ur samudin o. Deng kali perida ke, awal tu pahak selang keran nge, mau test tarang panang keran asan naya, jadi perida kerana. Eda asal me, awastawan, nolabi ma, kanas tarat dekar naya. वो माइटा ने मैं दंग दंग तीन ने दंग टेस्ट वाला तीनों ने ये गोलोंगे मैं चैम्पियनशिप पे आपको आगे अनित्य का ये हमारा आठ तक कम है ये गोलोंगे टेस्ट में का तीनों शेड्यूल है इस सरे हम दिख बने हैं इस सरे दिख बे मैं श्रीलंका वाले होंगे किलावड़े इंडिया वाले पाकिस्तान ने वाके इधर पासे माइंड है ना आसु आटे है तो मैं तावर टेस्ट मैच चार दून तो ये क्या ना और दो हाथरा कट वागे एको एका टेस्ट मैच चार को आगे तो मैं दून ऑस्ट्रेलिया वापिस एक कई दून आसु तूने एका मैच चार गया हो क्या ना मोलू आसु हाथरा ना कल अभी टेस्ट स्टेटस गाते आसु देखे वेस्टइंडीज आप इतिंग एकाले हुंगा किलाड़ और उधर के टम समारक के टम मैच एकाक हम बिना अवस्था थी बासु तो नया सुवात रे अभी टेस्ट मैच जस एकाई गये हुए तो इंग मांगी था ना आपे होंदा मैं एक याने पीक एके इन्ना काले आप इड मैं टेस्ट मैच जस गाहन ले बुनने दिए का मांगी था ने एक बेलुआ मैं मैं क्रीड़ 
තත්ත්වයත් එක්ක ඒ කියන්නේ ඒ අසූතුනෙන් පස්සේ ලංකාවේ යුද්ධයක් තිබ්බනේ අසූතුනේ අර ජුලයි වෙනින් පස්සේ ටිකක් මෙහෙට එන කට්ටියත් අඩුයි ඉතින් ඒ වගේ තත්ත්වයක ඉතින් මම හිතන්නේ ඒකට ඉතින් අපිට කම්ප්ලේන් කරන්න බෑ ඉතින් දෙන මැචස් තමයි අපිට සෙල්ලම් කරන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි ක්‍රීඩකයේ කැරියට ගත්තොත් රෙක්ස් කියපු එක හරි දැන් මම අසූ එකේ පටන් ගත්තේ ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට සෙල්ලම් කරන්න අසූ දෙකේ අපිට ටෙස්ට් එකට සම්බුණා ඉතින් අසූ හතේ මම රිටයර් වෙනකොට මගේ මී ඉන්ජරි එකක් හින්ද ඇත්තටම මට ටෙස්ට් මැච් පනහක් ගහන්න තිබ්බ දැන් තියෙන තත්ත්වය කියවන ඉතින් ටෙස්ට් මැච් පනහක් ගෙවන මගේ පීක් එකේ බෝල් කරන්න පීක් එකේ මට මීට වැඩිය සෑහෙන ඒ කියන්නේ විකස් ප්‍රමාණයක් ඒ වගේ ගන්න තිබ්බ මොකද අනිත් එක අපි සෙල්ලම් කරේ හුඟාක්ම මේ ෆ්ලැට් පිචර්ස් වල ඒ කියන්නේ මං ගහපු ටෙස්ට් මැචස් බලන්න හුඟක් ගහලා තියෙන්නේ ලංකාවේ ඉන්දියාවේ පාකිස්තානේ එක මැච් එකේ ගහලා තියෙන්නේ ඉංගලන්ත ඉතින් ගහලා තියෙන ෆ්ලැට්ම විකට්ස් වල ඉතින් හැබැයි ඒ පීක් එකේ මට න්‍යූසිලන්ඩ් සවුත් ඇෆ්රිකා ඔස්ට්‍රේලියා ඉංග්ලන්ඩ් වගේ දැන් වල වැඩිපුර ගහන්න හම්බුනා නම් මං හිතන්නේ මට මගේ කඩුලු ප්‍රමාණය වැඩි කරගන්න තිබ්බ ඉතින් හැබැයි ඒක ගැන මං හිතන්නේ කනගාටු වෙලා වැඩක් නැහැ මොකද මට වැඩි අවාසනාවන්ත කට්ටිය හිටියා මොකද ටෙස්ට් එකට හම්බෙච්ච නැති කට්ටියත් හිටියා නේ අසූ දෙකට ඉස්සෙල්ලා ඒගොල්ලොන්ට එකක්වත් ගහන්න හම්බුන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් යම් විදියකින් වාසනාවන්තයි කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් මට අඩුම ගානේ සේ පළවෙනි ටෙස්ට් එක ගහන්න ලැබිච්ච එක ඉතින් මං හිතන්නේ අසූ ඒ කියන ඇත්තටම අනුහය වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එකෙන් පස්සේ තමයි ශ්‍රී ලංකාවට මේ කියන්නේ හුඟක් මේ මේ මැචස් ලැබුණේ මොකද වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එකේ වින් එකත් එක්ක ඊට පස්සේ දැන් තියෙන ෂෙඩ්යුල් එකක් හැමෝටම සෙල්ලම් කරන්න ඕන ඒකේ ප්ලෑන් එකක් ඐසීසී එක දෙනවනේ ඉස්සර එහෙම තිබ්බේ නැහැ මොකද අපිට ටීම් එකක් ගේන්න සල්ලි ඕනේ අපිට ගෙවන්න බෑනේ ඉතින් ගෙවන්න බැරි කොට ටීම්ස් එන්නේ දැන් එහෙම නෙමෙයි නේ ඓසීසී එකෙන් ඒ හැම මේ රටකටම සල්ලි දෙනවා ඉතින් ඒ හින්දා රටවල් ගෙන්න ගන්න පුළුවන් අනිත් එක ටීවී වලින් හුඟක් කම්බෙනවා ඒ කාලේ ටීවී තිබ්බේ නැහැ ඉතින් ඒක තමයි මම හිතන්නේ මේ මේක ඉතින් මං නම් ඉතින් කනගාටු වෙන්නේ මං මං සන්තෝෂ වෙනවා මට ඒ අඩුම ගානේ ඒ අවුරුදු පහරි රට වෙනුවෙන් සෙල්ලම් කරන්න ලැබිච්ච එක ආසන්ද මේ 80 දශකයේ ඕල් රවුන්ඩර්ස් ලා අතර දෙනෙක් අතර ඉතාම තියුණු සටනක් තිබුණා අපි දන්නවා කපිල් දේව් ඉම්රන් ඛාන් රිචඩ් ඇඩ්ලි සහ ඉයන් බෝතම් මොහුන් ඉතාම සුවිශ්ට ගණේ ක්‍රීඩකයෙක් මේ අතර දෙනා අතරින් වඩාත්ම කැපි පෙරුණු ඕල් රවුන්ඩර් ක්‍රීඩකයාට ඒක ඔබ දකින්නේ කවුද මං හිතන්නේ ඇත්තටම බැලුවම මං හිතන්නේ කපිල් කපිල් දේව් බලනකොට මොකද එයා ඇත්තටම සෙල්ලම් කරේ ඉන්දියාවේ ෆ්ලැට් පිචර්ස් වල බැට්ස්මන් කෙනෙක් කැරියර් ගත්තාම මම ඒ ඕල් රවුන්ඩර්ස් ලා හතර දෙනා ගේම හුඟක්ම ආස බලන්න කපිල් දේව් තමයි මම බෝල් කරලා තියෙනවා කපිල්ට කපිල් ඇත්තටම බැට්ස්මන් කෙනෙක් කැරියට මිනිහට උත්තම ටැලන්ට් එකක් තිබ්බා මට මතකයි සිම්බාබ්වේ මැච් එකේ වර්ල්ඩ් කප් එකේ ඒගොල්ලෝ විස්සට කොහෙද පහක් ඩවුන් වෙච්ච වෙලාවේ ඇවිල්ලා එකසිය ඇත්ත පහක් ගැහු හරි මට මට මතකයි ඒ කාලේ වෙස්ට් ඉන්ඩීස්ලත් එක්ක එහෙම අසූය දසකේ ආ සතකයක් ලබා ගත්ත මේ සමහර ක්‍රෙස්ට් මැචස් වල හැබැයි බැට් කරන විදිහට බැලුවම මම කපිල්ට තමයි හුඟක්ම කැමති බෝලර්ස්ලා ගත්තම මම හිතන්නේ ඉම්රානුයි හෙඩ්ලි තමයි බෝලිං පැත්තෙන් හැබැයි ඉතින් ඕල් රවුන්ඩර් කෙනෙක් ගන්නවා කියුවම හොඳම ඕල් රවුන්ඩර් කෙනෙක් කියලා බැලුවොත් හුඟක් වෙලාවට ඉයන් බෝතම් කියලා කියන්න පුළුවන් හැබැයි ඉතින් ඉයන් බෝතම් සෙල්ලම් කරේ හුඟක් වෙලාවට ඉංගලන්තේ ඉතින් අපි ඒ ගහන තැනුත් බලන්න ඕනේ ඉතින් ඇත්තටම මට හුඟක්ම කැමතිම ඕල් රවුන්ඩර් මම නම් කියන්නේ මම කැමති කපිල් දේ මොකද එයා සෙල්ලම් කරේ හිඟ ආමත්ම අමාරු කන්ඩිෂන්ස් වල ඉන් කියන්නේ ඉන්දියාවේ වගේ රටක කඩුලු හාල්සිය ගානක් ගන්න කියන්නේ එයා ගහපු ටෙස්ට් මැචස් ගහන බලලා අනිත් එක හුඟක්ම වැදගත්දේ කවදාකවත් ඒක මැච් එකවත් ඉංජ වුණු නැහැ ඔය දැන අන්තිම මැච් එකේ එයා ඉංජ වෙලා ඒ මැච් එකේ රිටයර් වුණා මට මතකයි එයා රිටයර්මන්ට් එක අනවුන්ස් කරා ඉතින් ටෙස්ට් මැචස් එකසිය ගානක් ගහනවා කියන්නේ ඒ මේ කියන්නේ ඒ කාලේ එයා තමයි හිටපු එකම පාස් බෝල් දැන් ඉන්නවා ඉන්දියාවේ හතර පස් දෙනෙක් ඒ ගත්තු විකට්ස් අනිත් එක එයාට තිබ්බ කන්ට්‍රෝල් එක ෆීල්ඩ් එකෙන් එක්ක හැටියට බැට්ස්මන් කෙන් එක්ක හැටියට බෝල කෙනෙක් හැටියට මට ඇත්තටම හුඟක් යාව මං හිතන්නේ යාව නම්බර් වන් මම දානවා මගේ රැන්කින්ග්ස් වල ගොඩක් අය කතා කරන දෙයක් තමයි කපිල් දේවිගේ ෆිට්නස් ලෙවල් එක ඉතාමත් ඊළ මට්ටමක තියෙන එක කියලා කියන වේග පන්දු
अनेक तो ओवर विशा बोल करना क्या नहीं उदय पटांगा ना मैं विधियाँ तो मैं अंतिम अड़ इबरा कराने ओने अंतिम अड़ ना तंग तमुं पटांगा ने कोड़े कैसे आते लिस्प आए दावा से इबरे ने कोड़े कैसे विश्वाय तो वो एक यानी फिटनेस लेवल्स आडू क्या नहीं इगोलोंडे वर्कलोडे गान्ना बे क्या � ये गोलो उदय पटांगन ने लेवल ले गेम में अंदेवित ये 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 कमती है ना मुझे ये गोलों के उनका फिटनेस लेवल स्थित बाबा टम तक आई इमरान का नसू पहे तो यहाँ मटा मांगी था ने और दो खाया खाता कुमार डेडी वैडी मा हरी मा रास्ते मटा मतलब फाइजल बैड लव मैच टेस्ट मैच चेक गान वगैरह म इमरान ने भी ला बोल कर अस्पेल लगा आपके इधर अभी फाइजल भी ऐड डला उधे स्पेल लगा मतलब वही रहे हैंड दे अभी फिटनेस लेवल लगा बेलू हम हम तो हम एक ना मामा बोल करना मटाते हैं ना हरे अमार एक ना ये तीबर रसने ते क्या भाई यहाँ के फिटनेस का तम एक ना होंडा में लेवल लगा डर तीबर दिखे ये ए फाइसल बात तारा के इधर अशांत आरविंद आये पार किंग शातक के लबागे मटा मटा मामा आनित पे तेही थी मटा मटा का ये मटा ऐतरह मैं चरण हाईएम बोले ना मैं रिवर्स स्विंग इकम मटा बैठे बोले दाना इकम इकम विलाव पुण्डा ही दिम्बे अबे आरविंद मैं कोटर दाबुगा मटा पे ना मैं क्या है ये या या के फर्स्ट हंड्रेड डे का मांगी था ने देवनी का बीड़ बसे काराच्चल गया हुआ एक सीया इतनी दाय मांगी था ने आरविंद के मैं क्या नियात दासुआ तेरे फर्स्ट टेस्ट मैच चाहिए या लेग साइड दिखे फ्लिक कराने के लिए डाउन द लेग साइड कॉर्ड भी हैं तो ये मैच चाहिए यार एक गाना नंबर ने कराची फाइसल बैट टेस्ट मैच देखे मुझे यक्क गया हुआ फाइसल बात तारंगे अरविंद के उपांधी ने अतरा तोड़ दियो तारंगे तीन ने उपांधी ने दा� वाप मूडिंग है कहने या कि मैं शॉट बॉल लेकर डगा हाने दिया मामा मटमा तक आई या फर्स्ट टाइम मामा या देख के एसएससी एनसीसी मैच चाहिए मटा आहाला दिब्बा मैं आरविंद के ला मामा देखा ला दिब्बे ने मंगी था ने यार टा और दूध आस यार दाह तक को क्या थी वेला एनसीसी मैच चाहिए मटमा तक आई मंग मामा ये मांग क्यों आता है मांग हितवीन है इच्छा रहमी माम देखा पुणे थी ना माम हितवीन है मैं मैं अंगवाक में इसे क्यों आ मैं हरी मोहंदा ही किया ये डे पस्ती दिन याद थे का मामा सेल्लांग करना डर मामा मारा तेरु ने आगे दी ना ये क्या ने ये ये लेंथ का रीड कराना पुलांग स्पीड देगा क्या � अबे आरविंद की दिव्या आरविंद ये क्या नहीं हरी में पितिकारु एक कैरियर है अब तेरा हम बालांगी ना हरी आस है महेलत बालांगी ना आस है है भाई मामा दिन ना मधुर ना मामा आरविंद रहता है वैडी के बाद तब देख कोई ये वक्त आशान तो अब क्रीड़ा विन सामुग्य नहीं में आनंदपुरु तेरीम कमेटी सामाजिक एक पिला इन्हों बहु काले एक अब काले में डाउन कर लाती इन्हों सभा पति आये थे तेरीम कमेटी में काले दिन अब इतामत प्रसिद्ध तीरन गुड़ा कारांती ना नमूत आपस वैरल बाल नोट क्रिकेट क्रीड़ा आवे ये वा उन्नति रहे तो बाद गुनाई के लकियां नत पुलवां ऐसे नहीं एकतीरन तमाई में � ए कमिटी हो बात सामाजिक कानून नामे ओन खंडाय में निवाद करान निवाद करला सानत जाए जरूर ना एकात लबाद इन्ने मैं कोतरम अमारु तीर ने कुनाद ऐतरम अनु नामे मर्ड मात्र का ही ऐतरम मैं चामन ने लाइटी सीधा इलावे आप इधर तीर ने गन्नो ना मैं मैं आ मैं समारक कटिये वा मैं क्या ने आजुना ही Mai dah ni one day valing, buat kelar tu one day, one day valing, 
ඒකාලේද මට හරියට මතක නැහැ අනු නමේද ඊට කොහොමාරි සිදත් ඉන්න වෙලාව තමයි මේ තීරණයක් ගන්න ඕනේ සිදත් චාමනස් ඩිරෙක්ටර්ස් ඔබගේ සාමාන්‍ය මම 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 හිටියා බ්‍රෙන්ඩන් බ්‍රෙන්ඩන් කොරුප්පු සිටිනවා ඔබ අර්ජුන අරවින්දයි නායක උප නායක දුරෙන් ඉවත් කරලා ටෙස්ට් තරංග වලින් පමණක් ක්‍රීඩා කරලා එක්දින තරංග වලින් අයින් කරනවා මොකද ඔව් ඒක අපිට ඒ වෙලාවේ බැලුවේ මොකද මේ ගොක් වෙලාවට මේ මොනවා කිව්වා වගේ දැන් මේ ෆිට්නස් ලෙවල්ස් වල බලපානවනේ ඉතින් ටිකක් වය ටිකක් वयस गील फिट ठीक वन डे से अमारू के अब तेरना थी अब ठीक अमार तेरना अर्जुन की अने हाई वर्ल कपे दिनलायक दीला योधे क्रिकेट योधे थिंक एम दिन तेरी कमी वाक आप समार तीरने तीन तीरने गो तीरने आप थिंक यम किसी विद्या की अर्जुन अट हितरिदे अभाई तेरी काम कैरियट तीरन गोट अभी गाने मे 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 गाने क्रीडावे दीवनो सदा नत्ता मेन काटात्मक पर्सनल एक थिंक आप अमार तीरन थिंक अंतिम आप गुना इवागे मशा उब सभापति लाइनकोट गवत्तना ता प्रसिद्ध नती एक प्रसिद्ध नती तीर मे कुमार संगकार विकेट कीप कर बैट्स मैन कैटेट इतर गास्तान गुडका दोस रूप नमूत वेडिका जन मे अरुण पुला विशिष्ट तीर गीलना लोके मेवन अणिपेत्र गील तिबुण කඩුල් රකින්න දුන්නේ හොඳට බැට් කරන්න පුළුවන් කෙනෙක්ට. නමුත් ඔබ ඊට ආත්පසින්ම වෙනස් තීරණයක් ගන්නවා ප්‍රසන්න ජයවර්ධන කියනවා කණ්ඩායමට කඩුල් රකින්න. මේ ගැන යමක් කතා කරන්න. ඇත්තටම ඕක මම කුමාටත් මම කතා කරා. මොකද ඇත්තටම රෙක්ස් හිතලා බැලුවොත් ටෙස්ට් මැච් එකක් අරන් අපි හිතමු දැන් කුමා බැට් කරන්න නම්බර් 3. කුමා නම්බර් 3 බැට් කරනකොට අපි හිතමු එයාගොල් ඉස්සලා ෆීල් කරා කියලා. දැන් අපි හිතමු ඒ ඒ අනිත් කණ්ඩායම ලකුණු 450ක් ගහනවා. අපි හිතමු දවස් එකක් මාරක් බැට් කරන දැන් අපි බැට් කරන්න ගිහිල්ලා පළවෙනි ඕවර් දෙකේ විකට් එකක් යනවා. දැන් කුමා බැට් කරන්න යනවනේ. දැන් කුමා දවස් එක ආමාරක් විකට් කීපින් යන්නේ ඊටමත්ම අමාරු ජොබ් එකක්. ඒ කියන්නේ නැවෙන්න ඕනේ ඊට ගන්න ඕනේ. කොන්සන්ට්‍රේට් කරන්න ඕනේ පොඩ්ඩක් මිස් වුණොත් කැච් එකක් ස්ටම්පින් එකක් මිස් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. කැච් එකක් මිස් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඉතින් යාගේ ඇත්තටම ඇවරේජ් එක තිබ්බේ ඒ කාලේ 40 ගණන් 40 ගණන් වල තිබ්බේ. ඉතින් මම යාට කිව්වේ වා බලන්න මේ මේක ටිකක් අමාරු ජොබ් එකක් ඔයාලට කීප් කරලා බැට් කීප් කරලා බැට් කරන්න ඕන නම් ඔයා නම්බර් 5ට 6ට වගේ එන්න. يعني ගිල් ක්‍රිස් වගේ බැට් කරන තැනක. විකට් කීපර්ස්ලා බැට් සාමාන්‍යයෙන් බැට් කරන්නේ ඒ ඒ ලෙවල් එකේ. 5 හරි 6 හරි. සාමාන්‍යයෙන් 6. ඉතින් එයා එච්චර කැමති වුණ නැහැ. එයා මට කිව්වේ එයා කීප් කරනකොට එයාගේ බැටිං වලට ඒක හෙල්ප් වෙනවා කියලා මොකද බෝල් එනවා පේනවනේ. ඉතින් ඒ වුණාට ඉතින් අපි ඒ වෙලාවේ තීරණයක් ගත්තා මොකද අපි හිතුව කණ්ඩායම් වෙනුවේ ඊට පස්සේ මං හිතන්නේ යාගේ ඇවරේජ් එක 65කට වගේ ආවා මේ නොන් කීපින් බැටින් කරා. ඒ කීපින් පැත්ත ගත්තොත් එලියට මං හිතන්නේ යාගේ ඇවරේජ් එක මං හිතන්නේ ඉතින් 65ක් වගේ කියනවා. මොකද යාගේ ඕවර්ඕල් ඇවරේජ් එක 57ක් වගේ තියෙනවා. මං හිතන්නේ කීපින් කාලේ ගත්තා මේක 40 ගණන් වල නේ තිබ්බේ. කීපින් නවත නවත්තලා යා බැටින් විතරක් මොකද යාට එතකොට හංගර එක වැඩි. विकेट कीप करा मैं ये रेस्पासीबिलिटी आ तीन दें विकेट कीपिंग तीन दी बैटिंग वाले तब बैडीपुर रेस्पासीबिलिटी आका थिंग या गापू द्वित शतक शतक प्रमाण वैडी होना का पेनुना मंगीत ने गत तीरने खंडा मेन गत तीरने विला कुमार पोडा के असत नाट मंगीत ने रेक्स क्यूवागे अतीत हरला बल को एक मंगीत ने आट यागे एवरेज इंप्रूव तीन थिंक मंगीत ने अत तीरने अतर मे विकेट कीप के अमार टेस्ट मैच वन डे मैच पुलवा अभी वन डे वाले यहाँ इंकर वन डे वाले कीप कर टेस्ट मैच असल इतरा कपी आट की मे नंबर थ्री बैट कर विकेट कीपिंग काटारी दिन लगे कुमार एवरेज खाने मेक सामान्यक्टर्सिटर्स मेक क्रेडिट करे 
ඇත්තටම সিলেক্টারස් ලගේ ජොබ් එක තියෙන්නේ හොඳ දෙයක් වෙනකොට ඒක යන්නේ කෝච් ටයි ප්ලේයර්ස් ලටයි මොනාරි වැරද්දක් වුණාම ඒ সিলেক্টারස් ලට තමයි ඒ බ්ලේම් එකෙන් ඉතින් ඒක ඒක තමයි ජොබ් එක හැටි ඉතින් ඒක সিলেক্টර් කෙනෙක් කෙනෝ හැටියට එනවා නම් ඒක පිළිගන්න ඕනේ මොකද ඒක තමයි තියෙන ස්වභාවය මේ সিলেක්ෂන් වල මොකද හුඟක් වෙලාවට ඒගොල්ලෝ කියන්නේ නැහැ මේ সিলেক্টারස් ලා හොඳ තීරණයක් ගත්තා කියලා ඒගොල්ලෝ කියන්නේ කැප්ටන් හොඳට කරා කෝච් හොඳට කරා ඉතින් ඒක ඇත්තටම අපි බලන්නේ නැහැ අපි බලන්නේ අපේ ගන්න තීරණ වලින් කණ්ඩායමට හොඳක් වෙනවා නම් මොකද අපි උදාහරණයක් ගම්මු දැන් අපි সিলেක්ෂන් වල දැන් නායකයා ඔබ අපි රකිනවනේ දැන් අපි ටීම් එකක් সিলেක්ට් කරනකොට 21 දිනානේ ගන්න පුළුවන් දෙන්නේ තුන් දෙනෙක් හැලෙනවා ඒතකොට ඒ තුන් දෙනා දෙ තුන් දෙනා හුඟක් වෙලාවට නායකයත් එක්ක තමයි තරහ වෙන්නේ දැන් මේ ඒකෙන් අපි නායකයව ගලවලානේ තියෙන්නේ දැන් නායකයා කියන්නේ හරි সিলেක්ෂන් කරන්නේ সিলেක්ටර්ස් ලා ඉතින් ඒ ඒ ඒ সিলেක්ට් කරන්න නැති ප්ලේයර්ස් ලා ට ඒ අමනාපේ එන්නේ අපි අපි අපිට ඒ කැප්ටන් ට එන්නේ ඉතින් ඒ කණ්ඩායමේ ඒ කියන්නේ අර යුනිටි එකටත් හොඳයි ඉතින් ඒකේ সিলেක්ටර්ස් ලට ඒක බාර ගන්න අපි හුඟක් වෙලාවට බලන්නේ ටීම් එක ලං ඒ ටීම් එකේ හොඳ දෙයකට තමයි අපි තීරණ ගන්නේ නැත්තම් අපි මේ නිකන් මේ නිකන් අන්නෙසරි ඩිසිෂන්ස් ගන්න අපි බල කරන්නේ නැහැ. අශාන්ත මේ ටික කාලයකට ඉස්සෙල්ලා තිබුණා ප්‍රවණතාවයක් පුහුණු කරුත් තේරීම් කමිටුවේ සමාජික එක්ක වෙලා හිටියා දැන් ඒ තත්ත්වය නැහැ. මෙය ඔබ දකින්නේ කොහොමද? හොඳ දෙයක්ද නේ නරක දෙයක්ද? නෑ මං හිතන්නේ පුහුණු කරු ඉන්න ඕනේ. අනිවාර්යෙන් පුහුණු කරු තමයි ඒ කියන්නේ යානේ පුහුණු කරලා යයි කැප්ටන් වුයි හුඟ ලොකු වේටේජ් එකක් තියෙනවා ඒ දෙන්නට. හැබැයි මේ කියන්නේ ඉස්සර තිබ්බේ මේ අපේ ලංකාවේ ස්පෝට්ස් ලෝ එකේ තියෙන ඒගොල්ලන්ට කියන්නේ সিলেක්ෂන් එකේ වෝට් එකක් නැහැ. ඒ කියන්නේ ඒගොල්ලෝ সিলেක්ට් එක කෙනෙක් නෙවෙයි. මයික එක. ඒගොල්ලෝ කෝක් කරලා තියෙන. වෝට් එක දෙන එක ඒක එච්චර මොකද? මම හිතන්නේ ඒක එච්චර හරි නැහැ. මොකද ඒතර වෙන්නේ මේ හුඟක් වෙලාවට දැන් ඒ කෝච් හොඳ නම් ප්‍රශ්නයක් නැහැ. කෝච් කේ සමහරක් ඊට ෆේවරිටිසම් තියෙනවා නම් ඒතර ප්ලේයර්ස් ලට එයාට පුළුවන් කතා කරලා කියන්න මම ඔයාව ගස්සන්න නම් ඒවයි ඒ වගේ අනවශ්‍ය ඒවා තියෙනවා. ඉතින් ඒවා ඒවා නවත්තන්න මම හිතන්නේ කෝච් වී කැප්ටන් වී සිලෙක්ෂන් කමිටි එකේ හුඟක් වැදගත් දෙන්නේ. අපි සිලෙක්ෂන් කරනකොට ඒ දෙන්නගේ මතේ අනිවාර්යෙන් ගන්න. ඒගොල්ලෝගේ මතේ නැතුව අපිට සිලෙක්ට් කරන්න බෑ. මොකද ඒගොල්ලෝනේ අරන් යන්නේ ෆීල්ඩ් එකට. හැබැයි ඉතින් යම් කිසි විදියකින් මොකක් හරි ගැටලු සාගත දෙයක් තියෙනවා නම් අපි ඒවා සාකච්ඡා කරන්න. හැබැයි හුඟක් වෙලාවට මේ සිලෙක්ෂන් එක යන්නේ කැප්ටන් කෝච් ගේ බරෙන් තමයි යන්නේ. සිලෙක්ටර්ස්ලා හුඟක් වෙලාවට ඒගොල්ලන්ට ඒක දෙනවා. ලීවරේජ් එකක් දෙනවා. දැන් අශාන්ත අවුරුදු දෙකකට කලින් දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවට යනකොට කවුරුත් අහලා තිබුණ නැති ක්‍රීඩක එක තමයි ඕෂධ ෆර්නැන්ඩෝ කියන්නේ. යම් තාක් දුරට ලසිත් ඇම්බිල් දෙනියත්. නමුත් ඔබ තීරණය කරනවා මොවුන් දෙදෙනා මේ තරඟ වලට එක්කන් යන්නේ තරඟ නෙමෙයි. ඔවුන් තරඟ දෙකම ගස්සනවත් එක්කලා. අවසානයේදී ශ්‍රී ලංකාව දකුණු අප්‍රිකාවේ තරඟාවලිය ජයග්‍රහණය කරන්න පළවෙනි ආසියාතික කණ්ඩායම් බවට පත් වෙනවා. මේ ගැන පොඩ්ඩක් කතා කරොත්. නෑ ඇත්තටම මම අපි බැලුවා මේ ලසිත ඇමුල් දෙනිය මම හිතන්නේ එයා අපි සෙල්ලම් කරා මේ අයලන් එක සීරීස් එකක් ගැහුවනේ ලංකාවේ ඒ කාලේ මේ සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට යන්න ඉස්සෙල්ලා. ඒ කියන්නේ අවිෂ්කත් රන්ස් කෝ කළා ලසිත් ඇමුල් දෙනිය ඒකේ මම බලන් මම බැලුවා මේ මැචස් ඔක්කොම. ඉතින් එයා ඊටමත්ම හොඳට බෝල් කරා. ඉතින් අපිට ඇත්තටම ලෙ ලෙෆ්ට් ආම් ස්පින කෙනෙක් අවශ්‍යතාවයක් තිබ්බා. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා එයා එයාව යවන එක සවුත් අප්‍රිකාවට අපි හිතුවා ඒක හොඳයි කියලා. මොකද ඒ වෙලාවේ අපිට ඒ වගේ ස්පින කෙනෙක් හිටියේ නැහැනේ. රංගනේ රත් රිටයර් වුණාට පස්සේ අපිට ලෙෆ්ට් ආම් ස්පින කෙනෙක් ඒ ඒ අපිට උමනා තත්ත්වෙට හිටියේ නැහැ. ඉතින් අපි හිතුවා ඒ වෙලාවේ හිටියේ ඩිල් රුවන් තමයි හුඟක් වෙලාවට බෝල් කර කර හිටියේ. ඉතින් එයාටත් කකුලේ ආබාධයක් තිබ්බා. ඒක ඉස්සෙල්ලම් කරන්න බැරි වුණා ඉතින් අපි අනිත් එක ඕෂධ ගත්තම අපි බැලුවා ඕෂධ අපි මැචස් වල බැලුවා එයා ලෝකල් මැචස් වල හුඟක් රන්ස් ගැහුවා එයාගේ ඇත්තටම බැටින් බැටින් ටෙක්නික් එක බැලුවම අපි හිතුවා එයා ඒ බවුන්සි පිචස් වලට හොඳයි කියලා මොකද එයා ඇත්තටම එයා මේ වේග පන්දුවට පහර දෙන විලාසයේ බැලුවම ඇත්තටම සිලෙක්ට් කෙනෙක්ගේ තියෙන්නේ ඇතින් ඒක බලනකොට තේරෙනවනේ සමහර අක්කිට අපිට පිටිකරුවෙක් බැට් කරනකොට අපිට පේනවා එයාට තියෙන යම්කිසි ඉරියව් වලින්
या उन्हें रा पेस्ट के डे गाना आ गया ने अरे स्पिन ने कड़ा साइन उन्हें रा गाना इतनी आप ही तो इविला आप लोग डिगा बैटिंग वाला डिगा आडवा तिब्बा नहीं तो इन्हें आप ही तो हम यहाँ वा गास्सर बाल हो गया ने यह तरह में यह नंबर थ्री गए हुए तो इन्ह मगर ने यह उन्हें इनिंग यह गाल आप लोग मैच चार दिन लोग दोनों या पेन्नू आया आटे है क्या और तीन आगे इतनी आप ही सातों लोग ये देंगे वाकी प्लेयर्स ला देते हैं आवश्यक या देंग आप ही आओ वेल कप के लिए आला है आप ही कैसे हुआ या ते भी एक टाइम विला तीनों इतनी मांगी था ने मेरे वाके विश्व फनेंडो ये वाके में हाँ तो र कासुन राजित या या देंग � दिदास दुलाहे मामा चेयरमैन ने इन्हों कोटा माहिल एविल लगी हुआ मैं आने डबो लगी नहीं मैं आवा गांव में आप ही वर्ल्ड कप स्कॉटडे में आप मैच गाला तीन बने स्कॉटडे के बाद तीन दिए मटकी हुआ मैं एविल ला माहिल लगी हुआ माम माहिल लड़ों का क्रिस्पेक्ट करना मुझे माहिल लगी माहिल लड़ों ना आईएगा तीन ये देना था मटे क्यों साउथ अफ्रीका वाले वाले के और ए टीम में की या वे आप ही आया हुआ हूँ मंगेतर ने पत्तरे आप लोग पालू हेले ने बैंड बैंड ये टीम में मिनियर आनी अनफॉर्च्यूनेटली डेंगू है तो ना गहन नत बैरु है हरी वो तो मटा माता का ये देना कतार का लगी ना मैं मैं आओ पड़ा बाला ने मैं कोहेन दिखाते हैं किंतु तमंदे के लोग उनका बैन तो यहाँ पे तो जानते हो सर आडू मगा ना और दो गाना कर पास से उनका लंकावी देंगे वैसे कात में प्लेयर के नेक किला दीना ये वाके था अकेले था लंच महिला वाले क्यों हुआ मैं मैं यहाँ नेचुरल बोल करना आप इधर प्लेयर कर गाना रीड कर गाना मैं बैग है � it was a matter of the first match that Noor had a ball with the moon. That's right. That's right. By the final, it was a matter of the Minya Samuels. It was a matter of the game. 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 या गेन में तो मंदन ने तो मंग आपी ऐतरह में इवेला भी आपी देखा लगी बने में 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 अकेला दान जो ऐतरह कोटी में क्यों तो यार नेट बोल गए है बाय यार महेल लगे तो इब्ब यार इवेला क्यों हम मामा किए ना मेरा गांड मेरा सरप्राइज बोल गए ने कपड़े मेरा वह वैध गत तो यार यार तो इब्ब कैप्टन के तो इ टैलेंट वाले तो ये आई मुंबई वाला तो होंगा सार तक वाला दिन एक है यार तो होंडा टैलेंट का तीनों होंडे में होंडा प्लेयर्स ला पिक करा तो ये एक एक ना आप ही ढूंढ ना तो ये प्लेयर्स ला ये में है दिला हुआ है तो ये एक तो आप ही सिलेक्टर्स ला दिया तो आप ही ये वेला वे गत्ता तीर ने के ना Obat mana hari tiada nak minas keran pulau nang mukat di minas keran. Mana itu ni mama nang tiada nang minas keran mang inne bela itu tiada nang ganda. Hello and uh, welcome. We are live from uh, the uh, big club grounds in Mount Lavinia, uh, St. Thomas's College and Royal College meeting in the final of the Andhra Tenakon Challenge Trophy T20 Invitational Tournament uh, celebrating the centenary of uh, the big club grounds here in uh, Mount Lavinia. Uh, St. Thomas is unbeaten. Royal uh, won today uh, in the, their game against Trinity. 
and uh, this could be a good game because the two teams met in the tournament opener yesterday and uh, it was uh, a well fought out uh, uh, occasion it's a warm and sunny it's a, a solid uh, afternoon as we say a warm welcome to uh, michael adams thank you harita good afternoon to everyone dr harita yes sir uh, sun is in full force super play for cricket i began a uh, Absolute gorgeous day here. Bit warm, and here we see the points table. Uh, Saint Thomas is leading. They won both their matches yesterday. Had a good rest in the morning session with four points, and Royal beating Trinity today in the game that just finished, and securing that uh, final berth uh, with Saint Thomas. Um, Saint Thomas also have uh, the highest team total against uh, Trinity yesterday, so. Uh, a little bit uh, statistically stacked in favor of them but uh, that is uh, no guarantee against uh, their traditional big match rivals royal who are probably not fielding their best side because uh, they have uh, uh, practice match against uh, anand today in preparation of uh, the uh, master and trophy game coming up uh, this uh, saturday um, but for the thompsons it's an important occasion uh, to be on the winning side Uh, because this is uh, their home ground it's a wonderful facility you can just see that uh, the picket fence is uh, a rarity and probably the only ground in the country uh, at school level to have something of this uh, nature the picket fences yeah definitely harita beautiful at the same beautiful ground and the surroundings this is uh, this is the frontal view of uh, the brand new uh, uh, dressing room uh, players enclosure and a whole lot more dining area what not and um, it's uh, uh, opened uh, yesterday officially after being blessed by uh, the warden and uh, the the uh, uh, attending uh, priest reverend father mendis so all this facility is made available for the uh, thomians present and uh, future by thomians uh, past and uh, the old thomians and uh, a lot of individuals and organizations including sri lanka cricket have uh, contributed towards uh, the successful completion of this and uh, it was mentioned yesterday by the warden uh, michael that uh, the facility is for five uh, team sports in uh, in mount lavenia uh, rugby athletics uh, hockey uh, cricket and football uh, st thomas has played in the final against uh, the zaira uh, team uh, they lost 3-0 never mind but it was uh, a great uh, opportunity for Thomians uh, to play in football it would be also uh, significant because Dinesh Kumar Singh who is the director of sports uh, was a former football captain of St Thomas's College yeah fantastic facility just the problem is uh, how to really use it for five sports maintaining it is going to be a bit of a a task that is initially uh, Dinesh Kumar Singh's uh, responsibility and uh, challenge and uh, the the problem with him but uh, i'm sure he'll be very happy he'll be very happy with all that it's a, a facility for everybody to cherish it was uh, a long time in coming and there it is uh, in full splendor you could see the uh, other uh, enclosure just next to it the school by the sea will be very happy to see all these facilities garmini mentioned that it's uh, on par with uh, the uh, county circuit in england or even better uh, it's a very roomy area uh, no Uh, schools uh, uh, enclosure baths. is uh, with all these facilities the ice baths the showers you know the lockers there then you have two nets and the indoor the two nets uh, was increased to four nets you know, all these facilities for the thomian cricketers young and old as they progress through the uh, various age groups going up to, to the final the surrounding areas are brilliantly maintained and that's uh, one of the main aspects that uh, we enjoy at uh, the big club grounds when you just come over there it's pleasing to the eye uh, the present uh, generation thomians are happy to be the first users of this and i'm sure that uh, they would want to be in uh, contention and uh, provide uh, the uh, enthusiasm for the uh, organizers and uh, the uh, schools authorities so what's on store the uh, pitch 
you wouldn't ask uh, anybody else other than Gamini Pereira today. We are in for a dead set scorcher, I'll tell you. Currently it's 32 degrees. One good thing is that there is a bit of breeze coming from the seaside. That will help the players comfort somewhat. Outfield still looking very quick. Let's have a this let's have a look at this surface. Now, all three matches so far was conducted on that pitch, the adjoining pitch. So this is a new pitch that we are going to use. But I'll tell you, there's not much of a difference. See, there are all these bare patches. There are some loose patches here. Hardly any grass. It's quite abrasive, lighter in colour. There's going to be a lot of turn on this one. It's going to keep low and it will be two pace. Ideally, I would like this wicket to have a bit of pace because it's a final, because everyone expects runs. But this is what we've got. It's a no-brainer. You win the toss and you bat first and get around that 130, 140, you, are, you will be in it for a very long time. Well, uh, a lot of runs as we just see it. Uh, Michael, um, you have seen uh, 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 much better facilities, much better conditions for cricket. What do you think is on offer for a 2020 affair for schoolboys? Well, it's, it's a new format for them. So they just need to get used to playing this format. Because when you say T20, there we see, look at that pitch like Gamni said, bit of patches here and there. They noticed a bit of loose... Uh, so, so maybe a bit slow, might get the ball keeping low as well. I'm sure the authorities would have put a lot of effort. Uh, DJ Upali is the main uh, groundsman here under the watchful eyes of uh, Dinesh Kumar Singer, the director of sports. Uh, there's uh, the old hand uh, who is uh, very much part of it, uh, Arya Pala Fernando and uh, the rest of the ground crew, they have done tremendous job and uh, this is what uh, is on store and we've got uh, Ricky Sims out in the middle with the two captains well we are here for the final game of this uh, triangular T20 series uh, between uh, St. Thomas's uh, Royal and uh, Trinity we have had the uh, three exciting games uh, from yesterday today and the two best teams, uh, St. Thomas's and uh, Royal College, have qualified for the finals, played for the Anratenakun Challenge uh, Trophy. We have the uh, two captains, Mahit Perra, captain in St. Thomas's, Yasindu Disanaka for Royal. Mahit uh, will uh, toss the coin. Heads is the call. Heads it is. And uh, Yasindu, you have won the toss. What have you decided to do? I'm going to do bat first. Any reason uh, behind that? Well, uh, uh, what will be a, a good score, you think, uh, to defend against a, a strong uh, Thomian outfit? Uh, 130 plus or more. Have you enjoyed uh, the uh, two days uh, here, Yasindu? Yeah. I very enjoyed very well. So good luck. Good luck to you and uh, good luck to Royal. Thank you. Mahit, if you have won the toss, what would uh, you have done? You would have also better first, but toss isn't uh, you know, in my control, so I'll control the controllities, you know. Yasindu says 130. Will you comfortable uh, chasing that score? Yes, of course. I mean, uh, we have gotten more 150 plus here, so I mean, 130 will be comfortable. Tell us something before we go about this uh, tournament and uh, about the uh, big club grounds. This may be most probably your final first eleven game at this venue. The way things are going, and uh, tell us uh, in a, in a few words how do you feel. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, I played four years for Sullivan Cricket and it's been a long time. And uh, yeah, I'm privileged to captain my last year and it is, I'm sure this, is, this is, will be my last match at college and would love to end in high. Well, Mahit, uh, we are privileged uh, to have seen you play here and uh, Captain uh, St. Thomas as well. You have had a, a great stay, not only in cricket, in other sports as well. So wishing you uh, all the best for this game as the captain, wishing St. Thomas's, and also uh, wishing you the best uh, in your future endeavours. Thank you very much, sir. So there you go, Yasindu Disanak has won the toss and uh, elected uh, to bat first in this all-important final of the triangular tournament. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, not very surprising uh, altogether? Not at all surprising, uh, Aritha. 
the, the surprising part is the using a separate pitch for the final because St. Thomas's did well on that wicket their players know what to expect but now they have to ad adjust totally to the to a new surface so they might also be happy n not to bat first though they were looking to bat first not sure what to expect sometimes it's easier to put the opposition in and see what happens yeah the says going that uh, it's a good toss to lose but um, again worrying factor is what Garmini said there was a loose soil it's going to get even loose looser okay we'll wait and see because uh, the uh, spin bowling department as far as royal is very good uh, and um, having beaten uh, trinity uh, who lost uh, both and that's incidentally um, the coach of trinity who is uh, on the foreground um, royal would uh, want to put uh, a good portal a good total here is something like uh, 160, I would imagine, against a batting side uh, that is capable of uh, chasing a big total. But uh, on a wicket that uh, may probably offer some assistance to the um, spinners, um, controlling the opposition to a total that you can actually chase is very important for the Tomians. Yeah, yeah. yeah spot on, uh, Haritha. You just look at that team's... Uh few just changes just take a just take a look at uh, that royal team uh, dushen uh, udavela is not in bold um, yasindu disanayak is there um, yenula bandara is there shane aberatna has done very well uh, shehandu surya rachi already uh, in the uh, forefront for them royal the thomases they have brought in mahit Pereira is uh, ahelia goda gunawadana Avinash Fernando will probably keep, probably. Sadeb Soiza is also there. Akash Fernando is there. So they have played the full side. Yatindra Sirivodana. Take a look at this guy. He has done well with uh, bat and ball for uh, the uh, second 11. And Anuk Devanarayana in that uh, second 11 big match he did well. And Shanil Pereira. This is one player that uh, a lot of us have been uh, talking but has not really seen. So altogether. Uh, the uh, side is uh, looking very good. There is uh, no uh, younger Ahalia Goda involved in this match. Uh, by and large, uh, the uh, spinners uh, for the Tomians. There is no Abid Parnavidana. I thought uh, he would uh, get a look in, but uh, they have not uh, gone with him. So the better batters have uh, make it to the playing level for the Tomians. Skipper coming back might be very important needs to get a few runs before the Mustangs trophy. Not only that, just uh, have a net uh, outing out in the middle uh, because he has not been able to practice uh, too well. They will get a chance when Isipatana the Thompson's play a practice match tomorrow. Very good side uh, from uh, Havelock Park, uh, the Isipathanians. Haritha also, in the first game yesterday, Royal just got 116 and they gave, took the match right to the end. Yeah. That is uh, the main aspect of, of uh, looking into it. The two umpires, uh, Chaminda Athur Singha and um, Hasika Jayasinghe, they have been uh, involved in both days. Yasindu Desanayaka, the royal captain, has come out uh, to the middle. He's been a centurion for them in the two-day cricket. Didn't uh, impress much in the two-day game either. But uh, his partner on the other end has been uh, the player to watch at the top order. He has been scoring runs and uh, coming at a decent take. He did very well in uh, the uh, big match uh, second 11 game too. Hirun Matisha. He has uh, been successful getting onto the 20s in both matches in this tournament. Wonderful player, good striker of the ball, has uh, a decent uh, approach to the game, wants to rotate the strike, all that. They just need to have a decent start, Haritha. Akash Fernando from the pavilion end. Positive start. 
off the mark with the first delivery. That will settle some nerves. Always uh, nervous when it comes to a final. Lakash Fernando. Also so Dom's, so Dom's just will want him to pick up uh, an early wicket. Yeah, definitely. Wicket are two. In a little bit of difficulty, a third man. Well, Yasin though didn't move his feet. Just played from the crease. Managed to get the bat on ball. Now both batters uh, have opened their account. This is an alley good quickly into position. Should be a very good tussle. If uh, the total is 140 at the end of 20 overs, Michael, we are looking at uh, a tremendous game. Yeah, 140 is, uh, I think, a pretty good. Uh, anything about 125, I would say, is uh, not going to be easy for the Thomians. To do that, uh, the Royalists need to bat the, make sure they bat the 20 overs first. And uh, the top order will have to do the scoring. You don't let uh, it go to the lower middle order to get there. Akash Fernando has started with uh, a decent amount of uh, composure. Sadev Soisa is keeping wickets. He's a Frontline wicket keeper. Oh, straight uh, to mid off. This is an alley of Goda makes no mistake. That's a big wicket. Hirun Matich has been the batter with uh, the ability to score runs quickly at the top of the order. That was, a, I would say, a brain fade. Try to just go over the top, not connecting, not to the pitch of the ball, most probably. Yes, definitely. And just, uh, it was like easy begin. She simply got to the pitch of the ball and scooped it rather than loft it. That uh, is the problem. Is it Kavindu Dais who held on to the catch? So Hiro Matisha gone for one and Royal are two for one. Kavid Dias, safe field. Remember, he, he he batted very late in that first game, and it was his big hitting that uh, took St. Thomas's uh, over the line against Royal in the tournament opener. Yeah, Shane, that was going down to the wire. Yeah, Shane Abeyratna has been uh, good with the bat in both matches. He scored uh, an unbeaten 30 plus in the previous game. Coming at the ball of the first wicket in the very first over. This boy has been very positive, Harita. That's the good part for Royal. He's always looked to be busy, even in the previous game. He That's all the cloud. Yeah, he accumulated runs in uh, the uh, second level big match against the Thomians, which uh, Royal dominated. In 2020 cricket, uh, you don't get too much of time to uh, settle down but that doesn't mean you've got to be reckless with your batting or bowling though no, Shane has been uh, pretty decent uh, not uh, we just always try to be busy points the cap it'll reach the boundary at third man went all along the ground uh, it's a streaky shot to get off the mark never mind 
Total at the end of the first over for Royal, six for one. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC, live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So now, uh, Yasundar Desanayaka, one of the leading batters uh, for Royal this season. We'll be hoping that he'll be able to give his team uh, a decent contribution. Well, just uh, need to rotate the strike and, you know, not look for big uh, shots from the start. This goal looks a bit decent. Six uh, for one in the first over. That last delivery took the edge uh, along the ground. Beating uh, the diving wicketkeeper and the slip fielder. So, spin from the other end. Dinat Gunavardana gets... Uh, Turn and bounce first delivery to Yasindu Disanayaka. Sadev Sohinsa went up the moment he got the ball into his gloves. The umpire was not uh, in his favor. Loud appeal. Now the wicket keep and the bowler may have heard some noise. A bit of discussion bit between captain and uh, umpire. May have had some noise. May have bat may have hit the boot or the ground. Never know. But it was very close to the bat. The Andrew Tenakon Challenge Trophy on offer for the Invitation T20 Championship. Still having a few words. Uh, Chandi Kathuru Singh is the umpire. He's in uh, conversation with uh, Mahit Pereira, the Tomian captain. He's not asking him for tea, I'll tell you that much. Akash Fernando comes out. Skipper not happy, Ampai not happy. We are happy that uh, things are under control. Well, it's a final. Everyone's uh, trying to win. I think Maith needs to calm down a bit. Now, if that had gone, hit the stumps and gone somewhere else and won't gone for runs, you know, it, it doesn't look uh, good. Take a look at this. This is what started it all. First ball from Dinit Gunodana. They went up in unison. Umpire said no. That's Comfortable single for run. the Royal Captain. Gunodana will be under pressure to. Uh, keep uh, Shena Beratna quiet, but uh, Dinit Gunawardana is a heady bowler. Usually a partnership breaker. Experienced player, did well with the bat uh, in both innings in the three-day encounter this year. Calls abide. An area where uh, the Tomians will have to be positive without uh, giving too many extra runs. Yeah, just outside there. Well spread. Played it across the line. This is exactly what I said that he'll have to be careful. It's the power play session and Abhay Ratna is a good player. Yeah, he's pretty busy. Always looking to do something, Harita. There we see that uh, going down on one knee, taking it out from outside off stump, but going over that uh, infield. And First one was a streaky boundary to third man, but this one was well learned. So he's on eight with a couple of fours. 
Royal are 12 for 1. And again outside the off stump. He seems to have a lot of time to play his shots. He picks it up uh, very early. End of uh, two overs. Royal uh, progress up to 13 for the loss of one wicket. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So good over for Royal. They would want to uh, maintain, sustain the ability to uh, make runs at the top of the order during the power play session in particular. Andrew Tenukon, part of uh, Sri Lanka's World Cup campaign in 75. Tempted bounce, it didn't rise uh, probably as much as uh, Abhiratna wanted. Royal uh, would want uh, him to be around. Tomians uh, having uh, Dilchan Mendis and uh, Lasit uh, Randunu in charge of this uh, team. Head coach and director of sports, of course, is Dinesh Kumar Singer. That's very well played. That's intentionally played over the uh, slip cotton. That's a poor delivery. Pitched outside the stumps and didn't rise as much as he wanted. Akash Fernando giving uh, an opportunity for Shane Abirat. I'm telling you, uh, this boy can be very dangerous if he bats long. Has uh, strokes all around the wicket. And uh, St. Thomas's will have to be a bit careful. Uh, as they're leaking boundaries. They'll want to bring that back. There's already three boundaries in the third over. Shane Abirat on 13, just off five uh, deliveries. That's good running straight to the fielder, but uh, good calling. And this is exactly what they need. Single after a boundary. Puts a lot of pressure on uh, the fielding side. Risk-free cricket is what is uh, needed. Kapila De Silva is master in charge for the Tomians uh, cricket. And the co-prefect of games, Arunashanta Samarasinghe, better known in the volleyball field. And uh, Dilchan Gunodana, who captained St. Thomas's in the big match. Played and missed. Dishanayaka looks vulnerable. Reverend Father Mark uh, Billy Moria, the warden of St. Thomas's College. Quite a colourful character. Bill is not picking that delivery because look at his front foot. He just plays from the crease and then after the ball has passed, his front foot is coming out. So maybe not picking either the line or maybe from the hand. And to play it late. There again. Better delivery from Akash Fernando. Royal team today. Pragit uh, Ferdinando is uh, in uh, charge. He's been assisted by Kavindu Madara Singha. Played for Royal. Master in charge Anur Prashant, the prefect of games Riyaz Alu. I don't think he's here today. Principal Tilak Vattuheva. Probably will attend uh, the closing ceremony. Oh! He's got uh, the ball doing the talking. This is what uh, you want to see from Akash Fernando. He looked uh, uncomfortable out in the middle. Yasindu Desanayaka. That was coming, Harita. Feet nowhere, just playing from the crease. And there you see. Just playing from the crease. He's not, not picking that ball up. So after three overs, well, 18 for two. 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues. Trinity versus St. Anthony's. 15th, 16th March at Askeria. Live on the Papa Ray, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. This 
So even Stevens, uh, after three overs, runs on the board for Royal, but uh, St. Thomas has captured two wickets and uh, both wickets to Akash Fernando. And he's uh, probably their main strike bowler. Did well with the bat too. All because of that. He had to leave. Missed it completely. To Shane. Down leg side. More runs on the board. Already a wide signal, so three wides uh, to the total. This is something that St. Thomas can do without. Just don't need to be giving free runs. This man, Shane Aberatna, it's going to be vital for Royal. Oh, very well played. Hit the gap. It's well timed. It's running down. It's four. Aberatna is on song. Very busy cricketer. Shots all over the ground. So I'm going down on one knee and pulling it this time. Short delivery, cutting it and cutting it in the gap. Dissecting the two fielders. You want him to occupy the crease. Already four boundaries in his 20. He's created quite a scare for the Thomians. He's batted well, Shaina Beratna. He's batted uh, responsibly. Risk free cricket he has played so far. Round the wicket now. I see. Very good cricket. Getting that single and moving off strike. This guy has a good future, Haribo. Good uh, head on his shoulders. The left hander now. chance I don't know whether it really had uh, a chance there Yatindra Sirivardhana is a third man Sadev Soisa has missed a couple that's another wide he's uh, maintaining a poor line he's bowling to the new batsman it shouldn't be just giving those loose lever is uh, three wides in this innings uh, to by the net to Shane Udwela all you got to do is uh, rotate the strike the left and right hand combination could be decisive factor but more important uh, would be Shane Aberatna's uh, approach to uh, dealing with uh, the opposition. I think a lot depends uh, on him. Brilliantly fielded there. There have been another boundary uh, that was uh, stopped. So after four overs, Royal at 29 for two. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. I think this is a promising start, Royal, on the strength of Shane Aberatna's uh, 
responsible batting he opted for a bowling change and yatindra sirivardhana he did well in uh, the mini battle so these two cricketers yatindra sirivardhana and uh, shain abiratna played against each other over two days in that mini battle at uh, reed avenue is decent all rounder for st thomas's he is operating from the pavilion end immediately the response from shena veratna he means business he is looking at uh, keeping things moving third man is on the boundary there's no slip so if uh, he is continuously bowling outside the line of off stump the deep cover will also come into play who is on the boundary mait perera he couldn't have stopped that single played uh, hard to him but uh, pretty deep on uh, the circle I would like to see a fielder from the leg bought in to the off, pack the off, bowl outside the off stump and get uh, Shane to do something different. The Shane That Uduvela will Shane. receive from Yatin Drasirvardhana going round the wicket right arm. Nicely bowled again, time outside the off stump. This sort of dot balls is a bonus uh, for any bowler, especially if you are bowling the first over. When you have a guy like Shane batting on the other end. All you need to do is just get bat on ball and uh, bring him on strike, and watch from the other end. Probably that's what he wants to do. He didn't get bat to ball on that occasion. Well bowled. Nice change of pace. Then the batsman gets into the chain. Face five deliveries for one run. From what I have heard, uh, he is uh, a very exciting prospect, Yatin Drasirivadana. So Thompson has had a plethora of uh, medium paces, so probably he couldn't break into the first side. That's better. That's better. Saw the danger. Abhiratna was not interested in the single. Travelled uh, quickly and uh, straight to the fielder. Oh, it's interesting. Darian Diago is uh, at the backward point. Standing deep, one would think. I think now the fielder should drop down a bit and give that single so that they keep Shane off strike. This is the last delivery. Oh, well bowled. Took the pace off. The ball died on uh, Uduela. End of five overs. Royal. Thirty for three. College 30 for 3 after 5 overs. Lost that third wicket uh, in the last delivery of the fifth over. Shayna Beradna playing a long hand at the moment. He's on 23 of 11. Rest of the batters, they have contributed just 7 runs in 19 deliveries. So uh, that says a lot about the uh, rest of the uh, Royal College batters. Uh, they have not performed up to the uh, standards required in this final. 
someone needs to uh, make sure that this support chain Abirata Shane has been in great touch uh, in this uh, whole tournament I think he made uh, 20 plus scores in both the games earlier and uh, here in the final as well 23 in quick time strike rate over 200 here's the replay of that uh, last wicket Yatindra getting some movement uh, into the left-handed batter getting that inside edge uh, straight to the stumps Final of the Anruth Endokon Challenge Trophy. And the left arm spinner for St. Thomas's College. Now, yesterday, when these uh, two teams met, Royal College, they made 116, and uh, St. Thomas's, they uh, managed to get over the line just in the last over. Taru Lampi Mohoti, the uh, new batter. Almost, almost another play on. Once again, finds the uh, inside edge. Shane Abiratna will be uh, the key batsman uh, for the Royalists. It's been a steady start, uh, but uh, Cuts Column uh, not helping uh, the Royalists. Uh, the Romans uh, can be happy uh, with how they have uh, gone with the things uh, in his opening uh, five overs. Trying to uh, hold it a tad bit fast here, Anuk. Giving no room to the batsman. The batsman uh, Tarul. Have a big uh, responsibility to uh, build a partnership here with uh, Shena Bayratna as he gets off the mark with a single. Shrenabirathna, he needs to make sure that uh, he keeps the batsman in the other end uh, without uh, and trying to uh, do something drastic. He needs uh, someone in from the uh, middle order to hang in there to uh, stay with him at least until around the 12th or the 13th though They need a partnership here. Oh look. Uh, Inserting some good pressure, the left arm spinner cuts it away, but uh, straight to the field, unable to take a single. So uh, a good start for the uh, left arm spinner from us in terms of college. Anuk gave away just two runs. Royal College, 32 for three after six. 119 lovers quarrel. Richmond versus Mahinda. 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialog TV channel 127, Dialog View app, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. A power play where it was uh, dominated by the bowlers, Luxusi. Royal College uh, going at a run rate of uh, 5.33. Out of uh, the 24 run, uh, 32 runs, uh, Shane Abirath has contributed with the uh, 24. Just the four boundaries in uh, that power play. That shows how uh, well uh, the Thomian bowlers have dominated that opening six overs. Just three runs in the last two overs. Uh, one, Yatindra and Nanuk uh, adding some good pressure. Asking the uh, Royal batters uh, to do something different. They're not giving them any room to free their arms. Uh, uh, as you mentioned, Shane, he has scored uh, around 75% of the uh, current total from Royal College. That's why I mentioned that uh, the other batters from Royal College, they need to uh, put their hand up. Yes, yeah, Shane, but uh, there is protection. There's protection exactly for that delivery. Good captaincy here. Uh, I, uh, Mahit Pereira, who is uh, playing in this game, probably captaining the uh, side here at the big club grounds for the last time uh, in his school cricket career. Tempted uh, the bounce, uh, Yatindra. Good delivery. Uh, 
College. Uh, they want to get uh, to somewhere at least around 130, 540 rush if they are to give a fight. Yes, uh, they might be thinking even 120 might be okay because uh, yesterday the game went right down the wire and uh, the uh, surface, this is actually not the surface that we uh, played uh, in the previous game. Look at that, some movement into the right-handed batter. So as I mentioned, uh, not the same surface, so uh, it will be interesting to see how uh, the pitch will operate as the spinners uh, start to bowl more. Earlier, the left arm spinner. We didn't see uh, much purchase. He was he just bowled well, ball flat and uh, ball straight. Uh, Anuk in that previous over. So it will be interesting to see if uh, we do see some uh, turn for the spinners uh, on the surface as the game goes on. Yes, Laksasi. They will want to uh, be around that 120 to 130 uh, runs on the board. Can bring a competitive total to this uh, Thormian outfit who looks uh, really good. Last uh, evening, yesterday, they played a couple of games. Uh, won that Trinity game convincingly. Went down to the wire against uh, their finest uh, Royal College. Now the special thing about that effort was that uh, they were 54 for 5 and they ended up with 172. You know, we talked a lot, lot about this uh, Ashwin and uh, Nathan Caldera putting together that partnership 118 run stand. So end of the seventh over, another cheap over, Royal College, 35 for 3. March Madness is back! Are you ready for the big match madness? March Madness, live on the Paparate, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Watching the live action of the uh, final encounter of uh, the Anbrathen Nakon Challenge Trophy. Now Sri Lanka is our number one sports channel, the Papri TV. And look, once again a good start to his second over. Look at the uh, last 18 deliveries, Rishwan. So many dot deliveries, just uh, six singles, one wicket. 11 dots in the uh, last 18 deliveries, so that's almost two overs out of the uh, three that uh, they have bold dots. It's, uh, in T20 cricket, it's really important that you minimize the number of dots as much as possible. The team that plays the least number of dots most of the time gets the W in a T20 game. So, I mean, it's still, still a learning process for all of these players because it's a brand new format as we as we mentioned so many times uh, throughout the uh, four games of uh, this tournament an appeal but uh, the umpire is unmoved <laughs> yes Laksasi the screws have been put by the Thomian bowlers and uh, they've been bowling on the right lines not giving any room uh, for the royalist batsman and especially uh, the new batsman Tarul he's been uh, under the pump as uh, he's not being able to uh, Rotate that strike where Shane is uh, striking well. He's uh, 25 of 16 deliveries. Royal College uh, will want him to bat on uh, till the end. Uh, Royal College making some around 130 or oh, getting a bundle out for 110 or 100 will depend heavily on uh, Shane Abiratna. That's why I mentioned so many times that uh, it's a very important that Shreya Abiratna bats out the complete 20 overs. He needs to make sure that he keeps uh, his end safe and uh, goes inside out. Shreya Abiratna, and that's a misfield. Uh, is that the skipper, Mahit Pereira? Not the best of fielding coming in uh, from skipper Mahit Pereira. It's double. Uh, couple of runs uh, to end uh, the eighth over as you see the replay 
gets it in the gap but not enough of power to get it to the boundary but uh, not the best uh, feeling coming in uh, from uh, skipper Mahit as uh, Royal College uh, 38 for 3 after 8 Live on the Papare TV and Dialog View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Royal College 38 for 3 after 8 overs. Tarul on 4 of 11 deliveries, Shane on 27 of 18. So watching the action live on Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papare TV. We are live from B Club Grounds, Mount Lavinia. and run rate 4.75 not the best of run rates uh, when we uh, think about the T20 format Shanil to uh, begin his spell the leg spinner shortest delivery but that kept low Taru did really well to uh, get bad on that this Lux is it at the pitch report uh, earlier this game, uh, a co-commentator Garmini mentioned that uh, this week at uh, would keep low. As predicted, uh, showing some signs of uh, turn and keeping it low as you see. Uh, Shanil uh, will cause some headaches to uh, the Royal Batsman in the middle right now. Shanil Pereira, not a left arm medium fast ball, he's a, a leg spinner. Traditional leg spinner. Cut away once again for a single. Shane uh, Aberatna, he's been uh, rotating that strike well. He's, uh, keen, he looks a very busy batsman in the middle. And also, Rashwan, uh, he's uh, striking it uh, around 140. Meanwhile, uh, his uh, partner in the other end, his strike rate is below 50. So, uh, Tarul, he needs to uh, make sure that he uh, doesn't waste too many deliveries. That will only put pressure on Shane. Because uh, if uh, Shane tries to do too many things here and gets out, Royal College will be in a lot of trouble. They're still in the ninth over. Yeah, too much uh, width to uh, Shane there, Shanil. The leg spinner still trying to uh, get his lines right. Quite the decent over coming in uh, from Pereira. Not giving anything uh, away. He's been around uh, that uh, stumps and uh, just like that top it off uh, he uh, gets the wicket of uh, Tarul and this is what Royal didn't need Tarul he was uh, on 6 of 13 as I mentioned earlier the pressure was getting on to him he was playing too many dot deliveries and there he didn't read the uh, delivery Tarul so with that that's the end of the uh, ninth though as well Royal College Railing at the moment, 42 for 4. Struggle uh, innings of uh, Tarul. Amper Mohoti goes off for 6 out of facing uh, 14 deliveries. Scott and Boulder, Shanil. Royal versus St. Thomas's. 47th Mustangs Trophy. 16th March at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Anuk uh, to continue with his uh, left arm orthodox for the Thomians. Uh, it's been a good start uh, to this final lone uh, warrior in the middle for Royal uh, Shane Aberatna. 29 of 21. Now the current context of the game will uh, test Shane Aberatna quite a lot, Rashwan. 
how he will handle such a pressure situation. Uh, Ashwin sure, Abhiradna, we will definitely see him playing in the first 11 team in the up upcoming year also. We will see him playing in the uh, big match as well, definitely, because uh, for me, he is the best batter from the uh, unit that Royal College uh, fielded in this uh, Amrath Indagon Challenge Trophy. So, uh, how he performs here will tell a lot about his character as a batsman. At the moment, he is unfaced, but uh, with the uh, innings coming into the uh, last uh, seven to six overs, it will definitely be quite interesting because uh, there's a huge possibility that he might run out of uh, proper batters to bat in the last uh, quarter of the innings. Yes, this uh, partnership uh, will be key for uh, the Royalists. Shenabe Ratna would uh, want some help uh, from his partners. Last thing he wants is uh, to bat with the tail. Going into the final 10 overs. Left hand, uh, right hand combination uh, in the middle for Royal right now. Well, now what you don't need to do is that uh, he has Udan the Gange left-handed batsman what he needs to do is uh, he needs to make sure that uh, he takes uh, a couple of deliveries and then he should try to uh, rotate the strike which one good delivery by Anuk I should try to rotate the strike because uh, what Tharu did what Tharu failed to do is uh, rotating the strike and giving the support to Shreena Biratna Udanta he must make sure that he doesn't do the same mistake he needs to make sure that he stays out there and uh, at least stays out there for the uh, next five to six hours that will help Shane and it will give him a lot of confidence because as I mentioned anything over 110 120 will be challenging because uh, there's the added pressure of this being a final as well so tickles it down to the leg side and crossover for a couple of runs uh, Good uh, way to uh, start of your innings, uh, Udanta. Good batting coming in. So the boundaries have dried up uh, for Royal College. They haven't uh, hit a boundary in around uh, six overs. Six overs or so, so that's not helping uh, the cause for them. I've been a while since they scored a boundary. Drops it short this time, cuts it away, Udanta, but uh, unable to get away from that field. So uh, that's the end of the 10th over, Royal College, 46 for 4 at the halfway mark. And also, it's time for the drinks break. It's quite an atmosphere. Rugby's greatest championship of all the set. Thurston versus Isipatana. 44th Limited Overs Encounter. 17th March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So the first 10 overs, uh, St. Thomas would think that uh, they have done reasonably well to restrict the uh, Royal Tide to, to 46 for 4. This um, is a good uh, performance from Shane Aberatna who's got uh, 230 and uh, the um, former Colombo Academy, the Royal College of uh, Colombo 7, the pride of Reed Avenue with all that uh, historic uh, proportions that has produced uh, many old Ceylon and uh, Sri Lanka cricketers will be very pleased. Uh, 
a situation where the uh, Royal Top Order has not uh, performed to expectation except for Shane Aberatna who has followed up uh, the unbeaten 30 plus in the previous game uh, to be 30 not out of just 22 balls. He batted very well. Yasindu Disanayaka, the captain, um, Hirun Matesha, Dushe Nuduela and Tarul Lampapohetti has all been dismissed under a uh, double uh, digit score. Three extras and Akash Fernando bowled his first two overs, picked up uh, two for 11. And thereafter, Yatindra Sirivadana, good entry for him, two overs, economical four runs. And Chanil Pereira, one for four as the last pickup. So, joining me is uh, Banuka Rajapaksa, the former Royal and uh, Sri Lanka cricketer. Welcome on commentary uh, to this uh, wonderful historic occasion, Banuka. Good it's evening, Aritha. How are you? Getting on fine. Uh, how do you feel like uh, being at the big club grounds? You've uh, been such a you've been such a problem for uh, St. Thomas's when you played the big match. Of course, I mean those are the good days, and uh, you know, unfortunately, I have not been to St. Thomas's much because you used to always play the big match and the mini battle. That was always the way. But uh, it's nice to be at St. Thomas's. To be very honest, one of my favorite schools apart from Royal. How do you how do you see the first impression of the big club uh, grounds? You have played the uh, circuit the world over. Yeah, it's a beautiful ground, man. It's you know what, uh, ground by the beach, new dressing rooms. I was I was uh, taken to the dressing rooms, and I must give the credit to school. It is international level standard, so we're very yeah. happy with the work behind that. Yeah, I think uh, I must be thankful to uh, Ricky Sims. Uh, I asked him to take you <laughs> and uh, have a look at uh, that area and. Uh, Told him, okay, I'm going to talk with Banuka. Uh, he had no choice, but uh, yeah, I know he. <laughs> I know he doesn't have anything uh, against me for doing that. <laughs> We've been mates. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for schoolboys to enjoy such facilities, it's a dream come true, Banuka. Which, which is true, but you know, I was telling Ricky that I, I don't think the boys should get too comfortable with the dressing rooms because it's, <laughs> it's actually <laughs> so much a comfort for a schoolboy cricketer to have such dressing rooms, and they should not want like stay in the dressing room too much. Very true, very true. That's uh, a very good comment and uh, they should all... Oh, straight Shot. to the field. That's a uh, comfortable way to uh, end the innings. But uh, he was uh, looking very, very positive, Shena Beratna. It was a treat to watch when he was batting. And uh, he was uh, into the groove and the uh, break has not done too much. Definitely. I, I just like the way that the ball has been bowling and looping out and the extra cover fielder coming into play. And the, given that the wicket is a bit on the slow slide, that's some sort of shot that it's not e easy to like, you know, get on with. So, uh, He's a safe field at the same uh, Halio Goda. Shanil Pereira, his second wicket. Shane Abiratna gone for 30 Royal. Five down for 47. Martwe Unmadea. Sudanamda. Big match was on theatre. Piperwari Visi Hatarada Sita, Saji Viva, The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialogue View Epsaha, The Papare.com, Sri Lanka, Anka T. Krida Nalikawa. So Udanta Giganage will have to uh, take. Uh, the bigger responsibility at the exit of uh, Abhiratna in this fashion. He was intending to go over the infield but uh, went straight at uh, Ahalya Goda. He's one of the better fielders. This is Ahalya Goda. But a couple of wickets uh, for Shanil Pereira. It's a bonus for him. Definitely. When you do both some leg spin, you know that you would either go for runs or you would get wicket. That's a no make wicket. So. Just uh, think, uh, Banuka, you have played enough of 20s uh, in the uh, world over. For these young young players to uh, get an opportunity of this nature, never mind what sort of uh, cricket you play, you're on media live. It's a it's a way to develop yourself in the mind too. Of course, you know, credit should go to the organisers for organising such a tournament and during the season of big matches. Uh, along with St. Thomas and Royal uh, for the uh, Andrew Tendakon Trophy. I mean, it's a privilege for the boys to like come and play at St. Thomas to be begin with and to get that exposure. Papa is showing it on live. 
dialogue been helping them so it's it's you know it's fantastic opportunity for all the boys to come out there and showcase their talent That's a nice way to end the over. 11 completed. Royal elect into bat. A 47 for 5. And that was a superb over bowl by Chanel Pereira. Walagi company, Walagi club, Walagi school, youth ticket set and all of event. The property waking, Mulu Lanka, and Penan, Apilasi. All at last, it is Apitakatagara. The property TV, the property TV HD. डायलोग टेलीविजन नाली का अंक है तो तुम इस हाँ एक सीए विषय हो से श्रीलंका वे अंक के क्रीड़ा नाली का वे उदान तक गिरने के एंड शेषन दो सूर्य बंदारा शेषन दो बोल्ड वेरी वेल इन द प्रीवियस गेम अनुक देवना राय ना what is he going to do? He picked up wickets in the uh, limited overs big match. I think on behalf of uh, St. Thomas's College and uh, on behalf of the Papare, we say a big thank you to you, Banuka, uh, on our invitation to be here. It's nice for you to drive over here, sit with us and talk cricket. There's uh, a lot of incentives coming up. I'm sure you will be there for the... Uh, Mustangs Trophy game through. What do you What do you remember about the one day games that you have played against St. Thomas's? Okay, firstly, I'm, I was very fortunate to play six one days for school. I started when I was fourteen, and I know, I know. <laughs> that's why I'm <laughs> asking yeah. you to say that. <laughs> so, the very first game, it was not the experience that I wanted to uh, have in my career. But uh, as a school ball cricketer, playing six matches against St. Thomas's. It's not going to be easy to ask for everyone, but I thoroughly enjoyed every moment. And you know how we won about four of them out of the six that I played. And uh, one game we, we had a dis dis deficit of about 200 runs when you won the game. Okay, okay come out with this. That's <laughs> I, I, have, I have spoken about the cricket. So I, I know a little bit about what I'm trying talking. And uh, so just to mention Ramit Ramukal, uh, uh, he got a century in the uh, big match and then uh, if I'm not mistaken he got a century in the uh, uh, Mustangs as well along with um, Chalaka Bogada. You know it was a very tricky situation when Chalaka was brought into the team. He was a, he was a three day player. Lot of people thought. Lot of people thought so but he was, he was a surprise package for all. So that's a game that we won out of uh, by 200 runs. See, nobody was prepared uh, for him, including <laughs> the Thaumians. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to so say. He was a white horse. I know, I know. No, I mean, it, it produces something like um, something very big, 50 up uh, for Royal. They've lost five. That's the problem. Uh, we were expecting a total of 120 plus, maybe 130, 140, which would have put uh, the opposition under pressure. You know, you know, because given the fact that Vicar is a bit slow on the slow slide, Anything about 100 could be competitive. Yeah, now we can say that. Yep. Now we can say that. They were not Ryan Bowles. Good running between because you need to get uh, a move on as you get along. End of uh, 12 overs. Royal elected to bat 51 for 5 against St. Thomas's. I believe the right house is like a soulmate. When the right one comes along, it's magic. Welcome home, Susan. <gasps> There's something in the house making it hard for us to sell, and we make it go away. Run as fast as you can. Is there anything else that I need to know? Surreal Estate, Season 2. Real estate is exciting, isn't it? On Rock Entertainment. Dinet is playing, Sadev is playing. I've been impressed with him, with a couple of wickets behind him and in the bag, he's now bowling with a lot of confidence. He does look like a prospect for St. Thomas's and uh, the control of his is very nice, Haritha, to be honest. 
He's not afraid to loop it up. Brilliantly played. He absolutely got uh, the meat of the bat on that occasion. All that running is outside the, the boundary area. Brilliant cover drive for the moment it left the bat. Harita, do you remember the time that we played the inaugural T20? I think it was in uh, Pisara played. And that was just the first and the last. So I really hope that the Thomians and the Rawadis could get together and continue the tradition. This is exactly because there are uh, Thurston Isipathana uh, Twenties, uh, the uh, Prince of Wales, St. Uh, St. Sebastian's Prince of Wales Twenties. So there was always a wide, always uh, a situ situation why Royal and St. Thomas's are not keen in playing a 2020. So which is what we started, um, if I'm not mistaken, we started the encounter but we couldn't continue it. Probably, uh, didn't, didn't you guys want to... Brilliant play? delivery. Take a look at this. Oh, he was foxed. Big time. Surya Bandara was absolutely beaten. The type of bowling that Chanil Pereira has now shown. Come on. This was fantastic. Take a look at this. Well flighted. And that's a googly. That's a dream ball for any leg spinner. To see the <laughs> gate through of the batsman. He had just uh, hit a boundary and uh, to get something of that uh, nature, Surya Bandara didn't expect it. But uh, Chanil Pereira picks up a third. Surya Raju goes for five. Royal uh, 56 for six now. Thurston versus Isipatana. 44th limited overs encounter. 17th March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Okay. This is an area we, we, we must be uh, discussing because you have played enough of 2020 cricket. Why is it that? Uh, School should uh, think of playing 2020. Never mind big matches, but why? Why do we think that we should be encouraging the schools to play 2020 cricket at first level? Are they, if you see the, uh, if you see all the other countries, since I've travelled the world, I know how it. Yeah, I know. Works. That's exactly why I'm asking yeah, you. Yes, so sir. Coming to the point, I've seen many, many players starting like T20 cricket from the young age. All these viewers scoops, scoops, paddles. Like as Sri Lankan, sometimes. We are very traditional. I mean, we are not the most powerful hitters of the ball, but we are very skillful. But for you know, for us to like develop our skills, we need to start it from the school level, because school level cricket in Sri Lanka is one of the best in the whole world. Everyone knows about it. Everyone talks about it. But T20 is something that we need to specialize, and it gives the proper exposure for all the boys to come out and experience and perform as they should do in the next level. I think uh, the authorities should um, probably seriously think and debate about the fact uh, what Banuko is uh, trying to do. Ushita Ile Peruma is uh, the new batter in. He bowled reasonably well in the previous game. Now he has a chance to do well with the bat. Royal certainly needs somebody to bat through the rest of the overs. Oh, this boy is different. Shanil Pereira is creating such a big sensation with his bowling. He reminds me a bit of Vijay Vyaskant, doesn't he? Yeah, he was uh, the taller version, but uh, yeah, he's, he's uh, a very good comparison, Banuka. You have seen enough of him. Oh, quicker through the air. Different trajectory, different uh, line and length. If you've got a thinking bowler with that sort of uh, ability, you can be almost unplayable. That's what he is. 13 completed. Royal are 56 for 6. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
Trinity, who was the other team here under uh, Niro Chandikwala, became uh, champions in uh, the two-day league, in the one-day tournament, as well as the only um, national T20 tournament uh, in that year. In that year. And that was way back in 2013, 12? Don't ask me sometime <laughs> later. When Niro Chandikwala was uh, the Trinity captain. So yeah. that is exactly what we're talking about. Coming to Dias. Introduced into the attack from the Talas end. Uh, it, I, I think it's always nice for people to come out and support the school cricket. Because there's, of course, our school cricket, as I said before, like that is the foundation for all the national players to come up and play the way that we have shown the world. And our approach is totally different to so many other countries. And um, I mean, in, in our time, we had a media team who supported us to start an inaugural T20 competition. Shot. Well played. Off the front foot. A lot of running for the Ethiopian captain. He won't keep it uh, inside play. That was well struck by Gangewatta. Coming to Dias, giving him room outside of stump. Yeah, so coming back to the point again, like the exposure that we got from the, the the highlight that the people, like the boys, got through that competition was immense. When we went to the next stage, we went to the club levels, and when we started playing all the leagues, so it was in our blood. Like we, it was not nothing. It wasn't anything new for us. So that is the exposure that we need to give the players. Yokel and delivery, good uh, comeback delivery from Kavin Dudas. Royal realized that uh, they need to. Uh, Keep the scoreboard ticking at a faster pace. We are in a conversation with uh, Banuko Rajapaksa. Um, a lot of people uh, will think that uh, this is an area where you should not be uh, uh, focusing too much. But Banuko Rajapaksa has played a lot of T20 cricket in uh, a lot of places around the world. And he has seen the culture of it. Akash Fernando. Unable to cut it off inside the 30 yard circle. The run was anyway on. And he's trying to uh, suggest to the local authorities uh, to try to think about a decent 2020 format for schools. Is that what you are trying to tell? Exactly, because the 20s, the T20s now, going forward, we have seen the interest that people have shown, the spectators have shown towards the T20 game, and they've introduced T10 as well. So uh, that is what, like, we need to like, start it up from the school days as well. down leg side that's a bite yeah because the indo cricket in places like new zealand australia south africa england and now in the middle east has produced uh, test players of the caliber of the war brothers to name a yeah. name a couple only yeah. so this is what uh, people need to understand there's Indo cricket in Sri Lanka, but it's not really being supported. Okay, they are streaking through the singles, which is good. And you are never part of the Indo cricket circuit. No, unfortunately, I never tried Indo cricket. But a couple of days back, one of my friends asked me. You know, it's very, it's such a coincidence because he asked me like, "Do you want to really play Indo cricket and see how it is?" Have I you gone to Have you gone to Thalwatukudu and seen that Australia? Uh, I have seen because my wife's cousin, uh, she and Vijay Tunga, he played. Ah, for okay, 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 okay. <laughs> he played for Indo Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. I have been to uh, two Indo Cricket World Cup. That's yeah. what I'm trying to tell you. So I've seen him play along with other boys. Well played once again. That's well struck into the gap. Single. If you don't get the boundaries, next best thing is look for the singles and rotate the strike. End of 14. Royal elected to bat as 64 for six against St. Thomas's in the final. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Organizers have... Uh, thought it fit and they are offering uh, a purse of 100,000 for the winners, 50,000 for the runners-up. So these two are contesting for that. 
the third team anyway started off uh, with a 25000 money drop trinity one of the areas that there was not much progress was running between wickets there was a situation where particular bowler bowled six wides in the first over i uh, i on my way back i mean on my way to the proper like i i heard that to you like there were six wides he was a bit wayward but it's understandable right these boys are very new to this like this sort of competition and it's been shown like they do know that back of their mind they know that they've been telecast exactly my point these are school boys yeah. you got to understand it's a first time experience for most of them field was well covered up that is serivodana doing the fielding but chanil parera into his last over 3 for 11 he's made a name for himself i i do not know the pass but i'm surprised that i didn't see him in st thomas's colors at the big match the vice captain sitting next to us nidan caldera will probably ask him why <laughs> I uh, know sometimes uh, I don't think we should throw him under the bus now. No, 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 no. We won't, we won't, we won't. But Pereira, we wish you all the best. I think he's a quite a young chap. Oh, yes, yes. Heading towards the third band boundary should have been cut off at first slip. So he's okay. He's lucky. That came off the track, not off the bat. It's bias. It's always good to see young leg spinners coming up the ranks. He's creating uh, all the right sort of. Uh, combinations to keep the opposition under check so this is a thinking bowler that's what that's what impresses me most it's not the three wickets it's how he had uh, bought those wickets and how he has kept the opposition guessing oh. just when i said the sort of variation to get another dot ball end of 15 royal 67 for 6 thank you banuka let's get into it This is Hits Now. Where talents are discovered and superstars are born. I'm very proud to have you on my team where you can solve crimes and fight fires. Must be nice. Laugh with the family and many others. <laughs> Play games and prove you're better. All the latest hits, all the time, all in one place. So star shit right now. Hits Now, the best of US TV. It's time. It doesn't get any better than this. So 15 overs have uh, been uh, completed. Uh, 68 for six. Udante is on uh, 14. Uh, Ushita on one. Final five overs coming up. Can Royal put up a score that uh, they have something to uh, bowl at? That's a wide from uh, Kevin Dudas. Way outside the off stump. If they can get another. 30 to 40 runs in this five overs get over that 100 run mark something to bowl at maybe not enough but uh, psychologically that will uh, really help them it's a right young uh, royal side no no doubt about it learning uh, each game they play getting better each game they play udanta has uh, looked to play a few shots especially through that offside we saw a cracking boundary in the last over 
Coming to the bats, uh, bowling with a bit of pace. Good to see a few people have come in to watch this game. Parents, friends. Just enjoying uh, the evening, uh, the atmosphere at the big club grounds. Gamli, I saw you very impressed with the young uh, uh, leg spinner. I mean, uh, we haven't seen much of him, uh, very little. I, I remember seeing him uh, last year, not this season. Last season when we covered a game here at Mount Lavinia, he played in that match, but uh, hasn't been uh, consistent, hasn't got a consistent run as well. But uh, it seems that he really likes bowling with the white ball. Then uh, the uh, red ball has been very impressive with his variations and uh, with his control. Yeah, any leg spinner. I like uh, to see them, whether it's white ball or red ball, it doesn't matter. We, s we saw one from Trinity, we saw one from um, Young Royalists. So, yeah, I think a lot of teams these days, uh, Ricky, want to um, have that option because that is your wicket taking option. As you would know, slow ball, flick towards mid wicket. A farm ball will allow them to get another single. Yeah, if you can find someone who can land the ball where they want all the time. You know, it gives you that many options and... Uh, what I would like to see uh, from these young role is, is that... Well, we are, we are into the 16th over without just prodding the... Just back yourself and have a go doesn't matter even if you get bundled out for 90 you need to get your mindset in such a way that no matter who you play against that you play according to situation that'll be called a wide he'll have to re-bowl that again yes sir, certainly Roy will have to look to up the tempo uh, Ushit uh, in particular has uh, to uh, give the strike much as possible to Udanta he's batting really well Udanta Ushit is a uh, a very young player still finding his way he too bowled very impressively in that last game and Ushita was uh, uh, going to the non-striker's end was uh, the uh, young man who assisted us in the uh, scoreboard uh, the other day uh, in the commentary box room at the Royal Thurman Ushita was uh, there with us, identifying players, giving us the names. And just uh, happy to see the uh, young kid playing here today. I mean, uh, such a lot of energy, so much enthusiastic. Another way of delivery. As he's bowled both sides of the wicket, uh, coming the Dias has bowled a few wides. Gone for 14 in his second over, one delivery left. Every run will help Royal, no doubt about it. He bowled with uh, a good, uh, good control uh, yesterday in that second game, uh, Ricky, but cannot say the same thing today. Oh. That was the Yorker. Those were the stuff he was bowling yesterday. Another close call, a directed team would have gone. Royal have been involved in a lot of runouts. Yesterday's uh, first game was at St. Thomas's. I think they had four runouts in that innings. But that was a fantastic Yorker. Unplayable right in the block hole. Sixteen completed at seventy four for six. Twenty-four legitimate deliveries left in these innings. If Raw can get a couple of hits and maybe run a ball, you know, 105, 110, it's not a massive total, but it's something to bowl at. Obviously, it, you know, it presents a challenge to the uh, Thomian batters. And uh, Darian, you talk about. Uh, Assistance, my um, co-commentator, my good mate uh, Reshwan's assistant just turned up and 
You could see all his 32 teeth. Darren Diago is a got an opportunity to do some bowling here, probably the bowl two overs maximum. That's well played. Just a deft touch, playing it late, get a couple of runs. Two minutes have got plenty of bowling options. Spinners, yes. fast bowlers, there's a good mix, haven't they? They've got uh, Dias, Fernando, Jatindra, and then the spinners going wide out at the crease. That we are looking to uh, angle it in. This is Darren Diago. He'll have a lot to do in a couple of days' time at the Mustangs Trophy. Had an impressive ball at the big match. Handy player. Those bits and pieces uh, sort of a player. Can bowl a few words, get you some wickets, uh, comes down the order. Can get those 20 30s and very good in the field. We're talking about the Mustangs Trophy. Um St. Thomas uh, will be trying their level best to get that into their, in their hands, don't they? Most certainly. They lost both the last year. So they will be looking to get the Mustangs trophy back. That's a... We'll just get a single. What really happened there? It was going for the big one over mid-wicket. The boundaries have dried up. They got the ones and twos uh, regularly, but they have just not been able to get those fours. They need a few of that. Yeah, the Royalists were dealt a huge blow at the start of the innings, early piece. Lost Yasindu and uh, Hirun. Shane did his part, but from there onwards, they have not been able to put up a partnership that is worth enough to go at a good rate, really. The, you know, they're, like I said, they're bits and pieces, but uh, we haven't seen many big hits. 79 for 6 after 17. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Yes, sir, we were talking about that Mustangs Trophy. It's a big one. It's the 50th Mustangs Trophy coming up on uh, Saturday the 16th at the SSC grounds. Of course, that will be coming to you live on uh, Dialogue TV on uh, Papare.com and all these uh, all the social media platforms of the Papare. So please uh, join us then. That's going to be an exciting game, no doubt. So then a Java, then a two overs for 18. He's uh, got a bit of a ball as well. They probably need to be bowling a few overs at that Mustangs trophy. So getting a ball here, a run. Yeah, I think as the head coach of St. Thomas, he'll have a good headache when, he, when it comes to selecting the 11 because there are a lot of all-rounders in this team. Northern is one. I think it's time to use the long handle and high back lifts and have a go.
Yes, so Danta needs to do something now. Just uh, what uh, 17 deliveries uh, left after this. So need to get the maximum 16 deliveries. Oh, place the pedal sweep. In the last game, too, Royal played a few of these. Didn't get much out of, out of it. I just prefer them trying to go down the ground. Yeah, that's a difference uh, between uh, Shane and the, uh, some of the other batters. Obviously, here we know uh, how talented he is, and uh, Rashvindu, we have seen what he's capable of. So kudos to the um, organizing committee, um, Ricky, organizing this event. That's what you like to see. It doesn't matter, but you need to sacrifice your wicket to a better cause or to your team's success. This is certainly, unfortunately, has to depart. But uh, then that's what you want. You have wickets in hand. Just the two overs remaining after this. Try and go for it. Try to get maximum as possible. Young Oshita has to uh, depart uh, for three. Pinet Gunavadana picking up his uh, first wicket of the innings uh, with the Royal College on 81 for seven. Ninety of Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSC, live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. This was the last wicket. Comfortably taken at deep mid wicket. Chani too, the new batter, the left-hander. It's the uh, first ball, uh, trying to go down the ground. You need to uh, make every delivery count, every run is important. Chani to Kankanamge, out there. Another single. Runs are coming in uh, singles at the moment. 18 completed, 83 for 7. So two overs, 12 balls. They need a lot more than top balls, the Royalists. They need, in, uh, they, they, yeah, they need to identify an area and take a risk. Shani too can hit a long ball. Uh, turned uh, a bit but it was very wide outside the off stump this is exactly why I say uh, Ricky that around that 105 mark it's not huge but it will be a challenge yes sir to get into those three figures is very important I, I just feel psychologically mentally as well yeah, that's right. Go for it. Hit it as hard as you can. You need to watch the ball very closely. And like Gamini said, pick your spots because this is a quite a big boundaries, a big outfield. There are runs on offer. 
This time, did he get it into the gap? Yes, they'll get a single only, though. Now, Udanta, he has to carry on. He's faced 33 deliveries, so he has to ensure that they get a few boundaries now. Well, he's uh, gone. Coming down the track, missed it completely. So, they've so he's takes off the bills. He was yards down the wicket. Intention was good, but he was uh, not really up to the pitch of the ball, not watching it closely, just a wild swing. And uh, Diago picks up uh, another wicket. So, Danta Gangewatta is out for 23, 86 for 8. Royal versus St. Thomas's. 47th Mustang Trophy. 16th March at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So Chanitu is still there. One more delivery left uh, for Darian uh, Diago. Royal College are playing a, a warm-up game as well today, a 50-over game uh, versus Ananda, if I'm right, down at uh, Reed Avenue. Getting some practice before that uh, Mustangs Trophy and St. Thomas as will be taking on Isipatana in a warm-up game. Tomorrow as well. 19 completed, 87 for 8. <laughs> Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So there you go, the final over. Jayawadana will bowl it. A few parents out there watching the game. Can Royal get to the three-figure mark? They need 13. Yenula Bandara is out there. Big hike across the line. They haven't been able to execute those uh, big shots. Uh, that's what I've uh, watched uh, so far in these two days, uh, both Royal and Trinity. These young boys, they haven't been able to, uh, other than the odd one, uh, once again you see another run out, is it? Yeah, they could have had two dismissals in one ball. Did the hard work, Dinet Gunawadana. Got underneath it. Just couldn't hold on to it. Then he had to get up and do the clean up work. Throw was sent in. Yanula would have been out for uh, out by yards, but the bigger keeper couldn't hold on to the ball. At the end uh, they have uh, managed to get two runs. That was a good sound of the bat. 
It's much better the way that he could get it into the gap. I think Dinet Gunawad and wanted to this to get some more runs because that was a well flighted, slow delivery. A okay, capable batsman would have planted that over the fence for sure. So there you go, they will not get to that 100 mark. But the final delivery coming up. Some games played there, then it's going to order now. Another play that delivery gives it a lot of air to get uh, a couple of runs uh, to end the innings. He's out as well. Another run out uh, for Royal. They'll just get only one. But they'll end at a 91 for eight. In their lot at uh, 20 overs. After winning the toss and uh, batting first, it was a good toss to win. But they just didn't have uh, the tempo into the innings. Uh, nobody really played the big innings. Not enough for boundaries. And uh, they've been uh, restricted to 91. Seth Thompson will need 92 for victory. Yeah, pretty similar to that first game in the uh, competition, um, Ricky. I think they are 25 runs short. On a track that is turning, it's keeping lower touch. Uh, it doesn't matter who you're up against, but uh, you know, 125, 130 would have been a very good score on a, on a track like this. Yes, uh, in the first game they got 116. And the St. Thomas uh, didn't get there comfortably. They had to huff and puff a bit. Thanks to Kevin the Dyers who got a few boundaries at the end that they got over the line. Do they felt yes, 120 or 125 will serve them good. There you go, Yasin though, he was the key. He was out for two. Hirun uh, Madish out for one. Uh, Shane uh, batted on. He batted well for his 13. Still started to fall away. Udansa took 34 deliveries for his 23. Nothing much after that. 30 extras once again, helping the total. 20 overs, 90 for 9. As far as two minutes are concerned, you could have make, made a case for pretty much everyone. Akash gave them a good start. Then it's going to who opened the bowling with his right arm off spin. Yatin to just the two overs, very economical. Shanil was very impressive. Four overs, three for 11 was the pick of the bowlers. There you go. These are the highlights of that uh, first 20 overs. This was the early wicket. Since, uh, they needed him to stay there. Since, uh, then uh, Shane Abe Ratna, he got a few runs. He did his best. That was a quality shot. was uh, a brilliantly bowled right in the block hole. Beautifully done. Shane uh, Abirata continued on. Royal kept uh, be losing wickets at the other end. Some soft dismissals as you see. Yeah, that was Shane's dismissal. From that point onwards, Roll really was looking to prod and there were some very good deliveries um, too. Uh, that cut him off, didn't he? Certainly, Shanil Pereira showed all his skill and variation. The young right arm leggy that Googly was a perfect one. Then Diago came into the attack, picked a couple of wickets. So did uh, Guno Wardena. It was uh, the latter part of the innings. This was that run out without for a long way. So we will be back in a short while for the Tomian run chase.
ಮತ್ತೆ ಅಲಕ್ಕೆ ಮತ್ತಿದೆ ಯೂತ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ದಿ ಪಪರೇ ಟಿವಿ ದಿ ಪಪರೇ ಟಿವಿ ಎಚ್ ಡಿ ಡೈಲಾಗ್ ಟೆಲಿವಿಷನ್ ನಾಲಿಕಾ ಅಂಕ ಹೆಟ್ಟ ತುನ ಸಹ ಎಕ ಸಿಎ ವಿಸಿಹಯ ಒಸೆ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾವೇ ಅಂಕ ಎಕೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ನಾಲಿಕಾವ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಸುಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ನಾಮ ಕೀಪ್ಯಾಕ್ ಅಪೋಬ ಆಲಿಂದೇಟ ಪೌಗಿ ದಿನವ ಅದು ದಿನ ಅಪಾಮುಟ ಪಮಿನೆನ್ನೇ ಶ್ರೀಲಂಕಾ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಇತಿಹಾಸ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅರಂಗೇಗ ಇನಿಮಕದಿ ಕಡಲು ಪಹ ಕ್ಲಬಾಗ ಪಲವನ ವೈಗ ಪಾಂದು ಯಾವಣ್ಣ ಅಹು ಅಶಾಂತ ಡಿಬ್ಯಾಮ ಐ ಬೋನ್ ಅಶಾಂತ ಐ ಬೋನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಶಾಂತ ಅಸುವ ದಾಸ್ಗೆ ಏನು ಕಥಾಯ ಕರದ್ದಿ ವೇಗ ಪಾಂದು ಯಾವಣ್ಣಂಗೆ ಪಾರು ದೇಶಿ ಆಕ್ವೆಲ ತಿಬುನೆ ಬಟ್ ಇದಿಂದ ಕೊದೇವು ಕಂಡ ಎಮ್ ಗಾತ್ತು ತೇಮ ಜೋಯಲ್ ಗಾಣ ಮ್ಯಾಲ್ಕಮ್ ಮಾರ್ಷಲ್ ಮೈಕಲ್ ಹೋಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ರೇಲಿಯಾವೇ ಡೆನಿಸ್ ಲಲಿ ನವಸಿರಾಂತೆ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾರ್ಲಿ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನಿ ಇಮ್ರಾನ್ ಖಾನ್ ಬಹು ವೇಗ ಪಾಂದ್ಯವನ್ನ ಸಿಟಿಯ ಮೇ ಆ ತರಿನ್ ಅಪಟ ಪಟ ಕಿರಾದ ಒಬಗೆ ಪ್ರಿಯತಮ ವೇಗ ಪಾಂದ್ಯವನ್ನ ಉನೇ ಕೌದು ಕಿರ ಮಗೆ ನಾ ಅತ್ತರಮ ಪ್ರಿಯತಮ ವೇಗ ಪಾಂದ್ಯವನ್ನ ದಿನ್ನೆ ಕಿಟಿ ಅತ್ತರಮ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾರ್ಲಿ ಸಹ ಡೆನಿಸ್ ಲಲಿ ತಮೈ ಮಗೆ ಮುಕದ ಮಂಗೆ ಏಗೋಲೋಂಗ ತಮೈ ಹುಂಗ ಕೆಲವಟ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಕರನ್ನ ಹೆದು ಮುಕದ ಏಗೋಲೋಂಗೆ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ನೇ ಗಾಯಿ ಏಗೋಲೋಂಗೆ ಏರಿಯಾವು ಮಂಗಿದನ್ನೇ ಮಾಟ ಹುಂಗ ಕುಡಾ ಕಾಲೆ ಬಲಂಗ ಇನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಮಾಟ ಹುಂಗ ಕಾಸ ಹತ್ತಿಬ್ಬ ಈ ತಿಂಗ ಏಗೋಲ ತಮೈ ಮಂಗರ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಯಾ ಕೆರಿಯರ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಲನ ಕೂಡ ಡೆನಿಸ್ ಲಲಿ ಸಹ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ಲಿ ತಮೈ ಮಾಟ ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಯಾ ಕೆರಿಯರ್ ಮಮ ಪೊಡಿ ಕಾಲಿನ ಬೆಲ್ವಿ ದೆನ್ ಒಬ್ಬ ಮಂಗಲ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ತರಂಗಿ ಪಲಮೋಣ ಪಾಂದು ಯಾವಣ್ಣೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಒಬ್ಬ ಏ ತರಂಗಿ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಇನಿಮೇ ಕಡಲು ಅತ್ರಕ್ ಲಬ ಆಗನ್ನು ಮತಕದ ಕಡಲು ಅತ್ರ ಓ ಮಾಡ ಮತಕ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಕಡುಲ್ಲ ಜೆಫ್ ಕುಕ್ ದೇವನಿ ಏಕ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಗೂಚ್ ತುಮೇನಿ ಏಕ ಟ್ಯಾವರ್ ಏ ಅತ್ರವೇನಿ ಏಕ ಇಯನ್ ಬೋತ ಮಾಡ ಮತಕ ಅತ್ರಕ್ ಇಯನ್ ಬೋತಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ನಿ ಏ ದಾಸಲ ಕ್ರಿಕೆಟ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾವಿ ಪತಾಕ ಯೋದೆ ಅಸು ಏಕ ಯಾಶಸ್ ತರಕ ಅವಲಿಂ ಪಾಸ್ಸೆ ಓವ ಕರಂಗರುಣಿ ಸುಪಿರಿ ಕ್ರೀಡೆಗೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿನ ಮೇ ಕಡಲು ಅತ್ರ ಇನ್ನ ಒಬ್ಬಟ ಇಮಹತ್ ಸತುಟಕ್ ಗೆನದನ್ ಕಡಲು ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮೈದಾನೆ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಕಡುಲ್ಲ ತಾಯಿ ಮಗದ ಮೈದಾನೆ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ತರಂಗೆ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಗಲ್ಲ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಂದು ಯಾವಲ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಕೆಟ್ ಟು ಅಲ ಬಾಗೇನಿ ಮೈದಾನೆ ಮಟ ಈಗ ಈ ಈ ಕೆನೆ ಲಕು ಸತುಟ ಮಗದ ಏಕ ಮಂಗಿದಾನೆ ಕಾಡ ಆಪೋಗರಣ ಬೇನಿ ಈಗ ಏನೆ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಏಕೆ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಬೋಲಿದಾಲ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಕಟ್ಟೆ ಗಣ್ಣ ಮಠ ವಾಸನಾವಕ್ ಲಭುಣ ಯಾವಸ್ತಾವ ಇದು ಮಂಗಿ ಯಾವಸ್ತಾವಿಂ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನೆಯಾಗ ಕರಗನ ಈ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಕಡುಲ್ಲ ಲಭಾಗೇನಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಮೈತಾನೆ ಹುಗಾತ್ಮ ಮಠ ಸತುರೇನ ಪುಲಂ ಕಾರಣ ಬಡಿಯಮ್ಮ ತಿಬುಣಿ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ತರಂಗ ಇರಣ ಕೂಡ ಸತುಡದ ಪೀಡ್ ನೇ ನೇ ಅತ್ತರಮ ಅಪಿ ಸತುಡಿ ಇಂಗೇ ಮಗ ದೇವಲಾವೇ ಅಪಿ ನಿಕಂ ಗಣಂಗರಂ ತಿಬ್ಬಿ ನಿಕಂ ಅಂಡರ್ ಡಾಗ್ಸ್ ಲಗಿಲೆ ಈಗ ಏನೆ ಅಪಿ ಬಡಿಯ ಗಣಂಗತ್ತಿ ನೇ ಈಗ ಏನೆ ಅಪಿಟ ಮಂಗಿದಾನೆ ಅಪಿ ಸೈನ್ ಹೊಂದಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಕರಾಟ ಅಪಿ ವ ಜಾತ್ಯಂತರ ಮಟ್ಟಮೇ ನಿಕಂ ಇದನ್ ಲದು ಲದುರು ತತ್ತೇಕ ತಮೈ ಈಗೋಲ್ ಹಿತಾಗ್ನಿ ರೀ ಅಬೈ ಮಂಗಿದಾನೆ ಅಪಿ ಪಲವೇನಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ತರಂಗೆ ತಪಿ ಇತ ಪಲವೇನಿ ದವಸ್ ತುನೇಮ ಅಪಿ ಹೊಂದಟಮ ಕ್ರೀಡಾ ಕರ ಅಪಿಟ ಹೊಂದ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಕ ತಿಬ್ಬ ಮಂಗ ಲಕುಳು ತುನ್ಸಿ ಅಕ್ಕಗೆ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ಅಕ್ಕ ಅಪಿಟ ದೇವ Welcome back to the Big Club Grounds everyone. We are joining with the uh, live telecast of uh, this uh, Unruthen Nikon Challenge Trophy final. Royal College uh, who batted first. They made 91 for the loss of 9 wickets in their 20 overs. Even the home team St. Thomas' College a target of 
But it's it's always a different game when you play these T20s in school level. So, um, but looks quite gettable. Uh, 13 extras uh, in the total of 91. So, um, Royal College they have only scored 78 from their bat. 11 wides, uh, two buys in that uh, 13 extras. So, uh, Royal College they have their work cut out when they come out to defend a very low target of 92 in 20 overs. The required run rate. Around 4.6 for St. Thomas's College. The bowling card for St. Thomas's Akash, Akash 2 for 11, Dinet 1 for 26, Yatindra 2 overs 1 for 4, and uh, Shanil, the leg spinner, he was really, really impressive. He took 3 wickets for 11 runs, and then uh, Darian took 1 for 9 runs. When it comes to partnerships, uh, not much to talk about. Uh, in fact, the 7th wicket partnership is the best one for uh, Royal College, a partnership of 25 runs. So, uh, Manuka, I'm quite sure that uh, you would agree that uh, Shanil, the leg spinner, he was the most impressive out of the lot for St. Thomas's College. Yeah, he was very impressed. You know, there were many questions raised, I think, at least from my end, uh, why he was not part of the big match. But, you know, game is such, but very, very impressed to see the way that the boy was, uh, I mean, he handled the ball. Uh, he was not afraid to toss it up, but uh, I think Royley should have taken more charge against him. But still, you know what, but it should go to him the way that he bowled. The highlights from the uh, Royal College innings. They didn't have the best of starts. Uh, the opening partnership didn't go on that long. And uh, Shane Aberatna he was the only batter who tried to uh, take the initiative and tried to take the attack to uh, St. Thomas's College. Until he was there, there were some boundaries uh, for Royal College, but uh, it was only him. Rest of the batters, they just uh, couldn't support Shane Aberatna. That was the problem for Royal College. Shane Aberatna. He's got a lot of boundaries uh, inside the first 10 overs, but uh, there are a lot of dot deliveries in those uh, first 10 overs, and uh, Shay Nabiratna had no support whatsoever. Here's Shanil. This was uh, his first wicket, the first of three for Shanil. And then uh, the next one, the second wicket, this was the prize wicket of uh, Shay Nabiratna. And the next one, probably the best out of the lot for uh, Shanil. The batter didn't expect that to uh, come in. And then the uh, seventh wicket partnership, a 25 run partnership uh, for Royal College. And if not for that, you know, it would have been way worse for Royal College. They somehow ended up with 91 thanks to that uh, seventh wicket partnership. So St. Thomas's College, they need to uh, give themselves a lot of credit for making sure that uh, Royal College didn't get to that uh, 100 run mark. Now yesterday in that first game, Barnuka, Royal College, they made 116 and they almost made a match out of it. St. Thomas's College, uh, they needed 22 of the last two overs before Kamil Duras came in and uh, struck 15 of three. See, that's what, like, T20 is always very unpredictable and 22 in the last two overs, it's always, I would say it's a bowler's game. But still, uh, you never know what's going to happen. 91, it, it looks like very gettable, as I said before, but with the lineup that St. Thomas have and if, if, if Royal is good, make a match of it like they need to like get a couple of because in the power play initially that's the only way that they could come back to the game but you know it's all in all like it's i mean i'm very happy with the of course the tournament uh, organized by all the schools and the competition all the way that the boys have competed it's it's you know it's such a nice uh, i mean it's eye candy for me coming in this evening it's very hot out there credit should go to the boys again you know putting such an effort to make it interesting out there as well Yes, indeed, Baruk. And also the fact that uh, they're giving these boys the exposure to play in the 2020 format, because uh, that's something that the uh, current set of school figures doesn't get. So, uh, I mean, back in your days, Baruk, the exposure was given to you from the school days. There were a lot of tournaments. There was the school tournament happening, and there were some leagues as well uh, back in the day when it comes to the T20 format. So it's really great to see these uh, three schools getting the opportunity to uh, play in this uh, shortest format of the game. St. Thomas's College opening batters all set to go out. Now this is uh, the all-renovated uh, St. Thomas's College Big Club grounds, uh, Baruka. The facilities up to the international stands. Uh, it's, uh, look at how great the facilities are. Definitely, I think when you play around the world, when you play at least around all the clubs, the top clubs in Sri Lanka, St. Thomas's being a school. 
think they could definitely compete with all the big clubs. It's nice to see like this initiative done by St. Thomas's and hopefully all the other schools you know could learn something out of it and I'm sure it would have costed them a lot but still they did it for the pupils and it's it's a good initiative. Yes, indeed, Barnaby. It's an investment for to nurture all the upcoming cricketers, uh, not only from St. Thomas's College, because all the schools who will visit here, they will enjoy those facilities as well. So uh, kudos to St. Thomas's College uh, for getting together this fantastic uh, facility. So uh, the official beginning of uh, the uh, chase will be at 3.45. So we will go to a short commercial break and we will be back with the chase from St. Thomas's College. They need 92 runs to win this uh, final of uh, the Andhra Tennakorn Challenge Trophy. Royal vs St. Thomas's 47th Mustang Trophy 16th March at SSE Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues Trinity vs St. Anthony's 15th, 16th March at Askeria. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel. Richmond vs Mahinda. 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialogue TV channel 127. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel Richmond vs Mahinda 15th and 16th March at Gore Live on Dialogue TV channel 127 Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two Test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 22nd and 23rd March at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's 50th One Day Encounter 6th April at SSE Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel March Madness is back! Are you ready for the Big Match Madness? March Madness, live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Sri Lanka.
ලංකා ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායමේ බංග්ලාදේශ තරග සංචාරය 2024 එක කර T20 තරග තුනක් එක් දින තරග තුනක් සහ ටෙස්ට් තරග දෙකක් මාර්තු 4 වනදා සිට අප්‍රේල් 3 වෙනිදා දක්වා ඩයලොග් ටෙලිවිෂන් ද පාපරේ TV OC සචි විවනරබන්න ඇක්ටිවිට් කිරීම SMS හෝ මයි ඩයලොග් ඇප් මගින් ඩයලොග් ජාතික ක්‍රිකට් කණ්ඩායමේ නිල අනුග්‍රාහක ඔයාලගේ කම්පැනි එකේ ඔයාලගේ ක්ලබ් එකේ ඔයාලගේ ස්කූල් එකේ යූත් එකට සෙට් වෙන ඕනම ඉවෙන්ට් එකක් the papara tv එකෙන් මුළු ලංකාවටම පෙන්වන්න අපි ලෑස්ති ඔයාලත් ලෑස්තිද අපිට කතා කරන්න the papara tv the papara tv hd dialog television nalikaanka 63 saha 126 ossse sri lankawe anka eke krida nalikawa trinity versus an anthony 42nd one day encounter 22nd march at St Anthony's ground live on the papara sri lanka's number one sports channel sri lanka ye krida vikashane mitik at novindi navyathama attakim sabagen sri lanka ve anka eke krida nalikawa The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Sevisi Hai Ose, Vindinna, Narabanna, Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kweda Nalika Ava. Youth Dekar Sette Na, Olaat Kya Mati De? Youth Plus. The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Sevisi Hai Ose, Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kweda Nalika Ava. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papara TV HD and Dialog View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Martwe Unmadeya Sudanamda Big Match Wasanteta Pibarwari Visi Hatrada Sita Saji Viva The Papara TV The Papara TV HD Dialog View app Saha The Papara.com Sri Lanka ve anka ke krida nalikawa Thurston versus Isipatana 44th limited overs encounter 17th march at Pisara Live on the Papare TV HD Dialog View app and the papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel TV and Dialog View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. It's quite an atmosphere. Rugby's greatest championship of all the set. Royal versus St Thomas's 47th Mustang Trophy 16th March at SSE 
Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialog View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues, Trinity vs St. Anthony's. 15th, 16th March at Askeria. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel Richmond vs Mahinda 15th and 16th March at Gore Live on Dialogue TV channel 127 Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel 119th Lovers Quarrel Richmond vs Mahinda 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialogue TV channel 127. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. The history maker of sport, innovative, incomparable, unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's 22nd and 23rd March at SSC Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Catch the excitement real time Be up to date with it all Let us capture your milestones Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's. 50th One Day Encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue Viewer, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. March Madness is back. Are you ready for the big match madness? March Madness, live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Sri Lanka cricket kandai me Bangladesh tarag sanchari te da haswi sihatara ukkakara T20 tarag tunak ek din tarag tunak saha test tarag dekak mar tu hatara wana dasita april tun meli dadakwa dialogue television the papare tv oc sachi vivanaraban activate kirim sms ho my dialogue app magin dialogue jatika cricket kandai me nila anugrahaka Allagi company ke, allagi club me ke, allagi school ke, youth ke kada set karna onam event ka. The popular TV ke mulu Lanka wa tempen na na api lasti, allat lasti the api ta kata kara. The popular TV, the popular TV HD, dialogue television nali kaang ka hatha tune saha.
back here, everyone, to the uh, final of the Armbrothin Nakon Challenge Trophy between uh, St. Thomas College and Royal College. Royal College, who better at first? They could only make 91 for the loss of 9. We could see in their 20 overs. Now, the home team, St. Thomas College, they have the uh, chance to go all the way and win the Armbrothin Nakon Challenge Trophy. They need just 92 runs and the required run rate just 4.6. And uh, joining with me once again after the break is Banuka Raja Baksha Banuka. Target of 92. If it was up to you to uh, give the instructions to the boys, what will be your instructions? Will they? Should they try to go like all guns placing from the word, word go? Or should they try to go play like 10, 15 boys out? So, you all my expertise from St. Thomas's end, is it? Yes. <laughs> okay. So for me, when it's always a low score, I think they should just go all guns plays like low scores are always quite tricky and uh, the momentum is quite important if they do not uh, show any intent they'll be struggling because this track is quite slow as well so hopefully you know the Tomians were instructed to go hard at it the first six overs if they could just get about 30-40 runs uh, at least uh, that will be the j game changing moment for the Thomases but coming back to Royal is I think they need to take a couple of wickets early if not the game is done for them <laughs> yeah, Royal College, they have to believe, uh, don't they? They have to believe that although they have only 92 runs to defend here. Now, yesterday, they have to remember that uh, they almost made a match out of 116. Yes, it's even 24 runs uh, shorter than that, but they have to believe uh, in their bowlers that they can uh, defend this total again uh, against St. Thomas's College. And you can't forget that it's a final, so 92 might look like a 130 for them. Just a few moments away from the uh, first delivery of the second innings in this final of the Amrath Indicon Challenge Trophy. Sehandu to bowl the first over for Royal College. Just the first delivery. St. Thomas, they need 92 from 20 overs. Defended to the leg side by uh, Sadeo Soiza. Sadeo Soiza, of course, uh, scored half century in the... Uh, three-day encounter against uh, Royal College which ended last weekend. Yeah, Sadev sound like looked like a quite exposed player like he was was a very um, um, it was a mature inning when he got the 15 runs or 83 runs if I'm not mistaken in the first inning and uh, it l so this will be like a good momentum for them to go into the Mustangs trophy just playing against Royal probably not the same side they're going to face but it matches a match for them. It's more difficult, different than a different than playing uh, just be along with the boys. Of course, the Royal College first still inside. They're playing black practice match today against Zion, the college. A 50 over practice match, uh, the uh, first 11. This is uh, more of a second string Royal College side who are playing in the uh, under 10 Nikon Challenge Trophy. That's the handle. A great stroke from uh, Avinash. That will be the first boundary. No, some good effort uh, in the deep. Prevents the first boundary, but uh, the batters, they will uh, get some uh, very good runs. Here's that uh, replay. Timed it and uh, placed it to uh, perfection, Avinash. Unfortunately, that was the uh, part of the ground. Uh, the outfield is not that fast, uh, so that he didn't get the uh, boundary there. Avinash deserved a four. Shut. Wow. What a take. Almost, almost. almost. I thought he managed almost. to get a haul of that. Even he was uh, disappointed. Almost. What an effort that was. That's an A for an effort. That's how we say it. But that's what we want to see from the boys. From school that it's so like going all at it. It doesn't matter what the result could be like. Even if I were catch, you'd even drop it. Just going for it. Showing the intent. Intent is not just showing when they bat. It's by the ball and field as well. So that's that's some nice feeling effort by the fielder over there. And also, Banuka, I think that's the uh, youngest man on the field as well. Ushi Dehile Peruma. Great effort. 
And I believe that he actually caught it, but then uh, while landing, he unfortunately dropped the ball. Yeah, I've seen that happening many times. When you, when you don't land properly and when you hit your elbow, the ball tend to pop out. So very unfortunate by the fielder, but a brilliant effort nonetheless. Yeah, Sandeep facing the final delivery of the pistol down the leg side. It'll be called a wide. Now in defending uh, such a low total, Royal College, they really can't afford to uh, bowl much uh, wides like this. They can't afford to give away extra runs because they have uh, very little to play with. They might just have they might not have the biggest total in the on the board, but still they need to keep attacking and get a couple of wickets early on. Takes a quick single, uh, St. Thomas' as openers. They have uh, shown their intent in the very first over. So six runs from the first over. They need 86 more in 19 overs. And here's uh, Oshita Ileperuma, the young leg spinner, brought into the attack uh, just in the second over. He bowled leg spinners in the previous game. I'm wondering whether he's bowling some quick deliveries. Uh, it's a pretty here. interesting move if the left hand is facing and the leg spin is on the attack in the power play, especially. So uh, let's just have, let's just wait and see what the results would be. It's going to be pretty interesting for the batsman. Ustele Peruma bowled a brilliant spell of bowling against uh, Twenty College in that uh, third game. The game that happened in the morning. Took three wickets uh, for 11 if I'm not wrong. Tucked away to the leg side this time. There's no protection in the deep so uh, some work to be done. They get back for two. Vanga, you have played a lot of uh, T20 cricket all around the globe. Oh, well, what's the beauty with the leg spinners when it comes to the uh, white ball game? I mean, in the red ball game, we have not seen much leg spinners after Shane Warne. You know, leg spinners, uh, they have not done much. Imran Tahir did the bit as a test bowler, but uh, it's always the T20 format mainly when it comes to the leg spinners who, where they have shined. See, see it's an interesting topic, Lakshmi, because uh, I've, I've spoken to many of the... Uh, top league players and for them there's something with the white ball they tend to have some more control over the white ball than the red ball that's what i hear from them and many of the school boys also that i played and like played along with they i mean they prefer the white ball when when it comes to leg spinner but you know your experience are always tricky and they are the wicket takers they could go for runs but just a couple of maybe even bad balls could get them a wicket or two so that's the beauty of being a leg spinner I mean, I think it was uh, Shanil who took the three wickets for St. Thomas's College, the leg spinner, the young leg spinner. And uh, when we talked, we talked about him with the uh, vice captain of St. Thomas's College, what he said was that uh, he didn't bowl that well with the red ball, but here uh, with the white ball, he's bowling really well. So we'll come to that uh, in the next over. End of the second one, St. Thomas's College, nine for no loss. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC, live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So Sehandu will continue. They tried the spin bowler from the other end, uh, Royal College. I, I, I like the uh, tactic from the Royal is opening up with spinners because we saw how the wicket behave when the Royalies were batting and even in the last over Tomians went along with the spinners so it, it, it's not the easiest wicket to get, get runs when the spinners are on in the attack so I mean I, I like that tactic so hopefully they could you know keep building the pressure and get a couple of wickets early on. 
play and a miss uh, in the earlier delivery. Some movement away from the uh, left-handed batter. Uh, Banu, it's been 14 years, uh, I think, since you played that Under-19 World Cup where Shadra Pedis captained. I know uh, one of the best Under-19 sides that Sri Lanka produced. No, I think in the last two decades, uh, only two Sri Lankan sides managed to go into the semi-finals. This time, another very close call. Another brilliant effort, but uh, Royal College unable to hang on once again. I think going back to 2010 and 9, I think the main reason for us to do well as under-19 boys, the level of cricket or the quality of cricket that we played was really high. And I'm not saying that it has gone down, but the intent, uh, the coaches, what they instructed us was, you know, to be very positive. At that time, the T20s were just introduced. Uh, I mean, to mention a couple of names from Nalai Devarajan to Garmini Perra, who is commentating with us at the moment, and even Shulak Amara Singh, we had, like, as, as Royal is what I'm saying, like, even in school, school era, like, we had the best of coaches who would want us to be very positive in our approach. So that's a bit of a difference that I see from then and now. And maybe that could be one of the reasons that we didn't do as well as we expected in the 19s. Uh, that under-19 team you know, almost got over the Australians in that semi-final. I think it was Mitchell Marsh who captained Australia in that World Cup. Yes, he got a brilliant 95, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, We had an opportunity to get him out when he was in, in his 40s. But that, those mistakes do happen. But the good thing is like we learned the lessons and we went forward with a positive mind. Uh, everyone was quite sad in the dressing room, but still... We had one of the best sides to compete and, and we were actually the favourites to win the World Cup at, in that year. As you mentioned, some of the names, uh, you were there. Chatura Piris was there, he was the captain as I mentioned. Udaraj Asundar was the opening batter if I'm not wrong. There was uh, Rushan Jalil, I think the leg spinner. Rushan Jalil was the off spinner along with Madhukali and Patranagi. And uh, we had Kithran Mitanagi. Danush Gunatilaka played along with Kithran Mitanagi played. And we had some top names, Akshay Fernando. Um, so yeah, we had one of the brilliant, brilliant and 19 sides. Unfortunately, we couldn't make it to the top and win the trophy. But I mean, we made some. We we actually won some good bilateral series. We were the first team to go to Australia and win a series. This international under 19. So shot. Time did well again, but uh, straight to the field. Eh? So uh, St. Thomas College. 13 for Norris after 3. Live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. St. Thomas's College, they require 80 more runs uh, to win this final. Ushita Ileberuma will continue. Straight to the field. A slight appeal from the uh, keeper and the bowler, but uh, nothing from the umpire. This is good from Royal, man. This is re really good from Royal. This is the pressure that they need to build, and if they could get a couple of wickets, and if St. Thomas is going to get blocked on in this such manner, like it's not going to be easy for them to recover after this. If they lose a couple of quick wickets and Royal is in the game, trust me. Oh, loud appeal, a direct hit there, but uh, not good enough to uh, get that first regret for Royal College. As you mentioned, St. Thomas' College, they'll definitely be feeling the pressure a bit because the dot balls they have been building. So if Royal College can get a wicket or two now, it will definitely make this uh, encounter very, very interesting. So far this start, it has been good for Royal College, but uh, to make it even better, they need some wickets inside the power play. So this is what pressure does, like they need to make quick, 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 quick runs and they would tend to like take a couple of more chances and two left-handers batting 
uh, she, she's a bowling, being a leg spinner, bowling off spin, that is also some sort of talent that he's in control of. So, St. Thomas is, I would prefer to see, I want to see them just taking the attack onto him. Slightly quicker delivery this time by uh, Ile Peruma. So the end of another very good over, just uh, two runs from it, St. Thomas' College, 13 for Nolos after four. Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. This is the final of the Amrath Hindukon Challenge Trophy and uh, talking about uh, finals. Good delivery. Now talking about finals. The man who is doing commentary with me, he played one of the best knocks in the tournament final ever in the Asia Cup uh, two years ago. One of the best T20 knocks uh, ever for Sri Lanka, hands down. So Banu for Sri Lanka, they were, Sri Lanka were really under pressure. At one moment, I think we were 50 for 5 at one point. 50 yeah, for 5 I think when I went to that, it was uh, 3 down for 12. But I had the help of uh, Dhananja De Silva. You know, he played a crucial knock of 20. Oh. And, uh, yeah, we were 40 odd for 5 runs, if I'm not mistaken, again. And uh, the partnership that we built along with uh, Vanid Vasuranga was the most important moment of the match. Because for me to just bat till the 20 overs, Vanidu made my life easy. Uh, got a couple of chances. It happens on a good day. And uh, of course, I think that, that win was a boost for the whole nation. It was down the leg side. An appeal as well. That's not signaled a while as well. So uh, probably had some connection with his uh, iPad. And suddenly it was a great, great moment for Sri Lanka because uh, Sri Lanka, we were searching for something big during those uh, days, especially in 2022. Those chances, uh, Royal College, hard chances, great effort by Royal College, but uh, they needed at least one of those uh, to suck. And that's the boundary, Sadiq Soiza. A welcome boundary for St. Thomas' College. I think it was after at least around uh, two and a half overs that they managed to score a boundary. Even with that shot, I don't think it was convinced you played through the gap, but still, given the fact that they faced so many dot balls and not rotating the strike makes him go hard at it now. But this could be the opportunity for the draw at least to get one or two wickets. But that's actually good hit him by him. He's playing the field. And that's good. that's a good stop by the fielder. That's how they're so trying to make use of the power play, making sure that he got it over the fielder at the edge of the circle. Didn't have the legs to go to the boundary. Once again, a very good fielding effort. Royal College giving their all here in the field. So Thomas have to realize that and understand that power play is very crucial for them. It's just going to get harder, the ball is going to get softer and the ball is going to keep low on this track. So they need to like capitalize the cap power play as much as possible. As I said, 35-40 runs would make them win easily. So that's the end of the fifth over. St. Thomas' College, that's 21 for no loss. They need 71 more runs in 15 overs to clinch the Amrath Hindukon Challenge Trophy. Come back, uh, St. Thomas is needing 71 runs to win. 
not been very easy. It's a 21 for Novigat uh, in the fifth over uh, after five overs. So they won 15 and Avinash just on five. A few close calls. The, uh, ball played in the air, a few catches and a uh, couple of runouts. But all good uh, so far, everything in contact. So, Charitu Kankanam Gay, the left armor coming over the wicket to the right. And uh, that's uh, flicked in there again. Uh, running towards the boundary, as passes the boundary. So, score moves on to 25 now. As I uh, say, good uh, evening to Gamini Perra. Good evening, Gamni. Hello, Michael. Hello, everyone. Chani to the right, left arm fast bowler. Well, he had an over to forget in that uh, last match, so they were very brave to give him the ball again. You know, being a youngster, it's not easy to overcome those situations, but he gets his line wrong again. Yeah, this is exactly what uh, what happened uh, in the previous game. He gets his release all wrong, falling across. There you are. You need to finish forward at a straight line. But the push it down the leg side, I think. Still on the leg side. Oh, it have been gone for all money. Had an opportunity to throw the stumps down. Still uh, pulling on the pads. Pretty lucky. But to have given more than one. Another wide. So two in the over so far. Got much better on the stumps, flicked away. Yeah, young Rawl is fielded very well yesterday. Uh, you know, everything right about what they did, although they lost the match by a whisker, really. But today, it's the other way around. Couldn't post a total that's good enough for the bowlers to have a go at, but, you know, dropped a couple of early chances. But well, that was, uh, I wouldn't say it was easy chances, Ramni. Good effort by the fielders. Uh, like you said, this stage uh, you need to take everything that comes. Especially in a final, try to win it. That's a better delivery. One thing that I can assure you that most of these guys have come from their junior days playing in finals. Royal have been winning junior tournaments day in day out. So they know how to play a final. They know not a lot of room for mistakes over the last what, three or four years. They've been winning the under 13, division one, division two, under 15, division one, division two. So there are a lot of guys who have been there on the last day of the competition. 29 for no loss after 6. Royal versus St. Thomas's. 47th Mustang Trophy. 16th March at SSE. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
There is the man himself, Mr. Anurat Tendakon. On his left side is another legend, Rithomian, when it comes to Sri Lanka cricket. Service that they have rendered to uh, this country, you can't, you can't measure it. And uh, Michael Tisera. So. Now you can match it, I don't. Like I said in the just before lunch, they don't make them like that anymore. Everything changes, Gummy. But those guys were true legends and true thorough gentlemen when they played the game. Oh, that's pretty close, I'll tell you. Pick the wrong length to sweep. Be too full. Chirat, who has had two good outings with the ball in hand. Even yesterday, that was way too full. See how his hands were bent as he tried to sweep? When he's that close to you, you need to. The only thing you can do is to paddle, which is fine. Yeah, I think if you just took one step forward, you would have gone over the bowler's head. Premeditated, most probably. Gets right across the stumps again. They're all going to come back into this game with two or three because this is one guy that they have to have bowling from one side. Not afraid to fly it again. Trying to run on a misfield. Throw was a little wide. Very close call. I mean, better the finding ways to get out. They always said, never run on his field. Mm. The dive saved him. So, four up balls, bit of pressure building up on Avinash. That's why he's eager to get off to the other end. Just a single towards long off. That will calm his nerves. Nevertheless, it has been a good over from uh, Chirat. The required run rate and the current run rate, there's not a lot of difference, uh, is there? Very good first over from uh, the young Royal of Spinner Chirat. 31 for no loss. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. It's a beautiful afternoon or evening, I should say, here at the school by the sea. There's a nice breeze coming from left to right. And always, always here. It's always good to your uh, good to your eye. The surrounding, the facilities, even the ground, uh, Gamini, and these fences. Oh, there was an opportunity. He had to time his dive. All going away from the fielder. I'll tell you, if they can get two quick wickets going to be very interesting um, already into the 8th over just going at just about 4 runs over yeah, there, is a, there are a couple of singles being added to the total but not convincing by any means a lot of miss hits this, wickets will get, this surface will get uh, slower and lower as the ball gets older That was nicely played from Avinash. Yeah, 
thing is they can do it in singles and still win the game. And the wickets is what they'll need. There's an opportunity. Taken. Finally. So Sadev Soiza has perished thanks to a very good bowling partnership from Ch Chirat and Dushen. Okay, I see how his hands are finishing towards the leg side, so he's not really presenting the face of the bat towards the spinning side. Not the best technique when you want to take a high catch, lost his balance, but he held on to that. Tomians losing their first. That was a get out shot, wasn't it? Um, the pressure was building. So he's uh, normally a very aggressive customer, but here he's been picked back with some ac accurate bowling. 18 of 27, 34 for 1. You think I'm setting all I Youth Plus. The Papare TV, the Papare TV HD. Dialogue television Nalika Anka had a Tunisaha, Ekasia Visihayo say. Sri Lankawe Anka K. Krida Nalikawa. Dinat Gunodhan is a new batter. Another left hander. Good piece of fielding there. End of another over, 8 gone, 34 for 1. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. Chira from the newly built pavilion end. A decent job. I think they'll need to continue him with all his overs uh, right along. Try and get the breakthrough. Finally, a single. So 57 of 70, that's the equation. Gets his front pad across, helps it towards that short fine leg. Running away to the boundary, just keeps it inside. And batters are back for the third. Good running there. Managing to get uh, three runs. Yeah, good order. Using all his experience and flip playing the field. After that shot, the deep square leg has moved to a 45 position on the onside. But that's okay because I wouldn't mind asking the batter to go square across the turn. It's always difficult to play a conventional sweep shot against the turn. Then helping it along towards fine leg, that's the easier option. So you get some protection over there, then the moment they try to go square, you're right in the game. Very well fielded. Definitely saved one f for the team. They are throwing themselves out. Uh. Tarul 
feeling at the vital position next to cover. If you look at it, I mean, required run rate creeping up more than the current run rate. Moment that goes up about six and seven, can batters can go into a panic. Two balls before that they took three, but this was very poor running. Both batters were ball watching. So after very uh, two tight overs, this is a productive over for St. Thomas's. Very lucky, Dinet Kuno Thirty nine for one after nine. Thurston versus Isipatana. Forty fourth limited overs encounter. Seventeenth March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app, and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. So we are one over away from the halfway mark. Rola looking to do the unimaginable thing to defend this 97, 91 rather. And is to get uh, some quick wickets. The Tomians will uh, just get to that total. Wide of all stuff, played under the leg. I know Royal is uh, pretty young, but they don't think out of the box and try and block that area and try and get Dinat Gunawardhan to do something else. So they put a fielder there now. There are, uh, at times, the some balls are keeping low, so it's not that you, you can really pick it up early. Again. Again. Hesitation created by a very good piece of fielding. Well, he's throwing themselves all over the place. Trying to put some pressure. Again, a diving stop, just one run. That's well picked up. There was enough bounce for him to uh, have a go at it. Must be that boundary. And that really is a lot of pressure. Suddenly, this has become a very productive over for St. Thomas's. You think it's set, isn't it? All that came with Youth Plus. The Papare TV. The Papare TV HD. Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatha Tunasaha Eka Sevisi Hayo Se. Sri Lankawe Anka Eke Krida Nalika Ava. So 10 overs completed. 48 for 1. This is uh, the new infrastructure here at the big club grounds, the new pavilion of course overlooking this uh, lovely ground. These are the dressing rooms. Marvellous. Uh, it is uh, towards the international standard. 
as you see very large both uh, the home for the home team and uh, for the visiting teams i mean the uh, facilities the washrooms uh, whatever you may call it and that's the dining area as well we have been we have been over the last two days a uh, privilege to get uh, good meals the uh, indonets now all these have uh, been uh, refurbished reconstructed it has uh, uh, the best, uh, certainly the best uh, facility when it comes to schools uh, in the country here at uh, the big club grounds for cricket, rugby, soccer, athletics, you, you name it. It's all happening here. So 91 for 9 is what Roa got. 10 thompsons after 10 overs, 48 for 1. 44 for 60 deliveries. As soon as that gap between runs and balls uh, narrow down, they're going to set a bit of a panic uh, uh, button. They have 9 wickets in hand. And I'd love to see at least one player just going after the ball. You know, take the initiative. Uh, Sadev uh, Soiza and uh, Avinash Fernando have given uh, St. Thomas the start they probably wanted. Now it's um, uh, to uh, Dinit uh, Gunawadana. I, I, I probably would think that uh, he could be the difference. So Chirat into the attack. Into his the third over, just given away seven runs. Then it's good than a 10 of 8. Avinash has uh, taken 26 deliveries, uh, the youngster, for his uh, 17. But now he needs to get, get going. The current run rate, required run rate, yes, uh, is almost the same. But uh, that required run rate, uh, once it gets up to 6, will certainly create a, a bit of a uh, panic. Not an easy surface to bat on. The surface is uh, a bit slow. The ball is not really coming on to the bat. It's made shot making a bit uh, difficult especially when you're going for those big hits and that is why avinash fernando needs to bat sensibly he's uh, seen the ball he has gauged uh, the uh, pace of the wicket and uh, now he needs to play the supporting role this is good bowling though they're bowling stump to stump keeping it tight the young royal side, I mean, uh, they just made 91 runs, but uh, they are certainly not uh, letting it go easily. They are fighting hard. They are staying in the game. Now, this is what, what you want to see, the fighting spirit. That's in the other, and that's into the gap. Now, that's a good shot. Then it's going to work, then using his feet, and he didn't try to hit it too hard. He didn't try to hammer that ball out of the ground. All he did was uh, place it into the gap. And uh, with his uh, big uh, ground here, open spaces, Good placement, four runs. This is why I said that uh, Dinit Gunodhana is important uh, for this run chase and uh, why uh, Avinash uh, Fernando should keep his end up. Yes, he's looking to come down the track now. A bit more positive. Use your feet against the spinners. Smother the spin. Yeah, the match between Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, the first one day international. Lot at stake to get to a early lead. 11 overs completed, 53 for 1. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 50th One Day Encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Paparay TV HD. Dialogue Viewer and the Paparay.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Harita was uh, speaking uh, about Sri Lanka Bangladesh. 185 for 4 in uh, 35 overs. Sri Lanka winning the toss and batting first. Kusal Mendis unbeaten on 56. Janit Lienagi unbeaten on 31. 30s uh, to Patum Nisanka and Avishka Fernando as well. So it's uh, a good game out there. Yeah, they need to uh, play well uh, over the next 15 overs if they can go at uh, 7 and over. That's 100 runs, which would uh, take them close to. 300 according to the uh, run rate, but they would want to cross that uh, threshold of 300. Yes, Dinit Gunawadana is playing uh, 
a few uh, cameos here. He's capable of doing that. He's in good touch after the big match. Yes, uh, he will have to play a, a much different role. Uh, it's good to see my uh, cousin out there, Harita, with her kid, uh, young Thomian, watching the game. <laughs> I just meant I, I didn't know she was here. That's the wrong one, Ricky. <laughs> Dushan Uduala came in for this game and he's been the successful bowler so far for Royal. The very good uh, Dinit Gunodhan is making uh, Avinash Fernando respond to his call. Running between wickets is very important. So this is good, uh, not wasting too many deliveries, not to accumulate the, the dot ball category. So yes, uh, 4.16 the required run rate. Still uh, below and uh, still St. Thomas is in the control of this game at nine wickets in hand, but certainly they've taken their time. Royal uh, are fighting hard, 12 overs, 59 for one. Hands up! Welcome to the RIPD. Well, bounty hunters for rogue souls that escaped judgment. I got this. Our job is to find them and send them to where their ticket got punched. Hmm? Hell, Roy, oh. we send them to hell. Oh! That was unexpected. R.I.P.D. 2, Rise of the Damned. So there you go, Dinit Gunawadhan and 18, Avinash on 20. 33 of 48 deliveries. St. Thomas is uh, still ahead. But they'll be looking to try and finish this as soon as uh, possible. There is the young uh, leggy, uh, uh, oh sorry, the young off spinner, but uh, has uh, a very interesting action. The Ushita, room, is it? Uh, Ushita. Ushita ile peruma. Yes, you're right, Harita. Very interesting action, isn't it? At that uh, point of uh, delivery. Has he sort of his uh, left hand uh, sticking out? I think uh, Avinash was given a life. Wait to see whether we could s pick it up or was it uh, on his body? Oh, once again, Balloon India, leading edge. This boy bowls uh, sort of a quickish off cutters. Uh, and uh, when he's gripping and turning, it's not going to be easy, you could see. Played well in the uh, second level big match too, Avinash Fernando. So we may probably get to know more about him in the years to come. Yes, sir. Uh, so Dinit Gunawad then are trying to be cheeky, get some bat on it. Walking across his stumps, paddling it away towards the fine leg. Yes, sir, uh, Avinash Fernando, and uh, if, I, if I'm correct uh, in the game. Uh, against Trinity in the first 11 game, got a superb 60. He was very fluent in that innings. Then uh, he didn't play the next game against the St. Peter's, neither did he play against Royal in the big match. But like you said, he has been a prolific run scorer at second 11. So probably knocking on the door to play that uh, Mustangs trophy in uh, a few days' time. 
Yeah, there are there have been some uh, outstanding performances. The most surprising was uh, Shanil Pereira's three wicket haul. Surprised almost everybody. See, when Dinit uh, Gunawardana decides to uh, rotate the strike, he does it in uh, a very, very elegant fashion. So, 13 completed, 64 for one. Sundays in March, we bring you a wholesome lineup of wonderful family entertainment on Hits Movies. Let's go! Revisit the famous Stone Age people. Oh, all right. Have fun with talking ants and other lovable animals who are part of the family. Meet the first male fairy godmother who's doing his best. So sit with your family at a tub of popcorn every Sunday on Hits Movies. So, Shita will continue. Those are the parents uh, watching the game uh, from above there. Next to the swimming pool entrance. Ah, oh, that's a big one. Has he got enough of it? No. That's a good catch. He didn't make it. Really, he tried his best. I thought he held on to it. It's a good effort. You should applaud the effort as well as the wicketkeeper did. Certainly, he came for it. Didn't give up. Yasin Dudisanayaka, the captain. Avinash batting with uh, a lot of freedom. Both batters on 20. It's also good to see some of the parents, even of uh, the Royal College players uh, here. I, I, I earlier met uh, Yasin Duzza dad as well. And uh, he had come to watch the game. Certainly looking at these youngsters, following them. That is great to see. This is what you want to see. Good use of his feet. Beautifully played that one. That was a uh, good cricketing shot, you know. With a six, with a four, the umpire is waiting. Is a uh, signal for umpire Hathor Singh. But that was uh, beautifully executed. Uh, good to the eye. Dinit Gunawadana, look at the use of the feet. Didn't try to hit it hard. Once again, just timing the ball, getting it into the gap between the two fielders. The placement was what he was uh, looking at and executed it really well. He certainly can play some very good cricket in shots 27 of 21 he's batting with complete authority and complete freedom they need to go out, huh? yes sir now they are going about their business really well 21 of 37 now required the current run rate has increased, the required run rate has dropped. Fourteen overs completed seventy one for one. All like a company, all like a club, all like a school, youth ticket set and all an event. The Papa Reti Waking, Mulu Lanka, and Penan, Apilasti. All at last, see this. Apita Katagara. The Papa Reti TV, the Papa Reti TV HD. Dialogue television, Nalika Anka had a Tunusaha, Eka CVC Hyose, Sri Lankawe, Anka K, Krida Nalika. My Perera has been padded up uh, for quite some time. He's been waiting uh, to bat a little. He's been waiting for two days. He's not got a game. Just to uh, probably hit this white ball. Yes, St. Thomas will play a practice match tomorrow against AC Patana, but... That's a good side from Havelock Park. Havelock Town, rather. Yes, and uh, they too. They're having their one-day encounter versus uh, Thurston on Sunday at the Oval. So it's a good warm-up for them too. Excellent running between wickets. Very purposeful now. Dinit Gunodhan in particular. He's moved to 30. They want to have an early finish. Uh, Andro Tenekon, Michael Tissera, two great names for cricket. As far as St. Thomas and uh, Old Ceylon is concerned, are here. It's uh, good to have those uh, two gentlemen around. I mean, you can't ask for more. Two of uh, the greatest uh, 
Cricketers uh, to play for St. Thomas's and then go on to play for Ceylon. Former captains, national captains. Still following the game closely, watching at every opportunity possible. Both of them were involved in that um, inaugural 50 over ICC tournament. It was actually a 60 over tournament. 1975, isn't it, Harda? Yes. Sri Lanka then playing their first World Cup, the Minos. Oh, big inside edge, Javinash. Uh, very lucky that didn't go under the stumps. Chirat into his final over. He's been uh, good with the ball in this uh, tournament. In every game, he's bowled really well. Another youngster. Royal will be having in the year, couple of years to come. Again, use of his feet. Fielder and getting underneath it. Oh. He Did got under it, but uh, could not judge that at the end. Was not quite uh, underneath it, I'll tell you. Gunodana. Yes, he's very lucky. He came in too much, I think, from the boundary line. Then he had to go a couple of steps back once again. There you see. And he could not just uh, get under it like Harita mentioned. Right through his arms. And uh, the worst point of it, it was one bounce over the ropes for four. So he made a miss out that one. So another single. 15 completed. 80 for the loss of one wicket. away in this uh, run chase just need the 12 runs and, uh, two big sixes to uh, wrap this up so, uh, great character shown by uh, number three batsman Dinat Gunavardhan and uh, Avinash has uh, supported him well playing that second fiddle handle very nicely Yerula Bandar into the attack for the first time in this final. One of the most experienced bowlers in this uh, Royal outfit. Getting the ball after 15 overs. Sit down the leg side for a single. Thomian uh, just uh, Going with the faces. Two big hits. Uh, this game uh, will be over. New ball. Yenula Bandara left arm orthodox. The Orions, they need just 11 more runs to win this uh, under 10 the goal challenge trophy. 28 more deliveries to go. Avinash. Not the most convincing uh, knocks from Avinash, but uh, he managed to hang in there. Didn't give his wicket away. Provided the support to uh, Dinet Gunavardhana. That was very close. Very, very close. Did that disturb the woodwork? I think it did. Yes, uh, Avinash. Gets dismissed just uh, 11 runs short of the target. Good delivery from uh, Yanula. Probably shuffled across a bit too much against the left arm spinner. Here's the replay. I think uh, it hit his pad and then disturbed the woodwork. So Avinash departs for 23 of 39. But uh, he did his job. 
and uh, Mahit Pera gets the chance to uh, come out probably in his last game here at Big Club Grounds. This keeper, St. Thomas is 81 for 2. Youth is set, all of them are set. Youth Plus. The Papare TV, the Papare TV HD. Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tunasaha, Eka Sivisi Hayo Se. Sri Lankawe Anka Eke Krida Nalika Ava. Keep up Mahit Pereira. Walks up to bat maybe for the last time as you said Laksasi. As a schoolboy cricketer. He would want to uh, here at the big club grounds and he would want to uh, finish it off. Finish it off in style. Quite an experienced uh, player for the Thormians. If he can get those winning runs that would top off a very uh, great uh, school career for uh, the multi-talented Mahit Pereira. Is Mahit against the angler. He uses his feet uh, straight away. The ball unable to gather it cleanly. Mahit uh, gets off the mark uh, thanks to that. So 10 more runs needed. over from uh, Yenwal Bandar. Just gave away two runs and got that wicket of Avinash. Finish it up uh, with the dot ball as well. Thomians uh, just 10 runs away. 82 for 2. Come on everyone, let's make some noise with our loudest cheer for this momentous game. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Big club grounds, big occasion here. Down in Mount Levania. 100 years, celebrating 100 years of uh, this historical uh, place for all Thomians. Played uh, for uh, Arno Tendeko on the challenge trophy this uh, tri series between uh, Little Capital School and uh, the Reed Avenue School or all college. Ushita. Pulling wicket to wicket, uh, not giving uh, much room, but uh, nevertheless. Hit uh, crosses over for a single, bringing uh, that uh, runs to just a uh, one digit. So nine runs more. If the Royals uh, were able to put on a good score around a 120, it would have been a mouth-watering finish to this uh, tri-series. Cut away for a single. Dinat Gunavardana has been playing that key role for the Thomians, batting at number three in these ranches. 38 of 30 deliveries. playing with the second fiddle team and they have put on a good show put on a fight in this final the Aruna Thinnakona challenge trophy coming down to Mount Levinia and uh, giving a good fight to the hosts Dinet Gunavardana 
A big heave and uh, that's uh, swept away four or six. And uh, just over one hit away. Thomians equals the score with the Rawlings and what a hit down on one knee. That just cleared the ropes uh, with ease. And then it's going to finish it off with this delivery. Need one ball, one run rather. One hit away. Just like that, uh, the net Gunwardana perishes. Last ball of the over. Ushita not afraid to toss it up. And uh, the net Gunwardana tries to go for another big one. If that was uh, cleared, it would have been a six and he would have bought on his 50. But uh, Ushita had other ideas as uh, the net Gunwardana walks uh, back to the pavilion. 44 of 32 and after 17 overs St. Thomas College uh, 91 for 3 just uh, one hit away in, uh, clinching this Arno Tendakon uh, challenge trophy Thurston versus Isipatana 44th limited overs encounter 17th March at Pizarra live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. St. Thomas's College. They need just one run. I lost their third wicket. Dinit Gunwardana departed after making 44 of 32 deliveries. A brilliant knock from uh, Dinit. He managed to uh, minimize the pressure on St. Thomas's College because they were clearly struggling in the uh, first power play. They were building up dot deliveries and uh, they didn't score much runs, scored around 20 runs in the first 5 overs. But uh, Dinat Gunwardana, after he came in, he managed to uh, change things around completely. Now Skipper Mahit Pera with the chance uh, to finish the game off. Yanula against uh, Mahit Pera. Just one run needed. Mahit goes inside out and uh, that will go to the boundary. Mahit Pera deservingly. He uh, hits the winning runs for uh, St. Thomas's College. As uh, St. Thomas's, they are crowned champions of the Unrathen Nakon Challenge Trophy, this T20 Triangle Series between uh, St. Thomas's College, Royal College, and Trinity College. A great moment for the home team. This tournament uh, took place uh, to uh, celebrate 100 years for this venue, the big club grounds, and also to uh, mark the opening of the uh, renovated uh, pavilion so St. Thomas's College they make it 3 out of 3 and uh, they go out as the champions of the Andrew Nakon Challenge Trophy What a moment uh, for Skipper Mahit Pereira as he finished it off in style and he uh, probably that was his last hit as a school by here at the big club grounds uh, post match handshakes uh, between Royal and the Thomians uh, not the most entertaining uh, finals but uh, Thomians uh, win it uh, quite comprehensively win uh, by uh, seven wickets top it off uh, skip up Mahit Wraps it up uh, for the Thomians as uh, they clinch the Aruna Tendakon Challenge Trophy for uh, the Tri Series. And this is a batting card uh, for uh, the Thomians. Uh, Sadev uh, Soiza, the half centurion from uh, that uh, 140th Battle of the Blues, 18 of 27. His partner Avinash, just the 23 of 39. And uh, the main contributor in this run chase. Dinat Gurwardana 44 of 32 deliveries and uh, Skipper Mahit Pera finished it off uh, on a 7 out of phasing 5 and uh, Thisain Aliyagoda 
Kunta face delivery. Just a few extras coming in uh, from uh, the Royalist. Bold well, it was uh, not enough of runs to defend for them as uh, Thomians uh, got that uh, target of Witties. And uh, the bowling card, not much to speak of. Mushita, the young Mushita, is, uh, 16 years old, 1 for 18 in his 4. Dushin, 1 for 25. Yon Le Bandar 1 for 6 in 1.1. Highlights of uh, the Tomian run chase. Sadam Soyuz and Avinash walked on to the middle. They had a cautious start. The partnership of 34 runs. They've contributed 18 runs in that partnership. Tried to uh, go big. But was caught uh, in uh, that log off region. Then they don't know whether to join the party. Swept, came down the track. Beautiful shots. Delightful strokes uh, from uh, the left hand. Dinet Gunavardana. Loves playing that inside, inside out shot. That was our opportunity. Gone begging. And this was uh, the dismissal of Aminash. So the big heave from Madinat Gunwardana. This was uh, the shot where he uh, got out. Tried to uh, go over, but it uh, wasn't his day. Nevertheless, uh, Mahit Pereira finished it off for uh, the Thomians with a beautiful boundary. Top off a clean uh, slate for the Thomians in this uh, prize series. And uh, that's your match summary. Royal College uh, won the toss. They batted, f uh, batted first, just got 91 runs uh, in the board in that uh, 20 overs. So Thomas chased it down in 17.1, uh, just losing the three wickets. And St. Thomas win uh, by seven wickets. And wincing win for the home team, St. Thomas College, uh, after that first game of the tournament where he almost fell short of uh, chasing 117. And he should make a very good comeback that uh, counter attack he knocked that little cameo from uh, Kavan Dudas, turned things around for St. Thomas College. And since that, they did look back St. Thomas College, they ended up as the champions of this uh, Arut Endergon Challenge Trophy Triangle Series. So, uh, some very good momentum created by uh, the Thomians before the all important Mustangs trophy encounter. And, uh, we will uh, go into a short commercial break and uh, be back uh, with the presentation ceremony of this uh, triangular series between uh, Royal College, St. Thomas College, and uh, Trinity College uh, for the Arunathenakon Challenge Trophy 2024. Stay tuned with the Papre. Company, all like a club, all like a school, youth ticket set and all of event. The Papa Reti Waking, Mulu Lanka, and Penan, Apilasti, all at last. The Papa Reti TV, the Papa Reti TV HD, Dialogue Television, dialog television Nalika Anka had a Tunusaha, Ekasia Visayo say, Sri Lankawe, Anka K, Krida Nalika Trinity versus St. Anthony's. 42nd one day encounter 22nd March at St. Anthony's Ground Live on the Papara, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Sri Lanka Kreda Vikashani Mitik At Novindi Now Vietama At Dekim Samakin Sri Lanka Ve Anka Ike Kreda Nalikava the Papare TV, the Papare TV HD, Dialogue Television Nalika Anka Hatatunasaha, Ekasia Visihayo Se, Vindinna, 
Narabana, Sri Lankawi, Ankaike, Kuida Nalikawa. You take a set in all at Kamati Youth Plus. The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialogue Television, Nalika Anka Hatta Tunasaha, Ekasia Visayo say, Sri Lankawi, Ankaike, Kuida Nalikawa. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Martwe Unmadea Sudanamda Big Match Wasan Theatre Piperwar Visi Hatrada Sitter Saji Viva The Papare TV The Papare TV HD Dialogue View app Saha The Papare.com Sri Lanka be Uncle K. Krida Nalikawa. Thurston vs. Isipatana. 44th Limited Overs Encounter. 17th March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. TV and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. It's quite an atmosphere. Rugby's greatest championship of all the sex. Royal vs. St. Thomas's 47th Mustangs Trophy 16th March at SSE Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues Trinity vs. St. Anthony's 15th, 16th March at Askerida. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel. Richmond vs Mahinda. 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialogue TV channel 127. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel Richmond vs Mahinda 15th and 16th March at Gore Live on Dialogue TV channel 127 Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD. On channel number 63 and 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 90th Battle of the Saints. St. Joseph's versus St. Peter's. 
22nd and 23rd March at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestones. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's. 50th one day encounter. 6th April at SSC. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue viewer and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. March Madness is back. Are you ready for the big match madness? March Madness live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Sri Lanka cricket kandai me Bangladesh tarag sanchari de the haswi sihatara ukkakara T20 tarag tunak ek din tarag tunak saha test tarag dekak mar tu hatara wana dasita april 3 meni dadakwa dialogue television the papare tv oc sachi vivanaraman activate kirim sms ho my dialogue app magin dialogue jathika cricket kandai me nila anugrahaka वाला की कंपनी के, वाला की क्लब में के, वाला की स्कूल ले के, यूथ तक रसेट करना, और हम इवेंट का, the property making मुलु लंका वाटे में पैन ना, आप ही लास्टी, और अत्लास्टी दर, आप ही टकटा करा। The property TV, the property TV HD, डायलॉग टेलीविजन नाली का अंक है तो तुम सहा एक सीए विषय है उसे, श्री लंका वे अंक के क्रीडा नाली का वे। Trinity versus St Anthony's. 42nd one day encounter 22nd march at St Anthony's ground live on the Papara Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Sri Lanka ye kreda vikashane mitik at novindi navyathama atdekim samagen Sri Lanka ve anka ekke kreda nalikawa The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialog Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Siya Visihaya Ose, Vindinna, Narabanna, Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kuida Nalika Ava. Youth Dekar Sette Na, Olaat Kya Machi De, Youth Plus. The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialog Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Siya Visihaya Ose, Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kuida Nalika Ava. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Martwe Unmadea Sudanamda Big Match Wasan Theatre. Pibarwari Visi Hatrada Sitter Saji Viva, the Papare TV, the Papare TV HD, Dialogue View app Saha, the Papare.com. Sri Lanka be Ankay ke Krida Nali Kava. Thurston vs Isipatana. 44th Limited Overs Encounter. 17th March at Pisara. Live on the Papare TV HD. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports channel.
live on the Papare TV and Dialogue View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. It's quite an atmosphere. Rugby's greatest championship. Oh, oh, the set. Royal vs St. Thomas's 47th Mustangs Trophy 16th March at SSE Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel 105th Hill Country Battle of the Blues Trinity vs St. Anthony's 15th, 16th March at Askeria. Live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel. Richmond versus Mahinda. 15th and 16th March at Gore. Live on Dialogue TV channel 127. Dialogue View app and the Papare.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 119th Lovers Quarrel Richmond vs Mahinda 15th and 16th March at Gore Live on Dialogue TV channel 127 Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel Catch the action of the Sri Lanka Tour of Bangladesh 2024 live. Enjoy three T20 matches, three ODI matches and two test matches from 4th March to 3rd April. Live on Dialogue Television, the Papare TV. Dialogue, the official sponsor of the national cricket team. The history maker of sport. Innovative. Incomparable. Unleashing an experience. The Papare TV. On the Papare TV and the Papare TV HD on channel number 63 and 126, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. 90th Battle of the Saints St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's 22nd and 23rd March at SSE live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Catch the excitement real time. Be up to date with it all. Let us capture your milestone. Get it sizzling hot off the turf. Hear the experts break it down. Dig deep into the nitty gritty. Be inspired by their greatness. Relive all the scintillating action. St. Joseph's vs. St. Peter's 50th One Day Encounter 6th April at SSE Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue Viewer and the Papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel March Madness is back! Are you ready for the Big Match Madness? March Madness, live on the Papare, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Sri Lanka Cricket Kandai Me Bangladesh Taraga Sanchari Teta Haswi Sihatara Utkakara T20 Taraga Tunak Ekdina Taraga Tunak Saha Test Taranga Dekak Martu Hataravanada Sita April Tun Meditakwa Dialogue Television The Papare TV OC Sachi Vivanarabana Activate Kirim SMS O My Dialogue App Magin Dialogue Jataka Cricket Kandai Me Nila Anugrahaka
వాళ్ళకి కంపెనీకి వాళ్ళకి క్లబ్కి వాళ్ళకి స్కూళ్ళకి యూత్ ఎక్కడ సెట్ అయిన ఓలం ఈవెంట్ కా ద పాపరేటివ్ వేకింగ్ ములు లంక అవటం పెన్నన్న అపిలాస్తి ఆలట్లాస్తి ద అపిట కథ కర ద పాపరేటివ్ ద పాపరేటివ్ హెచ్ డి డైలాగ్ టెలివిజన్ నాలిక అంక 63 సహ 126 ఓసే శ్రీ లంకావే అంక ఏకే క్రీడా నాలికవ ట్రినిటీ వర్సెస్ ఇన్ ఆంటనీస్ 40 second one day encounter 20 second march at St Anthony's ground live on the paper sri lanka's number one sports channel sri lankiya kreda vikashane mitik at novindi navyathama attakim samaken sri lankave anka ekke kreda nalikawa The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialog Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Siya Visi Hai Ose, Vindinna Narabanna, Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kweda Nalika Ava. Youth Dekar Sette Na, All Atke Ma Chidda, Youth Plus. The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD, Dialog Television Nalika Anka Hatta Tuna Saha, Eka Siya Visi Hai Ose, Sri Lanka Ve Anka Eke Kweda Nalika Ava. Tata Women's Premier League starts February 23rd. Live on the Papare TV HD and Dialog View app, Sri Lanka's number one sports channel. Marthwe Unmadaya Sudanamda Big Match Wasantayata Pibarwari Visi Hatarada Sita Saji Viva The Papare TV, The Papare TV HD Dialog View app Saha, ThePapare.com Sri Lanka ve anka ke kreda nalikawa Thurston versus Isipatana 44th limited overs encounter 17th march at Pisara Live on the Papare TV HD Dialogue View app and the papare.com Sri Lanka's number one sports channel club grounds here in Mount Lepenia for the Anrath Endicorn Challenge Trophy final where the host St. Thomas College uh, took on uh, their traditional uh, rivals uh, Royal College down here right at the big club grounds and now uh, this was uh, the match summary of this uh, finals of this Anrath Endicorn Challenge Trophy Royal College uh, won the toss and uh, batted first finished on a 91 for 9 at the end of 20 overs uh, top scores uh, from uh, Shena Beratna 30 and uh, the pick of the bowlers uh, Shanil Perra 3 for 11 and uh, St Thomas in reply 95 for 3 in uh, 17.1 overs uh, finished of the game the high score coming from uh, Dinet Gunawardena 44 of 32 pick of the bowlers for the Royal East was uh, young uh, spinner Ushita 1 for 18 in his four and St Thomas won by 7 wickets that all important uh, final and it's uh, time uh, for uh, the award uh, presentation uh, we have harith parra down there over to you harith celebration 
captain of the big club grounds here today at uh, Mount Lavinia. It's been uh, a successful tournament and uh, we've seen uh, four matches completed in uh, very good weather conditions in uh, very cordial uh, atmosphere and here we are at uh, the presentations and the closing. First of all, we take this opportunity to uh, cordially invite uh, Reverend Father Mark Billimoria, Warden St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia, to welcome you all. Sir? Our chief guest this evening, Mr. Anura Tenakun, Mrs. Tenakun, members of the Board of Governors of the College, members of the Cricket Committee, all boys visiting us from overseas, members of staff, coaches, and of course the three teams. We have come to the end of the first of our events that we have planned for this year to celebrate the centenary of our hallowed big club grounds. And it has been a wonderful event. I would be failing in my duty if I didn't thank Trinity College Candy and Royal College Colombo for having accepted our invitation to be here. You have made this occasion more colorful. It has been a celebration of our brotherhood. It has been a celebration of the fact that we belong to schools of similar ethos. And it's not about the trophy or the winning or the losing. It's about the spirit in which all three teams have played the game throughout these two days. Sports must unite, never divide. And I'm glad that through this event today, this one-off triangular tournament, that we have been able to celebrate the unity between our three schools that is so very precious. Mahit, you may have won the match today, but this is only the preparation for Saturday. So please don't get too comfortable. Madara Singha is not going to let you just walk away with the Mustangs trophy. But thank you Royal College and thank you Trinity College for having come here and supported this event. I must also thank all those who have supported the event in other ways in order to organize it. A very special thank you to Papare. You have come on board as, uh, and covered the whole event from beginning to this point. And we're very grateful to you for having done that. Uh, with the support that you have given us, I'm very grateful for that and thank you for being part of our event. The commentators have done a good job. I was reading some comments on the live chat and at one point there were people saying, come on, talk about the match and not about the history. <laughs> I think Harita and Melinda were off on a tangent talking about history. But that's what it's all about. These big top grounds are historical. Uh, 100, 100 years is a long time and on this hallowed turf many uh, legends were born cricketing legends, sporting legends for St. Thomas's and for Sri Lanka and one of them is with us today as our chief guest Mr. Anura Tenakun and in a brief moment I will invite Mr. Mirinda Hetya Rachi the walking wisdom of Thomian cricket to uh, come and introduce our chief guest but I want to also take this opportunity to once again thank everyone who made this event successful. All our staff, our ground staff, our coaches, our head coach Mr. Kumar Singer, and all the others who uh, chipped in in different ways to ensure that this event has been successful. I hope I haven't left anyone out, but to each and every one of you who has been part of this event, a very, very big thank you. This has been a successful first event for the 100 years of our big club grounds and there will be further events during the course of the year. But this one has ended successfully and we thank you all for your help to make that happen. I will now invite uh, Mr. Milinda Hetyarachi to speak a few words about our chief guest after which uh, Mr. Tenakun will speak a few words uh, himself. Warden Father Mark Billimoria, Sub Warden, uh, Mr. Anura Tendakon, Mrs. Tendakon, Mr. Michael Tessera, distinguished uh, invitees, guests, uh, boys from Royal St. Thomas's and uh, Trinity. 
As Warden has done the official introduction, I can get to the point straight away. My duty today is to just go down memory lane about how this ground came into being. When we moved from Mutwal, that is because the sailing ships ended and then came the steamships. And uh, Mutwal was getting inundated with smoke and dust and dirt. So we had to move out. We moved out from Mutwal and Royal moved out from the central business place of Colombo, which was the Peta area, it was the academy. They shifted to their uh, present location. These things happen around the same time. Then this ground here was just a brown patch of sand. Beach was clean, that is fair enough, the railway tracks were there. These walls were not there, they were just only logs. What they say, silver cotton, you get on the railway lines in the good old days. It was just that. And this was brown soil. They say when it rained here, the boys used to put wooden planks and start rowing uh, here and there because there's so much of water collected here. Then it came into being that Warden Stone, who was the incumbent warden at that time, was retiring and going to England. So college thought it up to turf this ground. When you say turf the ground, not the batting area, but the outer peripheries. So they had six inches of gravel and grass on top of that, because it was all sand. Right now, even soon after a heavy rain, we can play here, which is all sand underneath. Uh, they did the needful, and one Colonel Rowling in 1924 was told to uh, inaugurate this before, bef before Warden Stone left. So in doing that, I must also mention here, Royal, your cricket team of 1924, led by M.C. Dias, not to be mistaken by Michael Dias, who captained in 1961, they gave a small donation in good faith to St. Thomas's College, their fellow first 11 cricketers, to start this ground. Now, those are good things in the Royal Thomian Nexus. Don't forget those things. As Warden Mark Billy Moria said, we are not enemies, but we are very friendly rivals, and it should continue that way. So then came, this ground was quite well done. Then when the time, the next Warden, Warden Macpherson was leaving, they improved the ground a little bit further, so that Warden Macpherson was happy to see it further developed during his time. And there was one, uh, Mr. Withers, he was in charge of doing that. So that is in br brief, the beginning of this ground. Then in 1952, uh, Mr. J.L.D. Pires, they are from Moratua, they are top businessmen in Colombo. Yahala building is theirs, which is next to uh, Jai Hilton. He's, he sponsored this because in 1923, we lost the Royal Thomian and he had been disappointed. And our captain was Lanka Tilaka. Lanka Tilaka's grandson is Ajit Abhigunwadana who played for St. Thomas's. And he had asked them, but how, what shall we do? And then, he financed, I think, two or three strips of this turf. So the turf came in 1952 and the ground came into being in 1924. That's the real history of this place. And then I remember the old scoreboard which was here in 1957-58, two planks. And then Mr. Manikam Tambabili, a very generous Thomian, he donated the scoreboard where this Cafe 79 is. There were two boats going up and down, you know. I remember this very well, very old. And then Mr. Michael Tissera improved it further by donating another scoreboard here where the Cafe 79 on to the uh, right side of that. Uh, it was a lovely scoreboard made out of rock and then came in this scoreboard. So college has developed by and far. And those days I remember there was a big black bull and a roller there that the fellow used to take it round and round. So today we have all the equipment. And on top of that, in the recent past, uh, we have the state-of-the-art uh, pavilion here now. Uh, Mr. Michael Tissera told me that uh, this kind of thing is only found in top metropolis. I don't like to go by name, but he mentioned the names. And he said that it's a very, very creditable thing. So during the stewardship of Father Mark Billy Moria, we had Kalana Pereira who created the ground record for bowling. Mr. Ryan, uh, young Ryan Fernando for batting, and then we had this lovely complex. Um, and then, of course, Mr. Kumar Singer was right behind this, and uh, Mr. Mahinda Halangude, of course, 
and then to support him, I'm told that Suraj Dandaniya was behind some of these awards ceremonies today and there were a whole host of people. I, I will not take too much of my time, but to say thank you very much to all concerned. There's one sector that we cannot forget, whatever grandeur we have, and that is the hard-working ground staff of St. Thomas's. I think you should give them a very big hand. Sahaya Sevaka Pirisata Ape Krutakna Puraka Stutia. Then I will now get to the subject proper, the chief guest, and there's also Mr. Michael Tisser, although he's there. There are two crown jewels of the Thomian kingdom. Uh, um, Mr. Anura Tenakon, Mrs. Tenakon. I remember Anura, I was a very little boy, I was I think somewhere in the 1B or 2B. Anura, you started as a medium pace bowler. Am I right? Yeah, I remember you doing that. He was not a batsman as such, but there was all the makings of that. Then when he came to under 16, he was still, then you became a spinner. Please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm going back 50, 60 years. Then he became a spinner and in 1962, our college cricket captain was Keith Lebroy and his brother was playing Robin Lebroy. There came a decision to make for Keith whether it was going to be Andre Tendercorn or whether it was going to be uh, Robin Lebroy. And the great Keith Lebroy opted to have Andre Tendercorn coming into the team. I think you went six or seven down and you saved the Royal Thomian. You got a lovely 28 runs. We didn't know Andre Tendercorn as a batsman at that time. We knew he came from under 16. He could bowl well and that he could do something in batting. He saved the Royal Thomian, a lovely 28, and Paul Saludori got 67. And you all saved the match. Thus began the career of Anurat Ennakon to stardom with the bat. No looking back from there. I remember we were at college when Anurat, I don't want to say about his 50s and 100 big, it'll be tomorrow morning, but I'll cut it short. Anurat Ennakon played for Ceylon, all Ceylon at that time. Sri Lanka was called all Ceylon. And we got a one day holiday. When you played, when you represented, I remember coming <coughs> to the Oval and to cheer Anura, schoolboy. That was 1960s, 65, somewhere there, I think. He was still at college. And Dori Mendes played while he was at college. So there was no looking back, and Anura just went into great strides. Probably the best innings I saw from Anura, Anura, I'm open for correction, was against. Ajit Vadeka's Indian team. 168, was it? 168. I don't think we can see better innings than that. And Ajit Vadeka has been full of praise for that. Then Andhra Tenakon captain Sri Lanka. And then he was in charge of uh, our cricket team, national cricket team, and then select and so forth and so forth. On this occasion, I also can't forget Mr. Michael Tisera. I, he, he also represents Andhra Tenakon represent college for five years, Mr. Tisera for five years. Frankly, Mr. Tisera could have also played the sixth year in 1959 as captain, but he opted to give the opportunity to Dennis Ferdinand, who recently expired, unfortunately, top athlete and top uh, cricketer. Mr. Uh, Mr. Tisera, not only cricket, he had rugger, tennis, hockey, and athletics. Am I right, Michael? He doesn't talk about this. It's very difficult to get a word from him and Andhra, so I'm just playing on my memory. Um, he also captain, and then we were at college when the strong West Indian team came uh, with Garfield Sobers, full works, and at the oval, Anura scored 102, not out, against that very strong West. Uh, I'm sorry, Michael scored 102. Anura also had scored. So those are the golden moments of Thomian cricket. Uh, so. In conclusion, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, I get emotional when I see them because I was a little boy with a flag. They brought in a lot of pride to college and us. And then <coughs> college went from strength to strength. Uh, I had to add a word about Mr. Dinesh Kumar Singh. Probably Dinesh, this might be the last match that you are administering as a coach. But I've heard that that, in, that English press expression that there can be a miss between the cup and lip. I'm still hopeful. Father, I'm also hopeful about you. Because you are going in December after a fabulous service, Guru Talao and Mount. 
and Mr. Kumar Singh. Look what he has left for us. Look both of them. See what they have done. I mean, I don't think we will ever see this into these heights. But we are fortunate that we were able to see it. So Dinesh, thank you very much. And remember there are never goodbyes from us. And to Father also who will be, he says he, he will. But I also believe that there is a miss between the cup and lip. So thank you very much. And also all those who assisted in this particular fixture. If I have omitted any names, please forgive me. But there is a whole host of people who have to be thanked. And uh, Father, the best innings in this tournament was from uh, Nathan Caldera and Akash. Uh, I hope Mr. and Mrs. Caldera will not be called upon to pay damages for the fence that was broken. If Nathan continued to bat, I am sure lower school also would have suffered something. So, on that happy note, I will now hand over the mic to Mr. Harita Perra. Thank you, Anur. Thank you very much. Thank you, Michael, also. What you all have done for college and nationally for Sri Lanka will never be forgotten. Thank you very much and bless you all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Melinda Hetiarachi. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to cordially invite our chief guest, distinguished past pupil of St. Thomas's College, Mount Lavinia, National Cap, Mr. Anura Tanakon. Sir. Good evening, sir. Warden Sir, uh, Captain and members of the three participating team, uh, distinguished guests uh, and uh, fellow Thomians. It is indeed a great pleasure for me to be associated in this event because it's uh, commemorating the 100th uh, year of the existence of the big club grounds here. Uh, 100 years is a long time in any, anything and for uh, big club grounds to have gone through the 100 years producing many good cricketers is quite, quite an achievement. <coughs> I must uh, congratulate the warden and uh, Dinesh and all those uh, involved with the, uh, with college cricket for the facilities they have provided here, uh, especially the, with the improvement in the dressing rooms now, and the ground was done up even earlier. So it is a great thing to see the college going from strength to strength um, in cricket. <coughs> But, but providing these facilities, I believe, will inspire the present-day cricketers to do much better than we have done in the past. So, uh, go ahead and give, your, give it your best shot. Uh, I do not wish to speak at length because the boys have been through quite a hot and humid day, but to uh, wish the school, school uh, many more years of uh, good cricket here at uh, the big club grounds and the other two schools all the best in their future endeavours. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief Guest, Mr. Anurutha we are now uh, getting into the presentation ceremony proper.
immediately. Um, take this opportunity to uh, cordially uh, request uh, Director of Sports, Mr. Dinesh Kumar Singer, to assist us uh, in the presentations. Mr. Suraj Dandanya, former St. Thomas's cricketer, you are up first for the first presentation. Best fielder from Royal College, Sasindu Mapa. Thank you, Suraj. All the best. Uh, Sindhu. Cordial inviting Mr. Dhammi Kabulankulama, former Thomian cricketer. Best batsman from Royal College, Shay Naberatna. Dhammika. Congratulations, Shane. Cordial inviting Mr. Milinda Hetty Arachi. Best bowler from St. Thomas's College, Shanil Pereira. Congratulations to uh, Chanel. Thank you, Melinda. Cordial inviting former Thomian and All Ceylon captain, Mr. Michael Tessera, distinguished past pupil of St. Thomas's College. Man of the final from St. Thomas's College, Dinet Gunawadana. Congratulations, Dinit. Stay on, sir. Stay on, sir. Man of the series or the tournament from St. Thomas's College, Akash Fernando. Congratulations, Akash. Thank you very much, Mr. Michael Pesera. We finished with uh, the individual awards. The team awards comes up uh, next. Um, cordially inviting Brother Lionel Pires, um, the chaplain of St. Thomas's College, together with uh, the warden of St. Thomas's College, Reverend Father Mark Willimoria, for the first set of awards. The bronze medals and certificates to be presented by Brother Lionel Pires, 
the um, cash award by the Borden Ruin Father, Mark Billimoria. Bronze medal winners, Trinity College, Candy. May we have the team, please? May we welcome uh, the captain of uh, Trinity College to receive uh, the third place cash award of 25,000 rupees. We thank uh, the uh, officials of the team for their unstinted support, sending the team here and staying over the two days. Important sir, stay, stay there. We thank our brother Lionel Pires. Cordially inviting the subordinate of St. Thomas's College, Mr. Asanka Pereira, for the next set of presentations. Mr. Anuro Tenakon will present uh, the uh, runner up trophy, the uh, silver medals by the subordinate, and uh, certainly the cash award by the warden, sir. Silver medals to Royal College Colombo. Cash award of uh, 50,000 rupees for the runners up. May we invite the captain of Royal College to receive it from uh, the warden, sir. We thank uh, the uh, officials of Royal College who have been here over the last two days supporting the team and the tournament. Warden, sir, sub warden, sir, please uh, stay up on uh, the podium. As we move along, the uh, gold medals will be presented by the warden who would also present uh, the uh, cash award and the trophy thereafter eventually by Mr. Anura Tenakon. Champions of this uh, one-off centenary Big Club Grounds 
Invitation T20 Tournament. St. Thomas's College, Mount Lovinia. Now it's the occasion uh, to uh, present uh, the challenge trophies, the runner-up trophy. Ah, oh, the cash award of 100,000 rupees to the Domian captain. Winners, T20 Invitation Tournament, 100 years celebrations of the big club grounds. Okay, now we present the trophies. Are you going to be here? Okay, sir. Hundred years celebration of the big club grounds in Mount Lovinia. Invitation T20 tournament. Runners up, Royal College. May we have the captain, please, to receive this uh, runners up challenge trophy from our chief guest, Mr. Anurag Thennakorn. Former All Ceylon cricketer, who also captained uh, St. Thomas's, was involved uh, in that first ICC Cricket World Cup. Next, 100 years celebrations of the Big Club Grounds, Invitation T20 Championship Triangular. Champions, St. Thomas's College, Mount Lovinia, inviting the captain to receive this uh, wonderful winner's challenge trophy, the Anura Tenukon challenge trophy from. Uh, the individual himself, as I mentioned, happy moment uh, for all Thomians. And uh, that's it uh, from uh, the post-match uh, presentation uh, here at the Big Club Grounds uh, where Thomians uh, were crowned as uh, the winners of uh, this tri-series uh, between Royal College and uh, Trinity College for the Anura Amekon Challenge Trophy 2024. St. Thomas's College deservingly winning the Anurath Tendakon Challenge Trophy, the T20 Triangular Series. This is the match summary of the final Royal College. They won the toss and they decided to bat first and made 91 for the loss of 9 wickets. Shane Abiratna made 30 and uh, Shanil took 3 for 11. And then in their chase, St. Thomas's College, they made 95 for the loss of 3 wickets in 17.1 overs. Dinoid Gunwardana scored 44 of 32 deliveries and uh, Ushita Ile Perima took 1 for 18. St. Thomas College they won by 7 wickets to clinch the Anrathin Nakoon Challenge Trophy.
So uh, thank you very much everyone for joining with us uh, throughout the uh, two days. The three schools, Royal College, St. Thomas's College and uh, Trinity College, uh, they competed against each other to uh, for the uh, coveted Unwritten Nikon Challenge Trophy. So thank you very much everyone for joining with Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papare TV. We have a lot of action coming your way in this weekend. We have the Mustangs Trophy coming up. We have the Isabatnavis Thurston One Day Encounter coming up. So make sure to stay tuned to Sri Lanka's number one sports channel, the Papare TV. Thank you very much for joining with us once again and have a very good night.